said, you said what? Raising Canaan. Do you watch? Uh, that's part of the power universe. Everything oh, yeah. power. Okay. I couldn't get into Raising Canaan for some reason. It was hard. I love, I love it. When I played her mom, his mom, but I just couldn't get into it. Yep. Season three is really when it starts kind of getting more. Oh, that was hard. Really that was hard for me to get into, but it's real good. <laughs> but they're about to come out with when um, Ghost and Tommy was little kids next year. Mm. Do we need that though? Yes, I need to know who. What's his name? Breezy. Who the fuck is Breezy? They always talk about that nigga, but we don't uh, know. Breezy. Who is. We don't know who Breezy is yet. They're trying to say that. Um, Unique is Breeze. Is Breeze. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you watched it, you know that they trying to say that Unique is Breeze, but I just don't assume. I don't think so. At first they were saying that it was Symphony. Now they're saying it's Breeze. I meant that it's um, Unique, so we don't know yet. Yeah, I'm balls deep in the power universe. Balls deep? Balls. No wow. deep. No, no. <laughs> well, good morning, you guys. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, people that's in the chat. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to everybody that's on the panel. How are you guys doing? I know. Welcome to the new people. We got new Shay, Ray, Cal, Jamarlin. Welcome to the returning guests. Be nice, people. Be nice. Hey, Ray, are, you, um, are, you, are you like one of those earthy people? No. Am I delayed? You loud. I know that's for sure. You just a little. You might be a little delayed. <laughs> I just want the. Okay, I just want the. No. Well. Yes I'm, and no. And uh, <laughs> okay. So hold on. What, what does that mean by yes and no? I don't use black soap, <laughs> and I wear deodorant. <laughs> you do. You said you do wear deodorant. Yes, I do. I don't. Okay. Well, what what part of you was earthy then, though? I love astrology. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hey Shay, are you earthy? I'm not sure what you mean by earthy, though. Um, so, er earthy is in chicks. They like they don't wear shoes a lot. They into astrology. They wear black soap. No. Well, they're always listening to Jill Scott and Erica Badu. No. That's crazy. <laughs> what? That's crazy. They, they always they only want to go to slam poetry nights. You know how the earthy chicks are. No, uh, I wouldn't say that. I'm a poetry. <laughs> I don't think you know how the earthy chicks are. You yeah, I don't think what? that's earthy. No, that I listen, don't think you regular know people do. Regular people do some of the stuff that earthy people do, but earthy people have a they have a they have a stereotype. Who has something? I, 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 like, I like I like Shay though. She might she might get an invite. Yes, anybody have t a TV in the background or YouTube in the background? Oh, they, probably, they probably don't have the uh, echo cancellation on or something like that. So. No, Y'all put echo cancellation on your um okay. and reduce and reduce mic background noise. Oh, or or mute when y'all not talking. Yeah. But let's start off. We're gonna start off with um a little icebreaker. So this clip I'm about to show you guys. So it's two different interviews with Tiamari. It's something that she said regarding the marriage, divorce, and something she said afterwards, so I can join them together. Mari. You know, m my marriage was a success. Yeah. I look at it as like a curriculum when you're in college or high school, right? You're learning, you're growing, you're evolving, you're creating. And I was able to create with Corey some beautiful, amazing children. Mm -hmm, yeah. And at the end of that curriculum, and at the end, there's a graduation, there's a celebration. Recovering from a divorce feels like a whirlwind journey. I found that through the process, divorce is in a place where we arrive. It's entering a new chapter of life with many nuances and no one size fits all handbook. One moment you're relieved, feeling like you've conquered something significant. Then suddenly waves of emotions hit you all over again. It's a side of divorce that isn't often discussed. Oh, so someone said in the chat, I look very earthy with this hairstyle. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> That's funny. But um, so the news around town is that TMR is trying to get back with the ex-husband. They're working things out and she's trying to earn his trust back. So I just want to know what type of stuff you guys have regarding that going on. <laughs> this chat is hilarious. Not everybody wants. I just want to know. Oh, yeah, they mute it. They mute it. Some people is muted. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to unmute. Like, My why bad. would you get divorced and then get back together? That don't make sense to me. Like, if y'all was going to get back together in the first place, you shouldn't have never got divorced. I feel like it was just I, a publicity stunt, if you ask me. I think she just realized that the grass wasn't greener. That, that could be another, you know. Yeah. Uh-huh. I feel like she should have did all those videos just to go oh, back. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, he did. He, she did do some trifling videos. Like I'm like thinking, Corey, why would you even take her back after this stuff? That, that <laughs> that somebody want. Yeah, because I think that's kind of embarrassing. Sean, you're muted. Okay. No, I'm not muted. I'm listening. Okay, go ahead. That's 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 kind of embarrassing because I mean, this video she had the music behind. It's 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 like it was a a, a, a movie promo or something. Yeah, earthy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm okay with her going back. Well, listen, the only the only way you can take her back is if nobody else fucked her. If somebody else fucked her, then then I don't I don't know if you can really take her back. But how would he know? Nobody would. <laughs> nobody would know that. What do you mean? How would he know? How would he know? Because you always supposed to keep tabs on a piece person that that you no longer with. If you're not keeping well, tabs, because because listen, listen. She always, it. she always your. If you got kids with her, then she yours. Because she feels for them. <laughs> even, even, and this is one of the reasons I don't really talk about this part of the conversation, but I'll go ahead and explore it today. If, if you have kids with her, and if you was one of the first people to have kids with her, then you always gonna be connected to her, and you always got access to her. And that's one of the reasons why you don't want to be a step crash, step baby daddy, stepfather. Because she's always going to have to interact with him. And you got to think about it. If she's interacting with him, not only is she interacting with him, but he fucked her. And he, he fucked the shit out of her, right? And she told him he loved her and in and, and the midst of the situation. And so because of that, what guys don't realize is that most guys that was married to her and or have children with her, if he have any contact with her, it's a very, very, it's, I would say very highly, very high probability that he's still busting her down or he still got access to bust her down, if that's the case. And have you more, ever experienced that personally? Well, I've never been, I've never been divorced, but I do coach a lot of people though. So on top of that, on top of that, if you keep in tabs on her, which you know your chick, Listen, I could tell when she walk in a room what her mood is. I could tell when she, uh, she ain't got to say a word and I know everything there is to know about her. And so if you don't, if, if you keeping tabs on her and she in contact with you and stuff like that, it's a strong possibility you know what's going on with her. Should you keep tabs on her or your kids? Both. That's the mother of my kid. Why wouldn't I keep tabs Even on her? Even if she moves on and marries someone else, you still feel like you... Have access to her? Well, you can't ask me because I don't believe that um, she can move on and marry somebody else. But for Why? the rest of y'all, I know the rest of y'all got different standards. That's a weird so it's, a it's not weird. What's weird is the fact that y'all get weird. divorced in the first place. That's weird. Right, right, right. But so you, you, you're calling me weird because I, because I actually believe in keeping the family together. Right. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not saying it's weird. I'm just saying I think that is weird that you think that if a woman decides to leave the, her child's father, that somehow she can't move on from him and have another life with another man and marry another man. And the fact that you think you should always have access to her even after that, that is kind of weird. Because as a child's father, which you say you don't know any of it, because of your lifestyle but if you move on you wouldn't want your baby mama in your mix keeping tabs on you keeping tabs on who you're dating y'all had a time no, 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 together it, it doesn't matter it oh, doesn't matter I move. no it's it's different because i'm me 
I don't put my standards on everybody else, but I'm always going to have access. It don't matter what I'm doing. I don't know. I just think like you just, you just gotta, if any, anybody that deal with me, you got to understand that you're going to be dealing with me, dealing with her too. So mm -hmm. that's just the way it is. And I mean, if you don't like that, then, you know, you can move on, but I'm always going to have access to that. She'll tell you, she'll tell you right now. She's sitting right there. Mm. This, 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 this ain't me just, that's her right there. Like I, I'm, I really am about this life. Like I don't, I don't cap. I don't just say shit for the internet. I'm really telling you the truth. Can y'all hear me? Okay, the chat is saying yeah. my mic is messed up. Yeah, it sounds like you were like in a tunnel. Okay, but like I said, to answer the Tia Mori question, like I'm all for keeping the family together. Like I think that the worst thing that's one of the worst things that's happened in society today is the fact that too many families are broke up. So if you're able to go back to, I tell women all the time, baby daddy, don't nobody want you. The streets ain't for you. You ain't even built like that. You don't even know what you about to get in, get yourself into. So if she can go back to her baby daddy, I think she should go back to her baby daddy. Mm, I don't think he should take her back though. Why wouldn't he? Why shouldn't because he? Because the way she, she disrespected him. Like, now you taking her back, you're going to look like a pum pum. That's peace. It's not about how you look. It's about what's best for the kids. Right. When you have it's children, it's about what's best for the kids. It's not about mm -hmm. you. Right. I don't care about you. I care about my kids. And so I think that all kids have a better chance of being raised in a better household. And maybe we wouldn't have some of the results that we have in the day. But if you can get back with your baby daddy, then go back with your go back with your ch child's father. No, nobody wants you. But if you go back into a household where the woman is disrespectful, is that in the best interest of the kids? The kids are gonna see that. Like, go back to your baby daddy. No, I'm talking about the man. Like it, you said, put the kids first. So yeah, the man forgives her, but she's still moving how she wants to move. That's disrespecting her husband, and the kids are gonna see this. And they're going to be like, okay, mommy can act like that. The little girl's going to probably act like that. Well, I mean, we assume it from the, for the sake of conversation that if they get back together, if they were to get back together, then just, obviously she would be moving differently, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the sake, you know, it's all based off of the future. It's all based off the future. When we have this conversation, people always say, um, don't stay for the sake of the kids because it's toxic. Like two parents don't have to be toxic in front of the kids. When my parents got a divorce, it was like a like a mind fuck. I was like, y'all niggas ain't happy. Like I was so fucking confused because we never saw the shit. And it's like you have two grown adults. Nigga, act right. <laughs> you don't have to you don't have to do that shit in front of kids. Just right. Nick, when it comes down to like, I'm not married. I have my longest relationship failed nine years, but it literally comes out as like between your ears. Do you want to do this or not? Fuck the love, fuck the happiness, fuck all that feeling shit. Do you want to do this? Yes or fucking no. That's what, it really comes, that's what it really comes down to. My friend, um, nigga, she got married maybe two years ago and she stopped talking to me like three months before she got married because her husband didn't like it. She was like, stop talking to that nigga. And she called me like two days ago. <laughs> she called me two days ago and nigga, she said, nigga, I hate this fucking marriage, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, look, nigga, either you're going to do that shit or you're not. Because she got bored. It's two years. She bored. And wow. wow that's amazing. Mm -hmm. The fact that that's she's amazing. calling you. Well, I was no, her best you, friend for fucking yeah. years before that happened. But so. see, that's my point. Quentin always got access to her. That's right. I, ju I just said that. I never knew. Never, she's, we the never had person, she's the first person. He's the first person that she called as soon as she started feeling some type of way. And that's what I'm saying. Women that have certain men in their past, they will always have access to you. That's just that's just the fact of the matter. Like I know right now, like there's it's too many guys that I know, too many guys that I've coached that will tell you right now that they can call the Regardless of her circumstance, regardless, and then she will be over there figuring out a way to get over there. We call her. That's just the way that it is. Some guys have unlocked. Guys is is always going to be forever connected to you and tied to you. And I think that's just disrespectful. And most of
if if they were honest, if they were honest, most of these women will tell you that that also. Is it the same way for women? Do women have? I think women are the same thing. Women can call a man. Wait, men can call the woman and she'll pick up. Is it the same way? They call it old faithful. No. Okay. Hmm. They're not gonna tell you. They're not gonna tell you. But the silence, the silence should tell you everything. Mm -hmm. It comes, it comes to a point that nigga, you have to sit in that shit. Like, <laughs> like I feel like seeing the same person doing the same shit every day. There's some kind of gets mundane, and you got to do some shit to keep that shit. You know what I mean? Like, no. An Anton, you be out. You and Rita have fun. Like, nigga, y'all don't come home and do nothing every day and just be looking at each other and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I, I have sex almost every day. See, like even that, nigga. Oh, by the way, pro tip: if you ejaculate at least twenty-one times a, uh, a month, that lessens your chance of prostate cancer. Thank you, me later. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I don't, I don't have sex. With, I don't have sex with sport. I have sex because it is fun. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's a, it's a good, it's a phenomenal experience. But you know, I don't understand the boredom part. That is weird to me, um, because. Part of the reason that it's so bored is because y'all just y'all just have sex and that's just it. It's not even about the sex. It's the stuff that happens before you have sex. Like it's the stuff that lead up to it. It's the it's the foreplay. And foreplay is all day. You know what I'm saying? And it's the fact that y'all haven't seen each other all day or something like that, right? And so, you know, I think that people that have problems sexually in a in a marriage, it's a bigger issue there. And I don't think that it has nothing right. to do with sex itself. For most people, I think she's she's probably just a, a normal woman because her dude he's like in some kind of um, PhD program to he's like a pharmacist and he's trying to like whatever after that and I'm like nigga let that nigga do his thing nigga it'll be all right on the other end <laughs> like that nigga's like getting to the money. Why is she calling you though? I got she was my best friend ten years before she got married so. Mm. Mm. Y'all messed up. Male best friend stuff. Mm -mm. I never, we never touch each other. That's so corny. It's no way in the world, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no way in the fucking world. Yeah, you don't know how to be around a woman. What I want to have sex? Of course with. he why does, nigga. What have you heard, this nigga? <laughs> well, that's why, well, that's why I was saying you said you had a female best friend of ten years, and he said it was corny. Yeah, so it, I was just wondering. It, was, it, it, it is corny. If listen, I I have a business relationship with women. I don't just have random women. Um, that's my best friend. You know what I'm saying? That's a completely well, different. Yeah, that's, a, yeah, that's an oxymoron. A random person wouldn't be your. Well, no. What I'm saying is, she got to have a purpose in my life. I don't need no fucking friend. I don't need no more friends. Oh. Well, eventually she was a coworker, and then. I mean, y'all just be sitting there kicking it with each other, and that just be like, ah, Man, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this, and y'all gonna think this is wild. She broke up with her boyfriend, and she was about to offer herself, nigga. We stayed on the phone for 24 hours straight talking. Yeah. About that. That's <laughs> weird. That was weird. Bro. I mean, that's really she weird. needs a therapist. She don't need you. You say weird. what? She needs a therapist, not you. Oh, I, talk, I talked her off the ledge, and she didn't come. She didn't delete herself, so this it was. Yeah, but one day you might not pick up, and one day you might not be there. Mm. I don't, that's Honestly, weird. though, I feel like if somebody was going to actually delete yeah, themselves, yeah. they wouldn't have told you. They would have just done it. Good point. I had so many experiences with people telling me that they were going to do it, and they literally didn't do it. Like didn't it, do it. Didn't do it. Delete what? themselves. Like I had a guy that wanted to kill himself because I wanted to break up with him. It was a crazy situation. Mm. Yeah. What? He needs it. Turns out there wasn't even a bullet in the gun. He didn't even have a clip for the gun. <laughs> yeah. He didn't even have a gun. I shouldn't be laughing at that. He had a whole show about it. It was crazy. Sometimes guys, honestly, some guys, sometimes guys say that to y'all in order to get in y'all panties. 
that is weird. Like, if a man lies like that, no, you're done. Like, who lies? That's weird to lie. Well, about. he's not going to tell you that he's lying. He's going to. And the part about it is we had, your say, we had a conversation about it maybe 30 minutes later. And that's when he told me there wasn't even a clip in the gun for real. I just. Well, I mean, that, that's, that's, I ain't talking about him, but it's guys. Will, listen, y'all don't understand. Guys will tell you, y'all tell y'all anything. Mm hmm. Y'all, y'all want to be lied to. No, what? That's a lie. That's a lie. No, you're not. You know, you no, know. He, he's right. He's you right. You move with more integrity than that, and your platform is too big for you to tell men that it's okay to lie to women. Is that what I said? No, he he didn't say he didn't say it was okay. No, but you're not. You're not saying said that. To stop. You're saying we want to be lied this to. This is not a coaching session. This is a conversation based off of truth. And the I fact know, that it matter man, is y'all like y'all like being lied to. Listen, y'all live in illusion. Most women do like being lied to, though. Oh, and, wow. and, and, and it's only a lie unless you find out. I so know. it's fine. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they know. They know. Do you know like to be lied to? Listen, you say no. what? Women are very, very no. smart. They're very smart, and they they know. <laughs> Y'all know what's really happening. And then y'all also know the position that y'all put yourself in. Y'all lie to yourselves a lot of times and believing that a guy actually like y'all. And that and that he not he don't just want to fuck y'all. Like, come on, man. Like y'all, y'all live in a perpetual lie. Everything about y'all life in a lot of instances is a lie, especially when it comes to relationship. That's why y'all have so many of them. Mo women are not supposed to be talking to a whole bunch of guys before they find a guy that actually wants to be with them for a long time. Mm -hmm. And so y'all too smart to know you too smart to not know that all of these guys that y'all are dealing with is not going to go nowhere, but you deal with it. You go with it. You go into it with a hope. Y'all y'all say y'all can change a man. I hear women all the time talking about how they can level a man up. You can't level no man up. What's wrong with y'all? Like either he going to do it or he ain't. And it ain't got nothing to do with you, but like I said, y'all put yourself in a situation on a regular basis, and the in the very existence by which y'all actually move in delusion is a lie. And so, how wouldn't you be easily finessed if I get women all day long, right? That say, "Oh my God, you know, I just want to come and visit." You do. Isn't Come that the on. song that um, Kevin used to play um, before his thing started? So tell me good lies because I'll buy no matter what. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, listen, I don't think women like to be lied to. At times, like, we want to believe that they're telling us the truth so bad that we want to be like, okay, let's get out of our head. Let's stop overthinking, thinking he's lying, and let me just believe him because I don't have actual proof. So I don't, I don't want to be lied to. Tell me what it is. Be straightforward. Like how I take the truth is on me, but I don't right. want to be lied to. Cause if I'm straightforward, I'm 100 with you. I want them to return. Like this, this whole generation, people lying, scheming. Now we got to worry if brothers are gay and on the down low, if they cheat with a man, not just a woman. It's a lot. Like you got these people that's married, got kids and lying about that. Like, so it's like, we don't, I don't, I don't want to be lied to in that nature. Tell me the truth so I can move accordingly. Yeah. I think the issue is when we not, when we like you, we naturally are going to believe everything you say. We want to believe it, you know? So it's not that we think you're lying. We just think you like us enough also to be honest with us. But, so but when, you tell us, when you, when you talk to us and you say, this is what it is, we believe you because we're moving with good intentions. So because we like you, we're assuming that you're moving with good intentions as well. It's not our fault that you are, you know. Oh, how are y'all moving with good intentions? How y'all well, moving with good intentions? You believe it well, most of y'all, most of your very, look, look, look. I see these makeup tutorials every day, right? <laughs> I see. <laughs> see <laughs> what makeup right. has to do I see with the makeup tutorials. <laughs> Because oh, wow. you're leading with a lie. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your representative. That's 
I, I, know, well, I get what he's saying, but Anton, we're not talking about them chicks that be deceiving, looking like a whole different person. Right. Coming. Yeah, we're not talking about them. We're talking about us. But, we don't want to be lied to. Of course, there are women out there lying. No, but we're not talking about y'all. I we mean, there are men out we're here that get false hairlines in Beijing. We so talk about, about, no, 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 no. I'm, not, I'm not saying that y'all can't wear makeup. Yourself your best self like I'll be nobody is saying, right. you know what? Yeah, nobody is saying I nobody is saying that y'all can't wear makeup overboard with the makeup i do agree if nobody is wear... saying that y'all can't wear makeup nobody so don't is it it's alive then. like 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 <laughs> listen but there's limits to this shit like it's one thing to wear makeup but it's women that's basically deceiving people and again we can't we not talking about y'all we talking about women right yeah we're right i'll say when y'all say men I don't automatically assume that you're talking about me. I, I'm assuming that you're talking about the majority. And what I see, listen, I see these women all the time, right? Like, and it'd be everybody. It'd be content creators. It'd be regular people. And then when I show up in person or I link up with them, whatever it is that y'all got going on on social media, do not be who y'all are in real life. True. That shit is a lie. All of it. The body be a lie. The stretch marks be a lie. Tiger strike. Everything thing is a lot <laughs> and so you know y'all when i when i say that women live in a lie i mean you acting like we're not gonna see you when you get out the shower one day what you gonna you know what i'm saying what you gonna do then i mean we could say the same thing for men all these men nowadays think they're millionaires and they're really not millionaires they lie about how much money I they agree. make you can't I fake agree. being a millionaire like, no no no, 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 no. Yeah, that's gonna run out they fake how they have money. They put on a facade. They're in front of cars. They run off a two-row or hanging with the homeboy that actually has money, right? They, no, they bring them no, and they really don't. Yes, they do. What are you in talking real about? real life, when you hang out with a nigga with money, it's apparent. You can't fake it. No. You, you don't think people are faking that they got money, Quentin? In real life, no. On the internet, yes. Everyone, yes. On the internet. Oh, yeah, but yeah. Not, on the in internet, real, but in, in real, real life, life too. And in, in the real life, absolutely not. You can just look at someone's life and tell like what they kind of got. What? Wait. What do you mean? Look at their life. People put what they want to put on social media. I, I didn't realize. You have to put on a whole facade on social media and can be living yeah. in my grandma's basement, and y'all wouldn't I, know. I said real life. Like eventually, you have to like meeting people. Like they do it for a reason. I'm talking about meeting someone who is mm -hmm. what, what they're not. You have to meet eventually. When y'all meet, it's apparent. I can okay. tell you I have a big dick until it's time to fucking have sex. And then I'm like, shit, I'm missing some inches. Okay. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just say it. <laughs> so, real, so real quick question. So back to what Anton was saying. So as, as he was talking, I was thinking. So women like to be lied to. All right. We got that part. Now, what about when the women run into the one that's not going to lie to them? Then what? Trust issues. They don't want him. Oh, good point, Ray. Okay. They don't want him. No, right answered. Ray answered correctly. No we got trust issues. No, but but here's the thing. How did we get to the trust issues though? How how did how did you how did you as the woman, not you, but you know, just speaking in general, how did you get there? Lying ass man. Okay, so watch this. Accountability can be taken as far as what she's allowed in the past, but it right. doesn't negate the fact that she has been lied to. Right. This victim Olympics shit y'all like to do and blame right. everything on your past. It's not victim Olympics. It's fucking at wild. All. If you have something to always blame your fucking shortcomings on, you never have a reason to get better. So but I feel like I feel go ahead, my bad. Go ahead. It's okay. I was just gonna say like yeah, everybody's been through a past, but it's like we're adults now. It doesn't right. matter anymore. Just right. go through it. Just deal with it. Like everybody wants to blame. Oh well, he did this, so I'm gonna do this. He did this, or she did this. That's why I'm this way. It has nothing to do with the way you are. You just the way that you are because that's who you are as a person. Your past has. Oh, I know. To do I got trusted. I would not. Anton, you went out. You said you got what? Is that my service or his? Trust issues. Mine went out. Mine went out for Probably some Probably. No, nobody. I don't really think trust issues is a thing. I just feel like you're not that, taking accountability of what you've done. That is service or trust issues is a thing. I mean, it doesn't just because someone true. says I have trust mm -hmm. issues, it doesn't mean that they haven't learned the lesson from what people have taught them from what they've allowed. 
Listen, because if that's the case, I can agree, but we can say the same thing about men and what it, in, in terms of the entire inception of red pill. It well, came from them dealing with women who were not the best for them, who did not have their best intentions at heart. So therefore they then move differently. Yeah. It's the you same remember, concept. Yeah. You well, allow well, you allow well, something well, in the past and you yeah. make sure that it does not happen again. So yeah. you take well, better well, precaution. Well, when I say trust issues, I don't really consider it trust issues because anytime I hear, oh, well, I can't trust people because of what this person did to me. But what did you do for that person to do that to you? That's no. the problem. Well, I, we're not necessarily, well, I guess not necessarily I'm being a, a victim rather, I'm but his question was when a man comes along that actually wants to be with you after you've been lied to, then what? I think, or, I think trust has that to was be, his question. Yeah, I think for me, trust has to be earned. Friend, family. Uh, man, shim him, them, they. I don't trust people easily. No, not a, no. uh, um, Quinn, I'm not done. Um, I didn't say shit. I just shook my head, nigga. You said no. Didn't you say no? <laughs> I swear he said no. No, I think that in today's time, trust has to be earned with me. You're not going to get 100% trust. Seeing how people move, and if that's trust issues, I'm straightforward with it. Yeah, I got trust issues because a lot of y'all men be lying. A lot of y'all women be lying. That's why I said I'm good on women friends. Cause y'all be lying too. So yeah. that's why I said what Ray said, it's not trust issues, but it's like, we know what it looks like. We've seen the patterns in the past. Now we know, now I'm, I'm, I'm looking, if you connect those patterns like the past, Oh, you doing this, this, and this, but so it's kind of like, it's kind of like one of the things. Still, I feel like we always, sometimes we look for it. Sometimes we looking for it and uh -huh. it's not even there. Mm. Every time I look for, it, I fight it. I'm you like, don't, I don't, I don't trust, I don't investigator, trust bro. Investigator. Well, I, don't, I don't trust any woman. Like, I don't, I wouldn't trust a woman. Like, if I was to get divorced, I wouldn't trust, I would never get married again. I don't trust. Aww, I don't trust you trust women pretty Anton. What do you, what do you, what do you, hmm? you trust I've seen, them. like, I've seen too much of the nature of women to ever trust women hmm. to ever do anything like beyond exactly what they are like i would never get married if i was a guy um that's that's single today like successful i wouldn't i wouldn't trust a woman to marry her so what what about the men though you see how men are moving mm. would right. you advise women to get married i know they want to have a legacy part take away well, the legacy uh, you, you want women to trust men and how they're moving they're not moving any better than the women are well, well, well let, let's be clear he said successful men meaning that the woman has something to take from him what are, what, what are what are men finessing women and taking from right him in law or in matter? right because right. there's only a, a percentage of men there's that all the women want anyway their their bodies i mean I don't understand why you all think their body. They're, they're giving bodies to everybody. They but what I'm saying is, why do why do you feel women don't sacrifice anything when it comes to relationships and marriage? When what they, do you lose you yourself? Sacrifice? You lose yourself. That's what, what y'all say. That, that, that's the thing. Why was I not taken seriously? When because when you had a child, who did it? Who do you think got affected physically more? Who got more affected physically more? Let's say the first child. Did your body change? Did you almost die giving birth? It physically affected the woman more. Can why, I say why something? Did I move the opos? Who brought kids into this? No, I, can I say something? <laughs> no one brought kids. Y'all always go down to pregnancy. No, At no, the no, end no, of the no, day, no, no. when y'all yeah. niggas can't fucking substantiate your argument, y'all start talking about having babies. Can I say no, something, please? I can, also say, I can also say that when a woman, when she marries a man or when she's in a serious relationship, she takes on everything about that man she cares for him she loves him she's there for him that's why there are a lot of women who say i lost myself because she wanted to be everything for her husband and for her children or for until her they children. get bored okay can i just say respectfully okay. that everything that was just mentioned had absolutely nothing to do with it i think that we just need to take into account that on both sides both men and women of today and the dating pool are operating out of fear because yeah. nothing okay. should be addressed in a sense of who's sacrificing more. I think that until we are no longer operating out of fear, nobody should be vetting anybody for marriage at this point. If that's, if that's everybody's response on both the men and women's side, 
I don't think it's don't have anything tangible to lose. It's all your feelings in your head. I lost myself. Why why are you taking mental health like lightly? Like you're saying it's all about your emotions. Okay. I say this all the time. Anytime in America we talk about we talk about mental health, we talk about the bad side of mental health. We don't talk about the good side of mental health. If your mental health is on point, which is up to you to put your mental health there, you can fucking move mountains. But we're asking. I don't do that. Y'all like, live in the fucking victim Olympics. Mm-hmm. Oh, poor me, poor me. I lost we're myself. You ain't never heard we're a nigga say he lost back. himself in a bitch. Where's Simp Quinn back? Quinn at? First off, you asked what do women lose? We're we're letting you know as women, you born lose, women, you lose your what health. happens? Got it. What, Got it. You said what? You lose your Post mental health. Postpartum depression is a real thing, Quentin. Nigga, and here you go with the baby stuff again. But what I'm what I'm saying is. That's a big thing that women lose or when they date a super successful man and they can't pursue their own things and their own dreams because they're living for their man. There are women out here like that. I mean, well, I, like, I, feel, I feel both. I feel both people, like Ray said, we both sacrifice in this relationship. That's what a relationship is about. Exactly. But you, shouldn't just, you shouldn't just sit here and say, oh, women lose nothing and we have everything to gain and nothing to lose. And that's not true. We both gain and lose something when we enter and we leave a relationship. Like that, let's be And if the and if the ROI is not worth it, then don't deal with them, period. That's a fact. Period. period. I don't know what that is. Google it. Period. Men's mental health is better than I, I would say within a relationship because a man comes into a relationship knowing it's going to be hard. He's going to struggle. He has to do all this shit from a woman, and then the woman knows her life is going to get better because this dude is doing all the shit for him. We don't. We wait, know. Wait, it's gonna wait. Be- so you don't once again, if the ROI is not worth it to you, then don't deal with that woman. It's very simple. To make it why are we like making it harder successful? than it has to be? Man is always going to lose. Quinn, you're making it seem like relationships are one-sided. So, yo, mom, are your parents married? Yes, they're married. So, you're saying that your parents' marriage is one-sided. Your mama is really not doing nothing for your daddy? No. Well, I'm sorry. That's your relationship. But, <laughs> honestly... <laughs> what, 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 like, I, like, I didn't... He is doing something for his father, which is why they remain married. He knows his father knows the value that his mother is bringing to him. It may not be. Oh, are they married? You didn't say are they married together. You said are they married? That words matter. Oh, they're, they're not, not they're together. Not, they're divorced. They're not they're together. Married. Okay, so oh, let's say that. You gotta. Oh, I'm use sorry. That because I listen. Anton, I listen. Yeah, think that was my fault. Let's let's use Anton. Anton has lists the stuff Rita has done to take off his plate. That's what a wife's supposed to do: be a helpmate. Okay. So it's not a help me. Seem, it's a help me. Let's get it ready. Help, you, it's whatever. Sexual. You're making it seem like nah. women in a marriage, it's one-sided. Like a woman doesn't do nothing. That's crazy. Right. If Y'all that's what happened in your family outgrowing, I'm sorry that happened, but that's not how what are you we sorry for my shit's on point. What you mean? Ain't so, no sorry. I mean, your parents are divorced. Let me let me ask some context. Let me ask your parents divorced. Everything that she knows, I've taught her. So it's a difference. Mm-hmm. I've literally mm-hmm. groomed her into being the woman that she is today. Okay. And she will tell you that. Like before I went, before I got on this live stream, I jumped in the shower. And what did what did you say to me before I jumped in the shower? Do you hear me, babe? And what else? And what else? <laughs> mm-hmm. But she was basically saying, like. Well, you know, I don't want to big myself up too much, but I will if you make I me. Um, <clears throat> I mean, she was basically like, yo, you're the greatest human that I've ever met. <laughs> and like, seriously, that's what she'd be like. Yo, she's like, yo, you're the greatest human that I've ever met. And, Wait, so you married her because she like inflated her ego? Nigga, what? this is 20 years in. She just said that tonight. No, what I'm saying is when you speak about her, it's all about what she did to big you up as yeah. if this woman didn't have as if this woman didn't have her own mind her own anything that attracted you to her so that's why i was like you say everything she 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 knows i taught her everything that she is i made her to be damn was she anything before you she was just broke bum and helpless i mean i'm just trying to understand based on what you're saying that's all she's you doing do what real, she's supposed to do as a wife you do realize wife. that I, I met her before she was even in the boat. Oh, okay. But, but, Anton, but Anton, to talk about that, right? You raised her. Um, 
She had some. Yeah, sense. I mean, in a way, I was her father figure. But Anton, to think, to thought about that, she actually had some <laughs> sense to follow you, though, because mm -hmm. she had sense to follow you. So she actually had something inside of her, right? Because there's women that. Oh, I'm not. So listen, we're not diminishing the value that she is, and and you know, I get you. You know how well I speak of her and how awesome yeah. that she is. But my point is, is that. Um, you know, the value that she is today and who she is today was is largely based off of the leadership that I've given her. Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think that any anybody else could have made could have brought out what it is that I brought out in her. OK. 2K, your head look bigger than usual, 2K. Uh huh. Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hey, I done got the big head lately. So my, my point is, is that. No. Um, again, it goes back to a lot of what Quentin was saying and that what value, you know, I, I can't see the value because, first of all, I don't need another mother as far as like for mm -hmm. my kids. I don't plan on having no more kids. <clears throat> you know, it's almost like for me to take the risk for the level of trust that I would have to give to you because I take it serious. You got to be the person that I close my eyes next to every day. I've seen too much. I've seen the nature of what most people are when they don't get it out the mud with you. And so why would I take that level of risk with somebody for what? For sex? Okay. And, and women know like they date people like above and beyond. They were like, no woman is dating a nigga that's equal to y'all want nope. more. Like super successful women are fucking single as fuck. Right, because <laughs> they're not dating down. They're not bringing niggas up out the mud like men are doing to women. I'll date the bitch at McDonald's and be fine. Y'all ain't gonna date me if you make my kind of money and I work at McDonald's. It don't fucking happen. And it's like real. That's real. Nothing making shit up. Okay. So, so I mean, but like, what what would be the benefit? Like, why would I? Why would I change your life? Because I can change your life, but I'm not really sure that you can change mine at all. Why would, why would I even take that risk? What, okay. what, what would be the war for that? So let's talk to the majority of men, the men that are making. No, no, pay. no, no, no. We, cause she wanted to use me as an example. So mm -hmm. what would be the benefit? You, who are you asking? Anybody. Well, th my question was asking regarding. Oh, no, I don't hear nothing. I hear Chris. Where, where, where's the goal? For you, there will be no benefit. You're a millionaire. That's not the norm. No, listen, I just need, no, because women keep talking about what value that they have and I'm trying to understand it. And I just want y'all to break it time, break it down to me like a sister, no value. Like a little child. Well, what, I mean, what, what would y'all be, able, because y'all keep saying that it's equal and she did it. What could a woman do to change my life? Not you. We were referring to you. Not you. So why, so why would a guy? Okay, but it's a lot of guys like me that's successful. Why would they be? Why would they get married? That would be. I think that would be up to them. Like it's not us. It's not up to us to be like. Well, I do this and I have that and I say this. Why isn't it? That's what we do. If you was to ask me how I can change your life, I can name a hundred things. But are we really? But but this, as this a person conversation. who probably, as a person who probably doesn't really have a lot of experience in modern dating because you're married. We're, we're not sitting down across from each other as minor people asking them, like, so how can you change my life? You know That's what I mean? That's exactly what y'all asking. Y'all just not saying it directly. I agree. That's what y'all okay. say. Okay. Listen, the, the thing that y'all say is that. you say don't date based off of potential, which means mm -hmm. he already got to be a made man. Mm -hmm. So right. you don't have to say it directly. You're saying it indirectly. You're not, listen, you, would you talk to a broke dude? Yep. I yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Loyal today, Facebook, today, baby. Today. No, no, no. Um, I'm not talking about the little past, y'all crazy little flings. In 2024, as grown mm -hmm. women, mm -hmm. would you talk to a broke man? Yes. Yeah. Broke to you is 70K. So, yes. Broke to Anton. Oh, you stop. 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 You they don't I'm talk to the post. They'll talk to the post. Would y'all <laughs> talk to a broke man? The answer is no. <laughs> no. We're not doing exactly. that. I would I, say yes. So you don't, you know. don't, why, why, you don't even have the time as a broke man. Where do you have the See? time to date? You, you don't have to be getting your life. I just proved it. You just proved think my point. Quinn, think about what she so did. So what? She, she, it was crickets. Why would we want to date? Wait, hold on. Like, it was crickets answered. when I asked what value. But then when I asked when y'all would talk to a broke man, 
I didn't even ask for additional context. They start going into all of the things that's wrong and why he why would he do this and do that. They have they got a thousand things to say when we talking about that they don't want. But when we ask y'all, okay, cool. All right, so this guy is valuable. He got everything, all of that, whatever. You know, he's a great person. He goes to church. He loves God. He takes care of this kid. You know what I'm saying? He's he's a reflection of what it is that we advocate for inside of the community. I right, cool. How can you help change his life? Crickets. Nothing. I know what I know how they help change the quality of their life. No, it's all uh, no, it ain't all shit. It's, <laughs> it's really the 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 it's, it's the quality of life things like the little shit like um you ironing my pants, you putting toothbrush on my or you putting toothpaste on my toothbrush, you oh, make it so no no no, no. It's, it's, yes, it's just the little shit. Like when you got everything, I don't need nothing but the little things from you. Yep. Okay, and if I got you nothing, I need I need based on your real, two real, real. Real. Like, okay. it takes that's more real. for two people to do that than you to do it yourself. No, Finn, it, it's no. the convenience. Like she's yeah. she's doing it, so he don't it's have to do it. Like, 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 I'm supposed to take a risk based off of you putting toothpaste on my toothbrush. No, no, <laughs> you just, oh, yeah. you just, you just have just, to see the value in having a woman around. What 2K touched on are things that he I can get. I can have a whole bunch of partner, not a woman. A good woman. A good woman in your space is going to make your life easier, is what that means. Man, let me tell you something. You, you, like, Rita. like Rita. Like Rita. Like Rita. 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 Can she come on? Yeah, she's chicks. probably cooking something for Anton right now. Oh, I know. Come school us. Come chicks. school us, Rita. Come school Half us. y'all chicks treat the dude that, that your side dude that you cheating what? with better than your husband. So I don't want to hear that shit. No, they just get they they get less of them. Okay, so I was asking this question right here, Antoine. They they treat the dude that they cheating with better than the dude that they lay with every day. No, oh, they don't. Right. Yes, they do. Well, okay. Yes, well, they do. Cheat, so the dude, the dude that they, the dude that they fucking on the side, he <laughs> get all of her. He get. The he best just don't got the time to get the attitude. Yeah, he get he the best get the, of her. He get the he best, get the of, best her. of her. The yeah. dude that they like, that they love, that they land down with every day, he get the rest of her. Damn, that's fucked up. My God, I put that. That's the truth. Man, you, you, you do, you do all kind of nasty shit for the nigga that, that don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> you know what? Are you See, I like that laugh, Shay. <laughs> yeah. 2K you got a question, you said? I think I can't uh, well, well, a question was like, so this, this is my question that you answer. Which one would you rather have? All the money or a perfect woman? Like, absolutely, like she checked every box. Is that, is that for me? You know, he wants the money. This, this, the no, money. Is that this, for me? This for all of me, because you're going to say you already got the oh, perfect okay. woman. Anton oh, yeah, wants the money. No, if so you, if, my, you, if you asking me, <laughs> yeah, he's the wrong person. Hey, listen, bro, I know this is gonna sound crazy, but if I got the perfect woman, I can get all the money with no problem. Ooh, I was listen. Good point. I was, I was, okay, come on now, come on now. There's a whole bunch of perfect oh, no, no, women. No, 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 no. I didn't know that. That's my dog. That's my dog. Two <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two K traded places tonight. Like I've never yeah. seen before. Two K is in chameleon mode because this. Listen, just a fucking week ago, he was kicking a kicking a uh, stripper off. <laughs> <laughs> this, this week he comes to yeah. and he's talking about I don't need any money. I can get the perfect woman. I can get all the money. No, I, but Antoine and I me, mean, stay him, Antoine. Antoine. I always say that I can't. I can't stop the, the fucking W. So listen, in reality, bro, if you got the perfect woman, bro, getting the money is easy. She gonna I look out for the money you. without her. Uh, uh, I know you. I know you can, but you you can't listen. Which one can you get again? A perfect woman or a billion dollars? You can get a million dollars again. You will never meet a perfect woman ever again in your fucking life. I don't think that there is a perfect woman. I'm just saying. How you that be speaking? Hmm. Good women are hard to come by. I don't yeah. think that there is. That was a billion fucking dollars. Shit. <laughs> no, listen, dog, a million. Listen, dog, any dude, any dude that tell me he gonna take a woman over a billion dollars, me it's and that dude, fucking me and that wild. Dude, 
That is a that, let's that say a guy, million, not a billion. That guy, he he said, said, he look, average, he if it was so he hard to get there, there, nigga, we wouldn't be averaging this. He said I'm a million, gonna, not a billion. I, I, I didn't say a billion, nigga. Like, oh, nigga, niggas make 50k. That's the a long way from a million dollars, nigga. It's, it's quicker for Anton to get a million dollars and to him find another chick like Rita. Thanks. Listen, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Am I wrong, Rita, Anton? Rita is perfect for me. Okay. Because okay. because I got it out the mud with her. There mm. is no perfect woman for a dude that's already made. There isn't. Right. right. Is, this shit is subjective as hell. If like you that. didn't get it out the mud with me, then you can't be perfect for me. It's I don't believe that, Anton. It's impossible. Because you're just you, almost you, like wait, wait, you telling me, you telling me now I turned 42 on sat last Saturday, right? You telling me. That I'm a fun because I don't want no no 20 year old chick. All right. I, I'm not that type of dude. I don't want no young bitch. We, we can't we can't talk about nothing. So considering that she been perfect all this time. Why she ain't got why ain't nobody else got her? So you put out your oh, she been hiding somewhere? How come well, ain't nobody else got her walked her up? Right. What right. kind of man we're talking? We need to set the goalposts. Are we talking hold about on, a nigga? Hold on, hold on. Because this is wild to me. Well, how come then? Was she hiding from everybody else? Why is she just so happy to be perfect? <laughs> because and I just so happen to discover her at uh, my right age. Because she was perfect for you, not no, for the other 39. No. <laughs> no. No. I, I'm telling you, bro. Hold on, because you got on that old ass big ass polo shirt. Is that a drive? <laughs> no, it's polo. Oh, that polo, you sure? Was it called Polo hey, Association? I'm from, hey, bro, I'm from Mississippi, right there with you, man. You oh, okay. Oh, hey, oh, okay. You from the SIP. Let me stand down. I'm from the SIP. Jackson, okay. to be oh, exact. Don't do you like that. <laughs> okay. You, you from the SIP, so we going to give it to you, Cal. Hell hey, no. But, but on, on the series, too. Hold on, on. Hold on. Hold on. The giraffe is wild, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that, that horse got a long ass dick, man. That's how yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call it? Polo Association. Is that what they sell at JC? <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is this the Ralph Lauren. Yeah, that's the Ralph Lauren. Ah. <laughs> a giraffe. A giraffe is hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, yeah. I, is that an iPad on your wall, though, my guy? <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> no, that it do look at the same size, though. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't damn well that ain't on no TV. TV. <laughs> 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 so the show, oh, no. the show is over. You know what? I literally just thought about it. I was like, dang, it do look like an iPad on the wall. <laughs> 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 this is my iPad. <laughs> oh, man. That's tough. <laughs> oh, boy. Whew. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's tough. I can't get my oh, last shit wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Hmm. Bro, I forgot yeah. what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Why would you bring Ooh. him on here? Oh my God. <laughs> What's up with it, Jazz? Okay, Ooh, I got you. Okay. I'm back. I'm back. What we talking about? Oh my God. We were oh talking God. about how you women ain't shit. Hold <laughs> on, dog. How you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> That's I mean, yes, women, there's I'm some sure. women that ain't shit, just like there's some men that ain't shit. I definitely agree. We are an ain't shit generation nowadays. Hold but on, just, bro. Hey, Lars, this whole, this whole topic is just too subjective about who you are, what you got going on in life, who she is, what she got going on. 
Pretty much, there's somebody for everybody. I think you just wouldn't be. Honest. Why? Why niggas gotta have a background in order in order to do the deal to come on the live? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it's it's, crazy, you you gotta have your background right when you come on into the show, cause real talk, <laughs> nigga. I remember my old background. I used to have like a um like a breaker box in my background. Wait a <laughs> <minute. fun> <laughs> No, no, no. Remember that guy KP? He came on. He had like cartoon in the back. He had like a big chain oh, and y'all was calling him. And then Anton was like, are you? Are you? I saw that one. So, so, that. so I'm I'm actually in my music room. I didn't even try to work on no background or nothing. I was hey, like, yo, well, what? Don't listen to them. It's okay. You showed up. Thank you. We <laughs> yeah. appreciate you. You don't have to have a glorified background. He got he got an LED light back there. What's all the matter? <laughs> okay, got the EDM kind of R- 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 RGB. <laughs> oh, oh, my my Y'all so ignorant. Let me read these super chats. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Um, he shouldn't take her back after all of her interviews she did after divorcing Corey. No <laughs> self-respect if he takes her back. Because he ain't Corey, shit. Corey was never her first choice. Call a spade a spade. Mm. Um, salute eight Anton, the panel chat. I had to scroll back to get Quinn's sex tip. Nice to know. What? <laughs> <laughs> women love to be lied to that's why they reject honest men with no game Thanks. um how do men get trust issues what's the trigger day mama 2k <laughs> would you like to answer that how do men get trust issues yep oh probably because of the shit that they didn't did that's <laughs> right <laughs> you're right okay. I said, I sound like a fifth tonight but i gotta tell the truth but like yeah most niggas be scared of God, nigga. that's exactly what it is you think that's a fact that's a fact um the way these women hold on to their past i'm surprised they don't turn into a pillar of salt at some point you have to let go of your failed relationships Thanks. keep caring children out of it uh, we lose our time because babies is attached to our hip. See, so two lesbians are having say, a baby yeah. using sperm from a bank. Who caused them to damage their bodies? What? Mm-hmm. Okay. Quinn and his Quinn is in Quentin in his bag tonight, and I like it. You might be talking too soon, Victor. Wives <laughs> are supposed to encourage and affirm their husband. Noel lost. Your husband's purpose becomes yours. Your husband's supposed to make you better. Bring yeah. her up. You want to drop the link for her, for yeah, Miss K. Agree. Take yeah. money out of the equation. It doesn't matter the level of the man. He will evolve, <clears throat> and his woman does too. The purpose is what matters. Mm. Two based on the truth is a wild ass example. <laughs> women say they want you to be honest with them until it's time to be honest about them. Who are these dudes telling y'all these glorious lies all the time? Derek Jackson. Happy belated birthday, Anton. <laughs> Big big ad polo shirt. <laughs> Get 2K off the panel. First, first off, y'all was begging for 2K. Now y'all want now y'all want them off. Make that make sense. Drizzle drizzle for the hating females on the panel. Thank you for the dollar ninety nine that you could afford. Um, that's the studio ah. team. Y'all good. All money is good money over here. We appreciate Ooh, your dollar ninety nine. I never, I never said nothing was bad about the money. How much to get Jazz off the panel? N- nothing. Zero. What? She ain't going nowhere. <laughs> nigga. Ain't going nowhere. Okay. Ooh. Okay. What a night. What a night. Well, thank you, everybody. That's the chat. Make sure you hit the like button. Thank you for everybody that says super chats. You guys, it's 1,800 people in here. Why are the likes so Ooh. low? It's free. Okay. I get some likes up, man. Yeah. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Y'all internet's tripping on this panel, Ray and Anton. Anton, get your internet correct. Let's my, get my camera went out tonight for some reason, too. I don't know what it is. Is it the service? Thank you, Time Out, for the 99 cents, sir. Okay, let's go to ooh, this trigger warning. We should have had um two case friend on this one. Mm. Oh. Uh-uh. So I'm gonna play this one. Which friend? The one with the crop top. With the crop top. Yeah, you don't remember your friend? You bought on with the crop top and was uh, rolling with a doobie. Oh, to my my gay homeboy. Mm-hmm. My gay homeboy oh, yeah, yeah. is wild. <laughs> <laughs> now, hold on, before you say that, you kind of uh, Shay kind of remind me of Angela Yee a little bit. No, yeah, yeah that's who I thought she was, bro. I, I'm studying channel. Mm-hmm. Doctor mm-hmm. Virgin. Yeah, you so good, Angela Yee, yeah. man. Angela who? Angela Yee from the Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club? 
She looked better yeah, than Angela. Yeah, she's way she better than Angela. Angela Yee, Angela Yee's the face. No, Diddy. Angela Yee is light skinned, it more light skinned, it. But she, they, 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 they look similar. Like her yeah, facial. They got like, they, they look similar in a way. Yeah. But she, like I said, it's I think she looks better than Angela Yee. The, the cheeks, I think. Yeah, the cheeks. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get to the next topic, ladies and gentlemen. Hit the like button. Oh, like that's, button. that's the wrong button. Like button. Yeah. Good afternoon, Julia. You know my pronouns. Are they them? How are you doing? Yeah. Um. Thank you for telling me your pronouns. I use correct grammar. So the only only thing I would need to refer you to is for, to your face would be you. But I'm, I'm not being rude. You can choose your pronouns. You can choose what you want to call yourself. But you don't have a, you don't get to require me to use incorrect grammar and factually incorrect things. You're not a plural. You're a, you're a, you're a one person and you're a, you're a female person. So I will use she and her. Thank you very much. Do what you like. I guess. Well, there you are. You didn't need to tell me then, did you? Maybe I'm just making sure people know in case they're watching and they want to refer to me respectfully. Is it disrespectful for me to use correct factual grammar? It's not incorrect or unfactual grammar to use singular they them pronouns for an individual but we're here to talk about the cat review yeah but but you but you chose but you chose to bring it up you chose to use the incorrect pronouns for me i, I chose to use the correct pronouns for a single woman who is appearing on my show i'm not a single woman though i'm a very special non-binary trans person just before i came on you were talking about how people with all these labels like mm. to be special and i'm just making sure that everyone knows i'm special oh my god there we go <sighs> actually i'm oh, glad it was a white woman that said something it's higher. <clears throat> With these terminologies coming out, he, she, shame, them, LGBTQ, LGBTQ, things being taught in schools regarding kids, how do you guys feel regarding, do we have to be respectful on what they want to be called? No, I think it's delusion, and I think they need to leave kids out of it. This <clears throat> he, she, them, they, there. Like, live your life, but I shouldn't have to change who I am in order for you to live the life the way you want to you know what i mean like it, the the projection the you need to acknowledge me because i'm a special person it's it's this weird sense of entitlement that they've invoked and it's it's a waste of time it's a waste of space it's not progressing in society and my number one thing out of all of it leave the kids out of it they don't need to know anything about your sexual identification it's not their business you don't need to be a drag queen reading to kindergartners for what? It's just, it's, it's unnecessary. Leave the kids out of it. That, that, that's just my thought. <clears throat> but if you look like a woman, I'm going to end up saying her. Now, if I can call you by your name, if that's okay, that's okay. But I'm not going to play these semant semantic gymnastics because sometimes you're a they and sometimes you wake up as a, 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 a zero and it, it's too much. And it ain't got shit to do with, with me. Keep that to yourself. I think it's just spreading because, like, even if, like, because I'm in human resource and we'll have, like, certain stuff that we have to fill out. And it'll ask you for, like, your pronouns. And then now it's listing he, she, they, them. And I'm like, our uh, one of our HR people came on and was holding a meeting, and he was like, "My name is Michael. I go at I go by he slash." I was like, "What the hell? Like, are we really doing this? Like, like I know we're trying to be politically right, but do we have to do that? Like, if I was taught a certain way, why should I be trying to comfort them in what they want to be called? So if I said, "Hey, call me a 16 year old white girl." Cause that's what I go as now. Like, is that what we're going to be doing? Cause I think I saw something where this old white dude wanted to be known as like a, a little child. And I'm like, this is where it's going to end up Th this type of stuff, this foolishery and stuff going on. But I think it's going to get worse because I don't think anybody's really putting their foot down regarding what's happening. Isn't this what y'all want though? No, no, no. no. <laughs> and yeah. the crazy thing about this, like, <laughs> I, I struggled with pronouns before the gay people came. Like, I still can't tell you what a pronoun is. Like, it, no, I'm, I'm super serious. So, now they come in with he, she, I, but I don't even know. I'm telling you, I don't know what pronouns are. I barely know English. So, I you know. So, when I was in college, I took stud studies. And, like, they were super big, like, on calling them. I was like, man, bro, I'm not for to remember all this. Just tell me your name. Just tell me your name. And, uh, once they figured out that I really didn't know my pronouns 
and I didn't care to learn nails. They just left me alone. I don't, I'm not, you know what? I don't know, bro. I just don't subject myself to all of this new stuff. And, um, but I think that, I mean, it seemed like this is what y'all asked for. Like y'all can't, y'all can't go back on it now. Like y'all opened up the door for the genie. You can't put the genie back in the bottle. And then y'all asked for this by advocating for people to be able to do what they wanted to do. And y'all didn't think that they was going to take it as far as they take it. Like everybody push it. Men push it as far as women let them. Mm -hmm. You train a man on how you want to be treated. And mm -hmm. so in society, how would it be any different in that you got all of these people that's a part of these communities that basically hijack the civil rights movement and hijack the whole movement when it's in black culture and, and the progress of black people in a general sense, whether I agree with it or not, they hijack that movement. Y'all advocated for the president that highlighted it and still championing it to this day in Obama. That was his main agenda and, and what he pushed and one of his key things that he passed as far as during his administration. And all of the ways in which y'all operated in society and y'all advocated for it and y'all wanted people to be able to do what they wanted to do and y'all y'all advocated for gay marriage and stuff. What y'all thought that they was just going to stop at that? If they was able to bully y'all into doing all of this stuff, then why would they stop at that? Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they control how y'all think? Whether or not you can say certain things on your job, all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> no one. What do you think they control. advocated? Who they? All y'all. All of who? Like who? Are you, are you talking about black people in America? Like who's people they? In general, everybody, people in society, oh. people in gen in general, anybody that's liberal, anybody that support liberal rights, and, and people that are moving in that way, I believe that y'all advocated for it. I, I would say the people who closely um, identify with the transgender people are black women. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't nobody, up, hey, hey, don't nobody, do, <laughs> don't nobody <laughs> uplift a gay dude like a black woman. I don't think y'all been I don't think y'all been to the white gay areas, <laughs> but I've been to white gay areas and I'm going to tell you, it, I've seen way more trans whiteies. And those white girls be uplifted. I know y'all probably don't be around white people like that, but no, no, I, that's true too. That's true too. Yeah, no, I will say <clears throat> it's uh, it's unfortunate because I feel like black women, you know, specifically, we're always at the forefront fighting for somebody else's rights. Right? <laughs> Nobody is fighting hard for us, but when it comes to you know uh, Black Lives Matter, who is at the forefront? We already know the real deal with Black Lives Matter, but as far as the idea of, you know, black people being treated fairly, black women are in first in line to advocate for that. Black women are the first in line to advocate for LGBTQ rights, you know what I mean? And unfortunately, us aligning with that and just saying, we just all wanna be treated fairly and be treated as human, us aligning with that has opened Pandora's box. <clears throat> and now, like Anton said, it ain't just gonna stop at the gay marriage. Now they wanna, now it's so many other tiers. And unfortunately, we did have a hand in supporting <clears throat> that. We just didn't know how much was gonna come out of that as we supported it. Uh, so hey. I, will say, I, I will say, black women or just women in general, us aligning with the gay community, it may seem innocent, but there could be like an underlining, like we could be playing ourselves by aligning so much. Are we playing? It's and already played. We already played ourselves. Yeah, y'all definitely playing y'yself because anybody yeah. that they want it equality. Was a, it was a trick. It was a trick. Like it, feminism, it, it, black women. Yeah, and, and listen, cause uh, black women can. Okay, can we can we acknowledge how? Y'all get tricked a lot. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. Okay. Y'all get tricked <laughs> a lot. Y'all need to take the every time, nigga. Y'all get tricked a lot for y'all to be such a you know up you know, like y'all are. Know, we we we're just a naturally. I think yeah, black people just in general, we're just inherently gullible. loving, nourishing, not gullible. We nur gullible. Nur nurturing. Ooh. And 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 give benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? Like it's a it's a natural thing. But, but y'all cool. do that to everybody except for black men. Y'all niggas. Hey, hold on. Y'all niggas hate us. No, that's true. You get everybody the benefit of the doubt, but y'all niggas is in jail. Y'all niggas, 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 niggas is gay. We everything, nigga, that we ain't. <laughs> no, yeah. I disagree with that only because we all know a woman 
who let some pookie sleep on her couch who while let? she was standing in his who life. Let? We 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 all know somebody who has like believed in a, a black man so much and he had actually no plan, nothing to offer, but because she loved him and she believed in him, even though wait, he wait, 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 wait. hold on. He stuck beside We've been her. telling y'all we, 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 we've been we telling y'all so don't you have a supporter y'all because we have. Black women wouldn't have this problem if they just get behind a nigga and stay and ten toes down, be loyal, and just, and just rock with your bros. Like, let us have your shit. Y'all don't do that. Fuck that. No, we, like, the fear fact, we have women on this panel that told me I wasn't masculine enough because my fucking voice, bitch. I can pay for well, your well, life. Well, well, they're not on I the panel. I can pay for your life, nigga. I can drag you and all your hot girls to the promised land. Queen, nigga, queen, they're not on the panel. Talking. I'm talking, nigga, but my voice ain't deep enough, so you don't want to fucking follow me. That is some bullshit. <laughs> we we just got to go back to the old systems where y'all dad it, was it is all the way to emasculate the brother. Mm, yeah, well, y'all. We, the, the lady that did that is not on the panel, so your frustration is valid, but it, it's not for it, it. She's not here. You should. Can we that. just go back to the system where y'all dad is gay y'all the way? <laughs> arranged marriage. Yeah, arranged marriage oh, because y'all yeah. can't I mean, nigga, nigga, y'all too many nigga. daddies leaving their kids. Okay, let, 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 let's revisit y'all track record of niggas y'all pick. Obama, <laughs> Biden, <laughs> your last baby daddy. Um, y'all pick the LGBT uh, V community over us. Like, cause y'all, y'all pick Austin, Santana, welfare, South of Santana. Like, bro, can y'all just stop picking? Roland Martin, Omar Johnson, Derek Jackson, migrants. Want me, want me to keep going? Like seriously, we've been telling y'all since the beginning of time. <clears throat> just sit down, shut the fuck up, and let us handle this shit. Oh. Now we got to fight for y'all in the swimming pool because a motherfucker is out lapping y'all, and he a man. You know what I'm saying? Because the niggas is dunking on y'all on the basketball court, pretending to be women now, and it's like. Y'all want us to save y'all from y'all selves. And we've been warning y'all and telling y'all since the beginning of time, like, yo, this ain't good for you. Stay home. Don't break up your family. Don't go on the girls' trip with them hoes because you they're going to get you in trouble. Don't do this. Don't do that. And now it's like, well, nobody's fighting for us. You do realize that protection also is proactive. So sometimes it's not us crashing out for you. It's us warning you and telling you, hey, you shouldn't be out there fucking protesting for Black Lives Matters. That's a fucking feminist organization and a Marxist. All of the women that's leading that started Black Lives Matters are lesbians. Yep. Y'all should probably sit down. And it was like, fuck that. I was like, oh, okay, well, cool. Have yeah, at no, it. That was, that was trickery, too. I mean, Joe Soros has his hand in everything to cause organized chaos for political and financial gain. I mean, we all know that. But the the, <clears throat> the actual saying, Black Lives Matter, it had to be said. Unfortunately, it got hijacked and, and it was perpetuated wrongly. But that actually needed to be said because it we, we saw, it but, 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 but Anton, you know, we saw, we saw that society did not treat us as if our lives mattered. No, it didn't. That's it was all a do. distraction. Listen, That's we the to do Black Lives Matter movement was a distraction so that y'all can vote a certain way and so that y'all can get distracted from the fact that this whole fucking pandemic had us all fucked up. And this yeah. shit was it was it was all designed for us to be focused on something than what was really mattering, including the, yeah. the, the 2020 election. And so we yeah. was telling y'all, hey, this shit is stupid. Stop. How they going to tell y'all shut y'all businesses down? And tell y'all, hey, y'all can't do business and y'all got to stay six feet away from each other. But y'all can go out there and be right next to each other, shoulder to shoulder, fucking protesting in the middle of the right. street. I was that don't even make sense. It didn't make sense. Yeah, no, the organization is all effed And up. so I'm if, I, if that, how are they going to let y'all protest shoulder to shoulder in hand right. while they fucking hooping in, the, in, the, in this fucking circle and they telling y'all y'all can't even open up y'all businesses and stay six six feet no check. No, it was it and they was all sense. and they was all at George Floyd's funeral where other people couldn't have funerals. Yeah, right. That joke was so dumb. It was, was very. Like, dumb. And you got to wear a mask. Nobody, no, nobody see the finesse, huh? No, nope. it, it, it was all a finesse. It was all. It was all a finesse. It's really. And we bad. was telling y'all, hey, listen. All you got to do is go to their website. 
It says it. We're a Marxist organization. Ah, no, we we gonna stand behind it. Then them hoes was up there on the on the mountaintop sipping my ties in the new house that y'all bought them. Right, mansion. But when you try to tell people this, it's like I don't want to talk about that now. Who? Why? I don't want to talk about that right now. No, no, no. Let's talk about it now. Right. Let's talk about it. Because here's the thing. Now inflation is beating your ass because you voted for the wrong person. Mm -hmm. Now now you got migrants trampling over the whole fucking world. Right. And they running in here with no borders because y'all wanted to be distracted and shit. And they doing the same thing right now. Now they got a motherfucker in Chicago that was shooting at the police. And now all it's the same play. Do you realize that every four years... It's always the same thing. Yeah. Every single time. The same thing. And it's like, damn, we seen this play again. We're gonna we gonna fall for it again. Oh, it's all the black people. Like right. shit. Don't nobody and get you, it. People keep voting out of their emotions. You know, I feel like everybody voted for uh the the geriatric who got in the White House now. I think everybody voted in the name of we hate Trump. That's really what yeah. that was all about. That's what it was. They wanted to get Trump out, so it was like, let's just get Biden. Let's just get him in there, and then look what we got. I lost so many friends. Now they want him back. Y'all picked the wrong nigga once again. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I I, I knew we were fucked up when Camilla pulled the hot sauce out of her fucking bag and she had on fucking Tim. (laughs) And y'all went for it. And they ain't. No, think about it, though. Okay. Like, this chick is not. Gosh. (laughs) I I never trust a Kamala. I mean, her track record proves. Where her integrity lies, like she is not for the people at all. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? She is, she is here to perpetuate it, or yeah, and to carry out systemic racism and oppression. Like, like what's the she role? To, what's the role that she in? Pardon me. What's the role to she in? Uh, uh, AKA. 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 Okay, yeah, yeah. So you, you, so, can't, tr- you can't trust nobody that buy friends, okay? Because that's all that shit is—is is paying yeah. for friends. <laughs> Yeah, I know, James. You look like you a Delta. You look like you a Delta. You look like a Delta. Y'all be paying for friendships. Why That's I look like a Delta? Huh? Why I gotta look like a Delta? We already know all the Delta be dark skin, all the AKA be, 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 be red bone. Because <laughs> I feel like you would probably be like a Q. Oh. No, he, he an Iota. The ones that don't Iota? What the fuck? <laughs> Iota is crazy. (laughs) If I had to pay for a friendship, I would have been an alpha. Hey, Hey, my ex in college was an alpha. They were cool. They were like, yeah, yeah, my man now, he's an alpha. And I I like that. Oh, hell no. Yeah, no. I think think there's no, there's a camaraderie in certain fraternities. Man, the motherfuckers was paying for pussy in, in college. That's all. That's all they were paying how for. Would you know, you didn't experience that. You because, yes, I did, you. nigga. I went straight to college right out of high school, and all of the motherfuckers that was pledging was doing it so that they can get more pussy. Them niggas what they didn't even understand the organization. Man, listen, any especially back then, any nigga that was willing to get hazed by another man is a, is a sucker. To me. <laughs> any yeah, any no, think me about this me. shit because you know I I, I be <laughs> this shit is so funny to me. Can't no nigga that that pledge, especially back in the day. If you pledge before 2015, nigga, you you corny to me, right? And this is why, because all of them niggas got haze, and so you can't come back and tell me, nigga, you better respect me, nigga. You had a nigga that was throwing powder on you and telling you to go get his homework. They get haze now too. It's not and you, and you, and you, and you, but no, see, okay. they, they getting they getting bullied by the federal government not to haze as much now, right. nigga. You was you was. She nigga, you <laughs> and so uh, they were paying for niggas to beat their ass. But it's not, it's, not, it's not even beating they was doing. Like <laughs> oh, oh, what a paddle oh. was there. They was doing these, doing niggas, doing they were paying whoop. for it. These niggas was getting whooping by about other niggas that was their age. And you tell them, <laughs> <laughs> damn, I ain't thinking about that. And then these niggas <laughs> over there and tell me, don't disrespect me, nigga. Fuck you. You was over there getting whoopings, nigga, in college. <laughs> right, nigga, that was your age that you didn't right, even nigga, know. That was your age. It's, crazy. it's, it's okay. Jay, it's you, so you a Delta so ain't a Jay. Ask, ask, no, ask your man what did he do? What did he do to get in his organization? They can't I, say. 
they I, mean, I know he can't say because <laughs> because that shit is embarrassing. Hands on stop. No, he he talked about it. it. Ain't nothing embarrassing. It was it it wasn't like that. I know some it, other. They made him touch his, his toes. Toes. They, they made him touch his toes and tell him to uh spell run three times. Yeah. No. It, no, it get it gets crazy. Like you think it's just beating. Yeah. I, I, it's it gets crazy. I can't listen. Listen, I get. I don't work, give a bro, fuck man. about no head. nigga that's telling me to respect them. But at the same time, this nigga was getting touched on and bullied by niggas just because he can be in a, so he can be in an yeah, organization. No, that wasn't. Nigga, that. And they gotta pay dues for a lifetime, nigga. You paying tithes and offerings to an organization, nigga. <laughs> well, my mama Crazy. and my brother do it faithfully. They're both in different fraternities and they do it all the time. My mama's a Zeta, my brother's a noob. It happens all the time. My brother has actually told me stories of what happened with him when he became when he actually got ready to cross. It's right. real. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, these niggas, these it, niggas it, is pledging. But we come on the other side with like, how you gonna Greek? pledge to a Greek organization, nigga? Now that that's a whole nother topic. Just, think about what it. I said. Think about what I said. I said they they gotta touch their toes and spell run three times. Now I want you to spell run out loud. No, spell it. Are you in? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's what they got to do in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Toes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 no, 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 no. I don't know anything about that. I've never heard a story like that. Before. No, no, that it, it's so hilarious to me, bro. <laughs> if it stood on some like for real, like what I see the actual impact, like that they do in the community, I but I don't see it. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a like you actually have to find a group of people that will actually be there. There that's willing to actually help for the community. There are some people that are actually doing it. It's look, just not all. Of look, them. It's not a lot. It's, it's not, not a lot. And, and then when they do do it, you have to force the rest of the people. Hey, y'all, we need to come out here and feed the food. It yes. ain't doing. Now, it ain't my doing. brother don't. My brother, he I. My little brother, he does it all the time. I always see him out in the community helping out. He works at the Boys and Girls Club. He's a coach for one for their game. Listen, he could have did that shit on his own. He don't need no organization. To tell he was him no, 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 no. He was doing that before he pledged. He had it, it, he was working at the Boys and Girls Club before it, it, then. Nah, he that just, nigga doing it. Oh, and I want to play, so he did it. I don't like that them tiny twat, aka like. Uh, uh, I don't need no fucking organization to do volunteer work, nigga. I've done that shit on my own. But some people <laughs> say like. They do it for like networking. I know when back in college, because my ex was a frat, I used to ask the homeboys, like, why did y'all do it? Like, I never understood why people would join an organization like that. Like, because I'm like, no, why? Because especially the girls, my ex wanted me to join the girls once. And I was like, no, I don't even like them girls. What I look like listening to girls tell me what to do, especially right. when they don't like me because they trying to F you. Like, no. But they said it's like brotherhood. It's networking. But I just wasn't. There, there, there is a network own, and there is a camaraderie. Yeah. There is a brotherhood after you leave college. There is I got my own friends. Connect, there is a network that you're connected with for life. That that I don't need you niggas for life. I'm a whole man. You can I don't bully. need nobody to, to, right, to but, bully me into an organization so I can have right, but Anton, but Anton, but aren't you also the same person that said you don't really have like male friends like that? You like to be know. the smartest like nigga in the room. Right. You like to be the only man that's the smartest, the richest. No, the, I the, I the like to be the only. Room. We can all. We can all. Out with no, other men. I prefer. I prefer. Listen. There are some look, men that, that I, take value what, who, in man, brotherhood. And, and again, I could be off. Cause I never understood the shit. So maybe y'all can educate me. What man want to be around a bunch of hard legs doing what? <laughs> and so I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna disqualify them. Some men I mean, running what do you past. call sports? What do you call male yeah, competitive yeah. sports? Oh, true. You said right. what? What do I call? What? what do you call male competitive sports? Yeah, you about they, around a bunch of hard legs? They trying to beat each other up. What? Some, they definitely I'm beating trying something. We trying I mean, to win. We trying to beat each other up. Yeah, and y'all smack each other on the ass. Just hang out with just just hang out. Normal, so what are we gonna talk about? Maybe I'm just saying you can't you can't what, what, no, 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 no. Oh. It's, it's 20 niggas in a room together. What are we talking about? Business, women, <laughs> women, sports, <laughs> women, video games. Then what are we I don't want to talk about women, I want to talk to women. I don't know. Women so you don't, are so you, don't have, women, you don't have any male, like any male friends that like, are your bros that y'all just Yeah, they call my real brothers. His name is Andre, Gene, and No, Greg. outside of your bloodline. No. 
That's, that, that, that's, that's different, Anton. That's different. A man of Why your stature. Listen, listen, listen. A man of your stature. It's 24 hours in a day, right? I got a wife that I can go fuck on, and I got women that I can go and get money with. Why would I want to make time, make time to go hang out with another nigga? Well, didn't Kevin Samuel say Is he that some like, girls with it? Be, in order for a man to be high value, he needs to have other high value men claim him to be that? Aren't Ooh. you a high value guy? No, 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 no. But listen, 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 listen. I that's, assume that's, that's his criteria. That's cool. That's his criteria. And I and that was my guy, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Yeah. But here, here's the thing. Here's the other part of it. Here's the other part of it. Me and Kev didn't agree on 100% of everything. That's number one. And then number two, I'm my own man still. Yeah. And I don't move based off of the rules of somebody else. But having a, a, a friendship and a camaraderie with someone doesn't take anything away from you. I could be cool own. with you, but if we not getting no money together, if we not getting no hoes together, Dog, How you I would rather just turn eight brothers was definitely getting hoes together. You never got hoes though. You've been married. How you getting hoes? Listen, whoever, whoever it is that you know, I got more. Y'all like I got more. I got more. I got more hoes. He said he was married since he was twenty, so he bragging on hoes he was getting. Anton been fucking since ten. No, hold on. Let me let, let me get Anton. Listen, if you listen, talk, no, hold no, on. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Anton, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me say this. Let me Get say it. this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Real so, ones don't have to talk about the bodies that they got no. or the women that they didn't fuck. I don't. I don't do that. Like I don't pillow talk. I'm not about to tell y'all all of that. Like I don't name names. I don't do none of that shit. So it's not about proving it, right? Whoever it is that I've ever dealt with, they know, and that's all that matters. But the fact of the matter is this: today, right now, if I'm in my studio or I got some people in there. I don't have a bunch of niggas in there. It's going to be women. And if you come in, then bring some women with you. But That's I right. don't I don't get creative around a bunch of men. But Anton, I want to drink. I want to have a good time. We want to throw the music on or whatever. We, we want gonna... women around because they stroke your ego, Anton. That's all that is. I don't want to say stroke your ego. That's, 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 and that's okay. Bye. And that's okay. Let me tell you about, me tell you about this good book right here, Anton. And, and, and that's, okay. that's okay. That's okay. Just be honest you, about it. It's not because you become this creative. It's like, no, women are softer around you. They play into your ego. You feel good around them as opposed to a man, another man with another perspective who can probably challenge you. You ain't with that. So Why would I want to hang around I a get, nigga I, just I, challenging I get, me? I get why you don't have male friends. Into a cafe. No, 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 no. Listen, right. hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, 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 they move the goalposts in order, to, and it ain't got nothing to do with the original fucking point. That was for now sure. she no. want men to come around and challenge me. Listen, I'm a man in my own kingdom. I'm not inviting a nigga. I'm not a part of your man's fraternity, all right? So Period. I don't get hazed. I don't have niggas telling me what to do. I stand on my own. Now, I have women around me because I like soft, feminine, good energy hoes yeah. that like to drink and have a good time and no. throw it back on the couch. That's what we want to see. I want to see it in real time. I don't want to fucking see it on the TV. So while all of these other niggas is pulling up porn, I can look at these hoes in real life and draw my inspiration from it and, and have a great creative creative platform. That's what I like. And it's the end, of, I, end of discussion. No, no, it's not. Because right here in your book, Proverbs 27, 17, it say, as iron sharpens iron, a man sharpen men. Yeah, that's so, what like, that's but that's what we got fathers. Oh, hold on, wait, wait, no, that's no. What the father is for nigga. No, I, listen, Anton, no, you, you listen, you help me sharpen my skills without with yeah. just just, just on but, the internet. But when we connect, we gonna get money together. Yeah. Now, but if we don't have to be there, around though. If we gonna have some residual conversation around that, then that's cool. But it has to be an objective, and that Q will tell you when I fly into a city. And whenever we didn't did shows and shit, I'm there. I do what I do. Me and my chick check out and we go. First thing smoking in the morning, I'm back in my city and I'm going to get to the money. 
I don't f- want to fucking hang out with a bunch of niggas. I'm not trying to. I don't, I don't need to impress you, niggas. Well, what Anton, you those people are really your friends, Anton. What if it's like these men, like these men in fraternities, let's say they've known each other for 10, 15 years. Like, that's their friends. Like, good of course, friend. he could be Cut. networking. They could be talking about I money. don't want to hang out have with you, no niggas. Have you ever Two. played a sport, Anton? Have you ever played a sport? Yeah. Yep. What sport? Open. <laughs> You can go back. You can go back. You can go back to the Jesuit. Go back to the University of Detroit Jesuit. I hope there, and then I also went over to Cast Tech. Why you play? He was the ALC. During that time, you didn't build like a brotherhood with your teammates. No, let me tell you something. Only reason, only reason most of these niggas even join the sports team is A, so they can get a letterman jacket, and B, so they can fuck hoes. Oh my god, Anton. So you're, you're so saying so your whole career you didn't grow no brotherhood? I mean, that's just okay, that's you. I but have like, real my- brothers in real life. I okay, had three but- brothers. Oh okay, my god. three you brothers outside of your blood sisters. Friends of bro- like brothers, three yeah. brothers, no sisters. I didn't need no extra friends. I had everything that I needed. I only wanted the hoes and the money. Yeah, you were. Uh, I, I was in the military. Very after, very after, like, I was in the military. Very yeah, back with no I, like, I had a father. I had brothers. What the fuck? I need y'all niggas for. And so you 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 it's learn about different, about different men. Like you you got to step outside. I, I can't tell you what to he do. Can't, he can't but. step out of it, two K, because he has to be the one in control, always right, the coolest, the 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 most. You know, I didn't want to hang around a bunch of niggas. Yeah, you no, can't I, be challenged by other men. You have to have agreeable people around you, which is why you prefer female company because you pay for them to agree. You you pay for them to I hang out. Who? I'm saying like you pay for a good time. You pay for a good time. I'm saying wait, 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 wait. Don't name, you find name women, a woman. Out? Hold on, hold on. Don't Let's you find women out and take them to the club and Outside of my wife. Outside of my wife. Name one woman that has ever got a dime out of me that didn't have. Oh no 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 no! I'm not saying you sending women. It ain't a woman on the face of the fucking earth that had never got a dollar out of me. No no no! no, I would never disrespect you like that. What I'm saying is, I've heard you say that you fly women out and you show them a good time. How many of them actually actually made it onto the couch? I don't know, baby. I'm just going off of what you said. No no. So what I'm saying, what I'm saying is. I've also heard you say you don't have male friends, you don't have this, and just as an observation, I'm like, okay, well, that just and and from the way you speak and why you don't have them, it's like, okay, this is a person that just always has to be the smartest, the coolest, the finest, the the most luxurious in the room in order for you to feel comfortable. Because any other man that either can match that energy or succeeds that could possibly make you feel away. So you keep people what, around what does, you. What does preferring to be around women have to do with another fucking man? Why I can't just want to be around women? You can, you can, but the fact that you would not prefer to have male friends says it, it, it I don't need no it. friends. Only thing I need is my chick, my bros, my real brothers, and the people that I get money with. I don't want to hang with okay. nobody else. I want to get okay. money have fun and go home. Some people just prefer their circle. I mean, I'm just saying, just as an observation to say, I only want to hang out with women and I don't want to hang out with men. It's like when, like, I I take, I know everybody has their own ideas about friendships, but like, I value the friendships that I have with other women. I value that my man has other male friends that are his bros that he can lean into and learn from and and resonate with. I would find it very, I would call it a red flag if my man didn't have no friends. But no Jay, friends. You know it did go back to the conversation we were having Saturday. Uh, Anton really don't, he really like, he, he be on some Drake type shit, so he don't, he don't like friends that much. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, no. You don't want to know. <laughs> what does that mean? He on his Drake stuff. What's that mean? No, Drake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your bitch, your bitch over grabs of Anton around. I don't understand. 
I'm going to Oh, out yeah, that shit. Like, put, put on those short <laughs> leaves. Going out type. That's yeah. the thing, Jazz. Anton really not the going out type. Like, if he's not, he's mostly working. That That's what he do. He buy this computer. If I go yeah. hang out with him, I'm not even hanging out with him. I hand out Rita. Rita. Well, that's a like, lie. Because uh, he was at the mall having white women kiss him the other day because he like. Oh, I'll I'll <laughs> <that video. laughs> I'll I'll wait, 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 wait. Even in that situation, even in that situation, Rita was with me. She was in another store. I went off to go vlog and take something to the car. I said, yo, I'm about to go ahead and record this video in the meantime. See? And then that's when it happened. If listen, if I'm not with my chick or if I'm not with another girl or something like that, I'm straight, bro. At times I fuck with my bro. I fuck with the commodity. I fuck with uh they presence, what I learned from them, what I could teach them. I fuck with the bros. Like I, I ain't gonna say I learned this when I was in the army, but she like I got super close with some dudes I had to trust with my life. You know what I'm saying? I went around my brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, was army, that was something you had to do. No, it was bad. I, I, I had the same co 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 camaraderie with, with niggas who I hoop with as well. Yeah, we, we got camaraderie while we on it. We got camaraderie right here while we on this panel and while we getting money. But I like to think that you know money y'all get paid for this. You, nigg no you niggas, you niggas, <laughs> you niggas, you niggas, you niggas, you niggas. What my tips? <laughs> 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 what tips? <laughs> Send her tips, y'all. Listen, my, my point is super this. My, no, y'all need to learn how to leverage the platform in order to get people to move on your own platform. That's yes. why I say it's too many people that be watching this for y'all to not learn how to promote yourself effectively. That's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, my, the point the map, my, my point is this. My point is this. I love y'all. Like, I think that y'all are awesome. Yo, I be in y'all cities. I be having fun. I don't be kicking it with niggas when I'm offline. When I'm offline, I'm off. True. I don't talk to people like that. I'm not texting back and forth. I don't want to kick it. I'm not talking on the phone. Nigga, I don't want to talk on the phone. I want to go and get some money and then do my own thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, some some men are like that, but Anton, what about the men that don't have a father figure, that don't have brothers, right? And they grew up with a group of men, like the Wood, the movie The Wood. Let's not talk about the women cheating and stuff. God like bless that. them. Good luck with them. Join, they better join the bad chase. So yeah, you. Also, yeah, exactly. You also tell men on like your platform, you know, surround yourself with other men that think like you. You, no, you I said, said make sure that you align yourself with people that's going in the direction that you're going in. Okay, true. So you, so you, can be, you, can be purposeful. you can be purposeful. Like, for example, if I'm trying to get a job or I'm trying to get government contracts, or I'm trying to learn real estate, then I'm going to align myself with people that's already in that and it's going in that particular direction. It's a business mindset, but then you may develop friendships as a result of it. But the core of it is the, is the business. We getting in this to get money together. That's the whole reason why we're here. And listen, if it wasn't, if I wasn't getting money on this shit, if I wasn't getting paid, if I wasn't helping people, and I would be ghosts. I wouldn't even have a social media. Like I wouldn't have Instagram. I wouldn't have none of that shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I don't care about likes. I don't care about nothing. If, if it ain't about being purposeful, adding value to people's life, and getting paid as a result of it, I don't care about that shit. Fuck the fuck the fame. You can have that shit. I want the money. So you. So you couldn't be a mentor to a, a young No, person. fuck that little nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie because you're a mentor wow. to a lot of these bag chasing what men. What is this talking about? Right. What, what, what's the purpose you're of this whole You're a mentor, Antoine. Stop. Antoine, right, you're, you're a mentor. Talking. You know that. I'll give you one example. Ray, how many times has Ray came on your platforms thanking you for tripling his money and putting him in the position? Because but of your Ray, but let's be clear. But let's be clear. Ray invested in himself first. Okay, but you're still a mentor to him. You are a mentor. Ray, Ray, Ray pay a mentor. But no, no, it doesn't no, matter. You're still a mentor. No, 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 no. Ray paid for mentorship. He paid for mentorship. He invested in himself. As a result, he got the information. He leveraged what I told him, and he fucking ran it up. And now he gonna make up. He he probably projected to make over a million dollars this year. Okay, Listen, but, but shout out what, he wouldn't have done that without you as a mentor. That hey, he paid for mentorship for. 
Okay, but Please, you're, okay. Oh, you're a mentor. Listen, oh, as much as, Anton, as much as Anton, as much as Anton think I'm a Christian, I know he capping right now. He get on this. He get on this you internet. Like, why? 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 Million 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 he, he give too much game away. Exactly, you're a mentor. To you what I, what you say, you, you I said if it's not both adding value into people's lives and being That's paid as a result of it, the value part matters too. Y'all only heard the money part. So if I'm not leaving this earth in a better space as a result, see, uh, this is what I'm saying. It's a lot of people that's on, on Instagram, on, on TikTok and YouTube and shit, and they just there. That's they me. just there because it's fun for them and they want to have me. fun and have a friendship and they no, like the no. lights and all of that shit. I don't care about that part. Mm -hmm. I don't want to just be friends for the sake of being friends. I want it to be meaningful. It's got to be purposeful. We got to be adding value in each other's lives and we got to fucking be getting to the money. If it ain't that, miss me. I could disappear forever and go and live my life. Okay, but I'm, Anton, I'm gonna just waste my time with people that's just there. I want to actually Anton, do something. True, but for you to say you're not a mentor, you're completely wrong. You're you're the biggest mentor. <laughs> no, you have four thousand. Well, I got a mentor, time. some little nug nug. I don't care about that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Yeah, that's all. Like, that's that's unfortunate. Call. That's unfortunate because that's the future. Like, are you trying to pour what into all that you need? Like what that's what he, 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 he meant to no, he wait, 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 Right, they don't have neither, and they looking at yeah, one platform. Y'all trying to me. make excuses, nigga, nigga. You got six hundred videos on how to be a better man, nigga. Hello, you know hello, hello. And that's the that's the value. <laughs> you are mentoring. That's the value. If you're not mentoring, what do you call it, baby? What do you, you call are that? mentoring? You out here giving unsolicited advice three or four times a day on the YouTube, okay? And so, you just people, like I'm you telling the people. You you telling people why they shouldn't be stepdaddies, telling men who they should deal with. If no. that's a mentorship, then what do you call that, baby? You know what Are I you learned about black, you know what I learned about black women? Is it not uh, it. Is it <laughs> Here not we go. <laughs> that they coochie thing. No, oh, you know Lord. what I learned about black women. Oh, shit. I'm Help me you up. know what I learned about black women <laughs> is that their legs is usually more open than their ears. <laughs> And, then, and this is why. This is why. How did you learn that when you've been with the same woman? You ain't too far off. You ain't decade? too far off. How would you know how fast other women? Legs I've learned that black women's legs is more you open than experience. How did you learn that? You have no experience. Because they. <laughs> you've been married all your life. Hey, yo, come on, man! Please don't, 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 don't do that. I'm just saying, if we're gonna be anything, I'm, gonna, I'm trying. I'm trying to turn. I'm trying to turn a new leaf. If we gonna but be, anything, he hasn't be been old. married all his life. Only half. Of it. Is, is, is Anton, but no, he's he moving the point. I asked Anton if he was a mentor. He said no. That is a lie. He is a mentor. <laughs> he's been on YouTube. Who is the fucking worst? He has four thousand <laughs> members. Something? He has men that Cal Holla. channels. Don't say nothing. And if Anton says the sky is pink, they're gonna say it's pink. You have, you have, wow. you got men that to level up, chase the bag. <laughs> These men come up, come on your paddle telling, oh, thank you, Anton. Thank you. You had a, ch I was just watching a video of this chick saying, Anton, you, I uh, left my last relationship because of you. <laughs> oh, shit, he making people break up. I was, I was, oh my God, I'm so glad. She, I'm so glad because what she was explaining was like chaos. But Anton, for you to say you're not a mentor is crazy. Anton, yeah, you the face of man, it's like I'm the face of faithfulness, bro. Uh, yeah, that's just it, it just is what it is. And, and Anton, so, look at look at your hat that you got on that you wear every time you stream. It said what? People love good quality. You the quality. Yeah, but see, I I wear this hat. I don't make no money from this hat. And this is somebody that's a bag chaser, and he got a clothing brand, and it's blowing up. He's doing really well, and so I help him right. as a result oh. of that because I support people. But From you. the point of the, the fact okay. the matter is, I, you care? Black, black women, boy. You Let me tell you something. You. It's okay. Th this is what it comes back down to. If it's not adding, and I'm going to say it again for the women that don't want to open up their ears, but they keep their legs open. Mm, Jesus. If it's not adding value and getting 
I don't do it. And I'm not just here for the fun of it. I'm here to leave this earth in a better space. Had I not been here, mm -hmm. get the fucking money out of this shit. If it's mm -hmm. not that, then I don't have to be on here. That's all I'm saying. So okay, no, we, I agree with that standpoint. I, I definitely agree, but you're still a mentor. You're Two things to be true with. But the thing is about it, Q, he's only a mentor if he can get paid. He's money driven. You know what I'm but saying? But no, that's not that's not the case because he gives advice yeah. on his millionaire morning show to people. I mean, of course, it's making him money. But and that's he why he gives the advice. No, no, but he'll have people call Listen, in. Hold on, 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 hold on. He wouldn't, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He wouldn't be a community. No, 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 no. Because, because, she's, because she doesn't know and she's not listening, she's not an active listener, she's just listening. talking. She don't know about all of the businesses that I invest in. But I know, that's, how you, I that's how you just framed it, though, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You she just said you wouldn't even help no little pay. niggly dude as a mentor. You just said that. You don't know about the funerals that I pay for. She don't know about the people's lights that I keep on. She don't know when people okay. call me and they say, "Yo, I haven't ate in this amount of time. And I don't talk about that stuff because that's not the stuff that I want to highlight. People know who I am that's in real good. life. You know who I am, Q. You know who I am, Quentin. You know who I am, Ari. Y'all know that I really stand on that shit. And, and it's not popular for me it's to say It's not about the money with Anton at all. So, so I don't say that. But I pay people's bills. I invest in their businesses. I don't take no equity in it. And I actually help people in real life. Every single day before I get to my office, I give out $250 every single day to people on the streets. I've always looked out for people. Well, so my goal, again, is to add value into people's lives. That's the number one thing. And to get more money. No, I feel That's that. It. And I and I love that. I think that's beautiful. I think you should talk more about that because that's honorable. You know, I don't I mean? want to. I just want to get the money and give it out to the people. Oh, and all that's you what like I want to do. I want to. I tithe to the streets. I tithe to the people. Mm -hmm. I don't give it to a church. I give it to the people. Well, that's, mm -hmm. that's so all. I, I want to get all of the fucking money and give it to my people and give them the information. And that's that, how I leave the earth in a better space. That's, that's what that's that is. That, that's I, don't wanna, I don't want to fucking play and have fun with people. I just want to yeah, go and that, get that, that's a mentor. That's yeah, a mentor. and so you're a mentor. I, I don't know if you want to downplay yourself, but a mentor, yeah. and not everybody's a mentor. Not everybody's a coach. All these people online saying they're a coach, they're a teacher. They... No, they're not. Just because you want to say some lessons you read in a book don't make you a coach. But all this stuff that you said you've done, you are a mentor. Yeah, but I don't want to mentor nobody's nappy-headed kids is all I'm saying. But I think some of these nappy-headed kids... What just like good the one that hey, 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 speaking the, of, kids, speaking you know, of nappy like, head. I think some of these people need a mentor like you. Like the one that kicked the grandma off by the church. Some of these kids need a, they ask for don't, don't get your father. No, I'm not I'm not saying they don't care, but some people That's need to fine. hear their voice because they don't have daddy figures or brother figures or the brotherhood. Like it's needed go, to go and join a fraternity. <laughs> <laughs> Let them niggas fix the community after they get paddled by their boyfriend. But but Anton, you got you got you got great advice. Now I watch you every day. Oh seriously. No, every day, all oh, day. day. No, on the way, and that, and this not even this not even like a gaslight or nothing. But anytime I got my pastor, he'll be like, "Hey, you ought to check this guy out." Yeah, Yo, shout out pastor. to the pastor. Not pastor so, Anton Daniels coming through. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but Anton, you do have great advice, and yeah. I know a lot of people. A lot of people. Well, he he, you know, he hate women. No, he don't hate women. I mean, if he holding people accountable, then you hold men accountable. You have had some videos, and I'm like, I ain't like what he said. But then I go back and watch it again. It was like, yeah, that's true. I need to clean this area up. I need to do that. So, you, I mean, you may not call it that, but you making an impact. I Seriously, just, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I appreciate it, and I don't doubt that. I'm saying is, we got off base. The fact. What I said was, I would prefer to be around a bunch of women. That's what I stood on. Right. That's, that was the core of the conversation. Then it started going into this spiral of, well, don't you want to help other men and all of this shit? And it got off into a whole nother conversation. I think that niggas that, that align with other men because they looking for some sort of camaraderie and then they wind up getting paddled and thrown and, and get powder <laughs> thrown on their face as a result of it. 
<laughs> stupid. That's all I'm saying. That's all I stood on. Bust down them super debts. Well, Can I ask something? Go ahead. Oh no, go ahead, Cal, because you ain't say nothing this whole time. Go ahead. We've been I, all. I just been, I just been listening to the conversation. Oh, I'm we on. know. We heard you not I, say nothing. We heard you. <laughs> uh, I like that brother. Um, I not unlike the brother. Uh, J- Jamar. Is that how you said Jamarlin? Yep. Okay. Not unlike this brother. Um, I've been watching Anton since. He uh explored the Silver Dome. You know, I'm I'm in Detroit too. So oh shout out um, to you, Greg Jones. Yeah, oh, yeah. Father. That nigga was climbing I, I, over. I watched the silver, I've been watching you since the Silver Dome. <laughs> but uh I wanted to bring up that brother that you um the uh, the young brother that called that day. Um I happened to be watching that day. The young brother called, you know, he had his remember he had his hair going all crazy, and then he went and got it cut and yeah. all of that stuff. Yeah. That's mentorship to me. You know what I'm saying? You say a lot of stuff that people scared to say. You say a lot of stuff that guys like really can relate to and 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 really are going through. And hmm. that for us is mentorship. Hmm. You, you know, you know why I like y'all talking like this and I appreciate it? Because it turned my chick on so I can bust her down after this live. Oh, oh, shit. My God. oh yeah, we got to make you look good in front of the old lady. <laughs> <laughs> Anton, you actually talked me out of something. That oh. I was finna get ready to make a decision before. Go ahead, man. What did he talk you out of? What is a step? Was it a stepmother? There you I, go. I knew it, was it. it was a single mother, wasn't it? Look at I was that. like, man, I'm gonna do it. Then you was like, I turned it on. I turned it on. Anton was like, don't do it. Bro, I ain't don't gonna lie. Don't, 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 don't be a step crash dummy. He looked he looked like a stepdaddy, though. If if I had if I seen a stepdad, I wanted to look like him. <laughs> I got my own kid. <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh no, you need to be a stepdaddy then. You got yeah, you, you got you like a stepdaddy, man. Shout out to bro. Nah. And thank you for the mentees that are on panel. Thank you. I'm so it, glad you guys are here. I, I'm here. You, you, we trying okay. to get like two K. Cause I really be mentoring shit in the hood. Y'all just don't know, cuz. Oh no, we be seeing all the mentoring you be doing on your Facebook. Yeah, I, I put the whole hood on penicillin. Like they don't even gotta go to the health department no more. Like, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I told them about the full panel blood testing and all that. Like they they only was going just to get one test. I like now nah, get the whole seven panel. So oh, you find out it's, you got herpes and shit. It's ten, not seven. That's the it's the big one. Oh, oh yeah, we we on doing seven. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're doing the hood. Um, you're teaching the hoods and stuff. Thank you. We yeah. need a lot of mentor type of men out there. Okay. Let me get to these super ch- God. Thank you, time out. Thank you again. Thank you again. Um, oh, okay, Q, here's fifty dollars. Like, I don't always be breaking bread on these shows. Y'all feed most some um, damn clowns. Thank you. Glow. I'm a millionaire today until midnight. Shout out to you. Stud studies. Um, I used to feel the same about blacks before. Woman fought tooth and nail to advocate for the LGBT community. I personally believe they thought it would hurt men, but it's the, it's them being affected. Mm. You good? You are in the pot. I respect it all. I support you. Just had to show you what that work do. <laughs> Black women getting tricked into continuing gender war. Kevin said y'all need to concede defeat. RIP the goat. Thanks. Thank you, Kristen. Kristen, we need more strong men in the homes. I'm sorry, ladies. We need them. We do. We sure do, girl. Hello. Give me my DM, girl. No matter how much truth black men spill to our women tonight, till November, they still gonna say, orange man, bad. Biden, good. I never got finessed. I'm still unvaxxed. <laughs> super, super. <laughs> Wayne really ain't from OKC. I ain't seen him at Boo Boo's Chicken. Or- one, mo- one moment, I need to, I need, I need to address this Why super chat. Super chat no, I gotta, I gotta address this shit. I couldn't. Okay, oh, yeah. there's, there's my Boo Boo's Chicken, my nigga. <laughs> I got shot on the east side, and my grandma lived on motherfucking twenty third and Lottie, nigga. Did you say you got shot? Yes, in North Highlands. That this nigga is talking about. You got shot before, nigga? You got we shot? We Whoa. ain't talking about that. Keep it pushing. Man, you got- <laughs> All the other stories you told us about sleeping in the bed with women and 
videotaping people and you and us, you been shot? Nigga, I'm all of this shit, nigga. This is all the niggas shit. You can add that street cred to your resume, bro. Yeah, I think the girls would definitely like you more. You know, the the one that told you, said your voice was too high pitched. You should have been like, I've been shot. You know, she like, (laughs) I'm not lying. Some women like that. Yeah. Shout out to Smitty. Um, why the men fraternities be nut to butt when they marching, grinding on each other? <laughs> I'm late. T and Corey are back together for real. That's what the streets say. These black male fraternities got TikTok videos that they whining on each other. Is that good advertisement? Maybe show some good parts. Um, see, this is a part of, of black women's problem. Always looking for men that seek validation from other men. Stand on your own. Damn, Anton finally got called out. I'm here for it. <laughs> Jazz ain't no chump. Anton, you contradicting your message right now to be contrarian. It's wise to know when to be agreeable. Sometimes, big dog. Show you the mm. key. Anton not forcing people. He's helping the willingly. But um, that's what a mentor does, though. They, right. They're not forcing. Careful about Kamala. She's my distant cousin. Anton, you are right about not having friends. If we not get into the bag, what are we doing? We 40 years old. Love what you stand for. Keep up the good work. Get the bag. I got um, you, look, you look pretty with your natural hair like that, Q. Thank you, Glow. Miss Kamala, uh, me, Kamala, and the late uh, uh, Leah, RP, all descended from the same Scottish Jamaican slave owner, Kamala. Has my vote. I don't care what y'all say. <laughs> He's not a mentor. Mentorship is taking people hand in hand to help. You have to get the work and put it to work. That's not mentoring. Let me read the definition of mentoring. A person who gives a younger or less experienced person help and advice over a period of time, especially at work or school. That's the definition. I, I looked mm. it up. I was using it right before forcing it on Anton. <laughs> Anton got into my algorithm because he was talking about the money talk. Oh, thank you, Vaughn. You're another mentee. Hmm. Anton is the truth. And the, <laughs> and the truth is nothing is more irrelevant than what a big head broad has to say. Move accordingly. Blessings to all. Oh, my God. <laughs> Antoine Green. Thank you. Anton is definitely the go and appreciate it. Hey, Mika. Okay. Okay. Kirsten. Kirsten. Hard truth. More women will be selected to the men they choose if no one is going to bail them out of hard situations, a.k.a. stepdad. Then the families won't suffer, a.k.a. kids. Mm. Mm. Right. I would have loved to be on 2K squad. Yes, whoa, whoa, whoa. sir. I'm I so tired. Rolling. Y'all need to be watching 2K's channel on Facebook. <clears throat> Make sure you have 2K is inevitable. Black Thanos. Inevitable. I was a good uh, squad leader. Oh, you were you were how long you in the military for real? Four years. Did you um were you the uh-huh. the guide on with the with the with the Hell nah, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> not no guy at all. <laughs> Fuck no. Ooh, well, shout out to everybody that's in the chat. Thank you guys. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you follow everybody that's on panel. Gentlemen, if you're wanting to be on panel, DM me. If you've already DM me, there's a wait. Okay, please be patient. Ladies, if you're interested, DM me. We need more women. Okay, and just say panel. Man, if you're DMing me about other stuff, I'm not going to reply. I'm just replying to people that want to get on panel. So don't even waste your time DMing me, please. And women, we 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 do have a casting couch option if you're trying to get on the show real bad. So holler at me if you need. I, I tell Hilarious. you. Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. You have to be an A plus, though. No, you don't. <laughs> I'll take a C. <laughs> Adjustable six. I said an eight, eight plus. He said eight plus. Well, hit the like button, you guys. Let's watch this other video. I want to be on panel, but I don't do casting couch. Been married 10 years. Kristen. Oh my god, my wife. This process, don't do the casting couch. Just hit me in my DM. There's a bunch of married women. We have a couple married women on here. So man, my wife just saying the damn bro. Wait, which one's your wife? Sarah. Oh, there she go. Sarah sleeping on the couch. Yes, Sarah. Tell me again. Damn, I clicked the wrong button. Let me go back to it. Sarah, Sarah, you want to be on panel? I can bring you on. Absolutely not. Sarah, if, and if you want to be on panel one day, let me know. Hit me up, okay? Oh, my God. Why? Dang, Why should okay. you be panel? You be on panel. I Ooh. see you 2K be holding Ooh. it down for the for the Hawaiians. Yeah, it's first team all safe on back, baby. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> ah. 
Woo, okay, let's get to the next. The next, because y'all man, y'all own it tonight. Ooh, Guess one. wasn't 50-50. The dishes wasn't 50-50. The laundry wasn't 50-50. The cleaning wasn't 50-50. And that's an everyday motherfucking job. I come home and they got food on the table, got clothes on the bed, got shit everywhere. Like, well, literally. And I'm a clean person. If you've been to my house, I'm organized and clean. So every day I'm exhausted. I'm coming home. I'm cleaning my house. And yes, I do that anyways. But when it's just you, it's just you. When you are cleaning up for a man and his children and other people, it is a whole full-time job and you don't get time for yourself. And that's why women get burnt out period and you're no longer happy in your relationship because you're coming home and a man is sitting on the couch because he's tired from work and you're making sure you're catering to him and let me tell you guys all something i have done that and i'm never i'm not saying that i will never do it but i'm letting you know that it feels very draining and why am i going home and going 50 50 with you Pause. and doing all 50 Pause. and i'm doing well why all does, of the why does one have anything first to of do all with i think she has, has a valid point the other are you Okay, so let's take away how she said it. Let's take away her aggressiveness, okay? Men expecting traditional woman while being a modern man. I, I, I would say if you're a clean person, that's you don't have to clean up. What, what are you talking about? What is this? Wait, what? What is the definition of a modern man? Okay, right? Google it. I would say the modern men of today, I think them wanting to do 50-50, men wanting women to cook, clean, take care of the house. That's not modern. Jobs, that's like, traditional. Okay. No, no. It's not done. No, it's it's traditional work plus pay 50, uh, half of the bills because that's where it was, 50-50. So do all the traditional stuff plus pay half the bills. I so mean, this, what, this is what a lot of men forget about 50-50. It's the other 50 that they have to go. So you was the one to do be like, hey, yeah, we're gonna go 50 50. He time I have on the bills. But mm -hmm. if you 50-50, you need to be hitting that toilet just like she hitting it. You need to be washing the dishes like she hitting it. And you also need to be uh just cleaning like she doing. Like, cause that's truly 50-50. So if, if you a dude and you want to go 50-50, you you gotta do some of the stuff that she doing around the house too. You just can't mm -hmm. get it. Mm -hmm. you know because with yeah, kids alone, yeah, that's 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 a lot. That's a lot too. Because I mean, kids, you it take two to raise kids, even if the father is still in the house. Facts. That, that's why, like in my house, I let you pick a role. Like you want to be independent or you want to be a housewife, and then from there, that's how I acclimate myself. Because if you want to work, I right, huh? He go half for the bills, go work. But if you want to be a stay at home mama, well, you do that. But like both of us extending ourselves out for 50-50, right. it, it really don't work for nobody. Mm -hmm. What kind of Sim Chronicles is happening on this panel right it's now? It's not Sim Chronicles, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking the real right now. No, Sim, we've definitely been a Sim this evening. Huh? As a woman, I feel oh. like it shouldn't matter if your, if your husband tired from working, he's just tired from working, just clean the fucking house and shut the fuck up. That's just how I feel about it. Right. No, listen, if that's your like, what, 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 what is this perpetual cleaning of the house? <laughs> like nigga, like nigga, what what kind of filth do, are people living in that you I have to clean the house every kids, day? I'm gonna be okay. You have kids, it's mean, different. It's you know, different. I, mean, I have kids and I don't have to clean no, no, the house. No, the kids every day. don't live with you, Quinn. Nigga, it's, she it's here different. fucking four days of the week, nigga. What you mean? She's a little older. She can pick up after herself. But if you have toddlers, like I babysat my three nieces for three days straight, I was like, oh my god, like. Yeah, they can tear some shit up, bro. They be tearing it up, cleaning it up, and then tearing it up and cleaning it. I'm like, dang, is this place like never clean? Y'all are wild. I'm, I'm interested to hear what... I clean up the house yeah, every day. Do I complain? No. Why? Because yeah. I use it as one of my therapy sessions. That's where I think. That's what I do most of my thinking. A lot of times women don't want to clean up because they're lazy. I don't mind cleaning up. Does my husband clean up? No. Do I really care? No. Why? Because I'm going to do it anyway. Do you go to work? Listen, work bro. Listen, <laughs> listen. Listen. If y'all if y'all want to... Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to share in the house... Based off of what y'all saying, I'm happy to share in the housework. Cool. But I also want you to get on that fucking roof, clean them goddamn gutters. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, no, no. Because listen, don't start right. trying to equalize when it comes to the housework. Because we, we can equalize it on the other side of it, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, this that's petty. You don't cut the grass. 50 -50, the 50-50 situation is basically the... It's not equal, but it's it's understanding that men for a long time have largely 
existed under the idea that my money is our money and then you can do what you want to do with your money. And that's where the problem is, is because it's too one sided and it takes a lot out of guys. You want to know why guys die earlier? When, a lot of times when they get into a marriage it's because they kill themselves on the behalf of the family. And then women largely become the beneficiaries of his life insurance policy and everything that he worked for his entire life. And men are tired considering that they're dealing with a certain type of woman that doesn't add as much value as she perceives herself to. And she's looking for him as a looking at him as a retirement plan, because let's be clear. Y'all keep talking about this housewife shit. Once your kid is as old enough to go to school full time, you lying. You're not doing that much. Right, you're not doing that much, right? Thanks. So, unless you, homeschool, the unless, you, unless you homeschooling the kids, or unless you got small, small, small children, come on, man, come on, stop, let's stop. And, and y'all, and y'all, so selfish that y'all acting like, look, you can get half of something, or you can get 100% of nothing because you're struggling on your own, and I'm talking about most women. And I talk, I don't know everybody individual situation on this panel, but most women are struggling by themselves. The debt is exploding, is largely on the behalf of women. Student loans is back. If you look at the the the, the eviction rates, it's mostly women that are getting evicted as far as this rent moratorium being up. So you don't really like you being extra about some shit. It's almost like, well, I'd rather be broke by myself. Well, be broke by yourself, man. Big like don't nobody care. Like, do you I'll, want I'll, you want you want to get into this thing and figure it out together, or you want to be selfish and then be a hundred percent of nothing? Like, that's so stupid to me. Grow up, people is acting like. That speaks the character. That speaks the character, don't it? I'm I, I'm a true fifty fifty guy. Like, like if I'm out there doing long work, you are gonna have to be out there. If I write the leads, you are gonna have to you gonna have to put them in the bag. If you could push a baby carriage, you could push a lawnmower. Uh, this shit go <laughs> hand in hand. So, like, I really mean 50-50 if we going 50-50. How often do y'all be cutting the grass? How uh, often do y'all clean the gutters? How often do y'all be on the roof? Oh, every if okay. you got a crib, it's okay. always okay. something in the wrong. house. Always yeah, something. and it's and it's cheaper if you do it yourself. What, what you know, I was I was talking to my homegirl because Rita went and visited her um down in Atlanta. And she was like, yeah, I want to buy a house because of the equity, but I don't want to because that when I had a house, that shit was so hard because her, her uh, husband had passed away or whatever. And so she was just like, yo, the maintenance and then the, the um, I guess the furnace had went out and I didn't know what to do and all of this. And then I had to remember all of the stuff and changing the filters. And, you know, I had to um, make sure that I vacuumed out because the, the, um, dryer, you know, the, the vent for the dryer had got clogged up and all of this stuff. Bro, you don't know that you need it until he ain't there. Mm -hmm. And a lot of women, you know, they, they think that they know, but that's how you're going to find out. You're going to be by yourself and that's going to be the end of it. And that's how dudes wind up becoming son husbands because then they use their sons as a replacement for the father that should have been in the home. Right. Be fake. I think that people should date who suits them. Like, man, if you want a chick that's cooking, cleaning, ex da -da -da -da, find that person. Like, stop trying to change these bras because some of them is not going to change. And same same thing with women. If you want a man that's going to do X, Y, Z like your daddy or build a house or fix things, find that person. But it's like, I hate when people are trying to change people to fit their, their needs. Like, stop trying to change people. Move accordingly on how they move. Like, that's why I just don't get it. If you want a traditional chick, traditional man, find that. But see, like, a lot of times, mute, mute if y'all like not talking. Mute if y'all not talking, because I'm getting some feedback. Me too. But see, most, most, most women though, they 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 like to pick and choose when they want to be a modern and a classic woman. Like every woman want to be classic when it's time to take the trash out and mow the lawn. You know what I'm saying? But when it's time to pay the bills, you know, yeah, it's a whole other store. So, like, it kind of it, it kind of be hard because women, they be playing in these pockets. Like, you don't know what to be. I mean, same thing with men. Y'all men want a chick that's not a virgin, but a freak, but haven't slept with a lot of men. Like, it, it just doesn't make sense. Like, some of the things that's that people... That's not unreasonable, you. 
Yes, no, some of the things that, no, some of the things that people ask for sometimes, I'm like, what? That's not like, unreasonable to ask for a woman that haven't been fucked on a whole bunch. No, no, no. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. You guys want this girl to be fully experienced, but no. not. I've heard guys say. I've heard guys say on this panel they don't want a virgin, and then I've I've heard guys say no, they don't want somebody that's been with more than two guys. And then I've heard like I've heard like different things. And I'm like, you guys are just make it make sense. They like, don't want to make it make sense. sense. What they really yeah. trying? What they really they trying don't to want say? Them to experience because then then they will have. She would have something to compare them to. Yeah. So, no, one thing I said. One, said egos can't take that. Another thing, as a guy said, if she don't smash in three dates, I'm moving her to the left. Like what? Yeah, it's so stupid. After three it's so stupid. dates? Are you that? That doesn't make any sense to me. Like it, it do. Too, it do make sense because it costs three dates. Okay, if I have to spend a hundred dollars every date, then that means could pussy forty dollars. That means I'm. What are you I'm talking about? Are you talking about a woman or a prostitute? I'm yeah. talking about they the same. This is that's one in the same now. That's one. So your yeah. wife is a prostitute? No, my wife I ain't a prostitute. But and, if I my like, wife a prostitute, no. But if I'm taking you out on date, listen, hold on. Not the mirror. Listen, I ain't talking about the mirror, guys. Let me help you understand the math. You just okay? said women and prostitutes are the same. I thing. can go get some this. I can go get some forty dollar hood pussy. And versus taking you out three times for hundred dollars a piece, I just saved myself two hundred and sixty dollars by switching the hood pussy. <laughs> I don't want. I don't have to deal like if I'm on your third date and you still debating about am I good enough to fuck? Like you ain't gonna let me fuck. Just get out of my way because you okay, wasted so my time. So what if she's paying for a date? Are you more acceptable to wait? Like this is see, this is the stuff that's like no. That's, so okay, so let me tell you about the two K. Keep your receipt policy, okay? Because this shit matters. On y'all fellas on dates when you go on dates with women, you tell them keep their fucking receipt, okay? Let them pay for all they shit, and this gonna help you out a lot because if she on her phone texting motherfuckers and she ain't showing you no attention or she ain't giving a date a wholeheartedly chance, then she get to go home with that with that receipt. But but if you feel like she was actually trying, then you can re reimburse her her date money uh in three business days. And that'll save you some money. That'll save her from wasting your time, bro. Uh, trust me, this, this shit about. is work. Well, how you That's be that? I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. First of all, if your intention is to just to have sex, why waste time taking the girl out? Let the girl know out the rip, yo, I'm just here to smash. All right? You, you got to tip, you 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 tip on your shoulder about spending money on a date, which... When you go on a date, money is required. You ask this woman for her time. Now you feel like because you asked her for her time, you wanted to get to know her and take on a date. Now she owe you some sex after a certain time. It's like, dude, calm down. Y'all be oh. y'all act like y'all ain't never had no pussy before. If a woman yeah. likes you and if you're intentional and you cool, the pussy is inevitable. But y'all be like, if I spend this much by this date and you don't give me no pussy, then I'm gonna get it's like See, you, you, you that's, 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 a, that's a that's a valid question. That that's a valid question because 2K, you did say that women and prostitutes were the same. So why would you even need to Take her out on a date. Just leave the money on the dressing? dresser. Because, because you know, leave the money on the dresser. Y'all like to be lied to. How many of y'all women on the panel are gonna come? Hey, I'm just trying to fuck. Which one of y'all gonna do? You go to Which every one of y'all go to? Most men don't even say that though. That's they the thing. That. That's because you y'all like to be lied to a little bit. No, no, that's not the case. Y'all don't really like to be lied to. Is that you're asking the wrong woman <laughs> that question? <laughs> You're just mad because the woman that's virtuous and looks like white but you just kind of want to smash right away. And you know, if you were honest with that, she would be like, no, I don't want to date you. I don't want to deal with you. Just so don't blame so, us. Okay, you, you mean to tell asking, me it's, keep it's asking cool? Every woman out the gate, if they just want to smash that person until you get one. Oh, y'all be okay. capping. So Jazz, you mean to tell me, me as a total stranger can come up to you and say, hey, I'm trying to fuck, what's up? You could come up to me and say anything, but what I entertain is what would be the result. You ain't gonna no entertain the shit because you don't exactly. know me. Exactly. And so, what, so, 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 what you gotta lie to me? never get no pussy that way. So, wait, so, no wait, wait, wait. so, what you're saying is that you gotta lie to get some pussy? I you don't have a lie. You wanna make Ooh. up a grand scheme just to get in somebody's pants? You can't Ooh. be honest. You can't be a real nigga. Can be honest just to get something hey, that's invaluable. You know fucking what? You hey, I'm, be, I'm taking a fuckboy approach. 
as invaluable as y'all say women are, y'all say pussy is just pussy and nobody's special, but here you are lying and making up grand schemes just to get in some woman's pants. Mm-hmm. How you call yourself a real ass nigga and you can't even be honest about your intentions? Like, well, just- if we're going to be anything, baby, be fucking right. for real. And right now, it ain't giving that. It's giving you got a plot. It's no, it's just, it ain't giving shit. I fucking give it. What I give to get what you want. When a real nigga is a and he going to say, look, baby, I ain't into no relationship. I'm just having fun. I want to have sex, whatever the case may be. But you got a lot of kick it. Huh. Anytime a woman it's, say, it's anytime a woman say, anytime a woman describes a real nigga is usually some stupid ass shit that immediately follows that. You mean to tell me I can come up to you, stranger? Hey, I'm trying to fuck. What's up? Why would a stranger absolutely not? Like that? That's weird as fuck. That's what I'm you saying. You telling me to get straight to the point? Be real That's about the, the point you're telling me to get straight to. Be real about the scenario. No stranger, no, you unless he is mentally, unless he is mentally unstable, no stranger is going up to a woman and uh, 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 on the street or at the mall, wherever. Like, hey, I want to fuck. I'm so, about, about, wait, so, so, so you want me to come with the forty in your hand like this? If that's all you want, there's a whole uh, row on the road. <laughs> There's a whole area in uh, in Los Angeles specifically for prostitutes that are willing and ready to take your forty dollar holler. Okay, mm. why are you approaching women that want monogamy or actually want relationships and trying to approach them as whores? There are whores out here that will entertain you for forty dollars. Go for and free. Them. Why are you entertaining these other women that ain't with that? Why are you trying to lie? You got a point. Valuable pussy when you don't. Man, know come on, man, stop. Hey. All y'all doing? Hey. All y'all doing? Hey. I hate hey. when women say that shit. Oh, all all they they gotta do is be honest. Don't all they doing is, all they doing is reverse That's cow. Get a whore. Listen, listen to Kevin. Here's here's the truth. They all, they all selling pussy. That's really what it comes down to. They don't want to be direct with it and say, yeah, you know, they're not street walking. Or they're not doing that. But all of it is is selling pussy. That's all. Because because if you ask them what value do they do they have, all of that shit is superficial, and you can do that on your on your own. But what they're really selling you is companionship, right? And and companionship translation is 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 box. That's what it is. And so she- they they want to mask it and say, oh no, you know we do this or we do that. But in reality, let me tell you, and this is how you know that they're selling pussy, because. It, it was once upon a time, women actually liked men because they liked them. They didn't have to jump through hoops. They didn't have to do all of that. You know what I'm saying? I know a woman that got married to a dude that she met going over his parents' house and they was playing Monopoly all the time and shit like that. It wasn't no barrier. It wasn't no, you had to take her to dinner and all of this other shit. It was because she just genuinely liked them. And so they wound up falling in love. And that was just the end of the conversation. And they figured the rest of it out from there. But women are now creating a barrier to entry that requires money. That's prostitution. They selling you. They basically selling their companionship and selling themselves to the man and saying that my time is worth this and it's going to cost you this. Now, you can dress it up. You can make it whatever you want to make it. But at the end of the day, it's prostitution. You selling yourself to the highest bidder. That's what hypergamy is. You're not getting with a man because you like him. You're getting with a man because... He the best available option. And if that wasn't the case, then they wouldn't all be choosing a man that got money. They would be choosing a man that actually liked them. And who created that standard? The guy that got money don't even fucking like you. He just he just got you around and he using you and he might fuck you. But that don't mean that he like you. And y'all know that he don't like y'all. Well, we know that because men have always said they don't have to like you in order to have sex with you. Men have always been the ringleaders of, you don't have to have anything of value. I just want you around to just, fuck on. And now that women are privy to that notion, now it's a problem. We're just playing into the game that you created. As it's men. not cool with that. No, no, no. Y'all listen, we cool with that. All I'm saying is... Y'all leave money, though. Y'all leave money, but then get mad listen, at a woman that's still listening. Money you, you move the goalposts like you always do. The fact of the matter is you can... Let's say we both agree. Cool. We agree 100%, both of us. It, you, it's still prostitution. How was it that's prostitution? That's you keep skipping over. You don't want to admit that it's prostitution. Was it, so, was it, so was your wife a prostitute when she married you? Here we go. It always right. comes back. So no, home. so then don't do that. This, this, is, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. My point is this. This is what we're going to do from now on. This is what we're going to do. You can't sit here and say we gonna, that. We're going to leave. We're going to leave because I was speaking in general. Okay. We're going to leave. We're going to leave my wife out of it. 
Okay, let's leave her out. Any woman, so, any man on the panel that has a wife or has any serious relationship or entertained a woman on a serious level, were they prostitutes to you? I don't think so. Um, let's not try to make it seem like that just because a woman requires a man to be financially stable, which is literally the bare minimum. A man but why are you financially? Why does the man have to be Slow down, sis. Because nobody said I wasn't. I'm just I never saying, said you were. I'm just saying it. Yeah, but what, right. But what you're saying has nothing to do with what I'm saying right now. So just relax until I'm finished. What I'm saying is this: It's okay for a woman who is established, since we need to do that. So a woman that is established, that has it together, all she's asking is for the man that she entertains is to meet her where she is. It's okay that a woman only wants to date a man that is financially stable, that has it together. Now, on the flip side of that, there may be women out here who feel like they don't have to have nothing to get a rich man. And guess who created that standard? Men did. Men decided that if oh, as long as I got money and as long as I got means, I can go to the Walmart and get a woman that ain't got shit as long as she's beautiful. Y'all that, created that that's, standard. That's so, just a man moving in purpose, so, though. No, 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 wait, let me finish. So all I'm saying is this. Don't call it prostitution just because a woman wants a man who, who has his shit together. You shouldn't want women out here with broke niggas who don't even have a, a purpose for their own life. You shouldn't be encouraging women. I don't even got them. shit. I'm Y'all at the bottom of the barrel. You the worst. Listen, wait, 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 wait. Black so, women in general are at the bottom of the fucking totem pole. They the brokest, they the most in debt. How, how, do, how the most poverty stricken group of women gonna be the ones that got the highest standards? They don't got shit. What are you talking about? What the fuck y'all talking you about? How many women do you know in your circle of poverty? Entry. Don't Listen, you, you want to go to get with whoever will take you. Are they in poverty? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to be disingenuous, though. We're going to be disingenuous. Come on now. Y'all need to get with whoever. You know that's not true for y'all. the majority. Y'all need to know the same way that you asked Ari to be quiet when you was talking. I'm going to extend that same courtesy back to you. Y'all need to take what y'all can get. Y'all don't have nothing. Y'all a bunch of single baby mamas that don't have nothing. Y'all broke, dusty, in debt. Don't have no, y'all don't even know how to fucking think for yourselves and that y'all me too and everything that everybody else do. Not oh, y'all yeah. the fucking natural bodies. Now y'all all built like ants because you're getting BDLs and you didn't even need it. The only thing ever asked y'all to do, only thing niggas ever asked y'all to do was to get in the fucking gym or make some effort or or try. Try yeah, to come yeah. here without a fucking head cap on every single night so that a nigga can actually think he can invent possibly liking your ass past a year like just try just do something different but y'all can't even do that y'all got a big fucking mouth y'all talk a lot y'all don't add value into nobody's life you got a fucking bunch a bunch of debt you vote the wrong way you coming in there with kids and asking niggas to be step crash dummies and then got the nerve to have these fucking high ass standards that other women don't even have it's women that look 10 times better than y'all got better house training and they get more results and they don't even have that fucking barrier to entry Regardless of what you want to place it as, you want a global marketplace. This is a competition for the men that y'all want. Y'all not getting them. On a large scale, women in general are not getting them. And so you need to change something. Change your attitude. Change your perspective. Change the way that you talk. Change the way that you handle handle business. Change all of the fucking debt and the, and the, and the fucking basket weaving degrees that y'all keep getting. And then y'all want to get married so that he got to then take on that fucking basket weaving degree. But Anton, you're talking about a very specific subset of women. There are women, don't you? You you claim all the time you got a fleet of women. Are all those women stricken in poverty? Are they are they low life women? So you know that the majority of black women are not out here broke. Yes, they are. No, no, but that's not even your experience. They're under the poverty line. If you look at the census and you you look at the data, data is the data. Data says it for itself. The data, the data, the data says, listen, and the data and fuck who my it? opinion. All you got to do is go based off of the median household income and then you separate it. And it's literally right there. The data says that y'all in last place, last place. And what does it say about the men in our community? It says we're ahead of y'all. We're in tandem with it each other. It says that we're ahead of you. So if we're, if we're behind, what does that say about we're the ahead of you? If women are behind in the if black we, community, if, 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 if we 49, black if men we 49, and y'all 54, okay? You said Either what? Either way, we ahead of you. You need us. You need us more than you ever needed We need anybody. each other. 
<laughs> you need us. We need each other. No, you need us because the we only reason that these guys are suffering yeah. is because they picked the wrong well, woman. What would your person. platform be if you couldn't brag about, brag about being married? You need us more. What would your you platform be married? if you couldn't brag it's, about being married to a virtuous woman? Woman. Half of y'all so is don't only sit here and say you don't need a woman when half, half of y'all are only surviving because of the men that are popping that. all up. And, on, and the child support you system. You'll just be another podcaster spewing his opinion. Would I be? Would I be? What I'm asking you is this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're trying to make I it show, seem like I show my each other. So a millionaire morning show wouldn't change. Hold on, hold on, because you're just talking right now. I show my 1040s. I show my W-2s. I show what I make from corporate, from, from podcasting, from point. my web development company, from my point, real right? estate. I That's show everything. Point. No, 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 no. Let's be very clear. I have 17 properties. I'm building the 18th and I just and I just broke ground on the 19th. I have, I have zero mortgages. I make on average twenty three hundred dollars a month per property, generating over thirty nine thousand dollars a month just from real estate alone. I'm not. Don't 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 fucking add me in your conversation because I'm not that. Please don't make me start stunting because I'm trying to. I'm trying to just be. I know a you like kid. the sun. I get it. That's your go to. What I'm saying. No, 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 no. Women and men need each other regardless of who they had to reside. What do you? I can show you. Hold on, let me you show got you. money, Anton. We get it. We get it. Oh, I get crazy no. money. We know. Just, That's all. We, we know. We know. Well, you shouldn't have brought yeah. me up. Why would you bring me up as an example? Because you're Why trying to you say that. It? Because you're trying to. You're trying to make it seem as though you men don't need women as much as women need men. And all I'm trying to say is, we need each other. That's all I'm no, saying. We don't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what receipt you show me. I get it. I understand that. Oh, but you don't want me to show receipt. You know all I can I'm show receipts, right? All I'm trying to all I'm trying to say is that I'm on the Chase app right now. Other. I can show the receipts. So why I can, do you need I can to log into Fidelity, so I can log into Chase. Who, you, who, who are we? Who are we to prove something to? Who are we? You got money. Asking, we get you. I didn't ask you about your money. I just told you. You did. You said, so oh, well, without podcasting, what would you be? No, what Rich I said was Rich as fuck. What I said, well, yes, we know all you have is money, Anton. We get it. All no, I'm saying is, I got a is this. year marriage. I got all I'm saying daughter. is, this. I got employees that love me. I got loyalty amongst all the people I'm that saying. really rock with me. I have zero turnover. All I have I'm a phenomenal corporate, so corporate position. I got everything. I have what everything. I'm, I get it. What I'm saying is that for you to say that women aren't valuable, or I'm sorry, men don't need women the way women need men. But one of your biggest talking points, one of the no, reasons no, no, no. why you me, say, one, so of the reasons why you say one of the reasons why you say that you are successful is because you did marriage the right way. You vetted and found the right woman. That woman complimented you. She helped you in your success. She, you, you built her up. The big part of your platform is sharing the fact that you are a married man and then on the flip side you're saying today that men don't need women all i'm saying is where if you didn't have your marriage to speak about and to and to perpetuate what else would you say you would be another podcaster single just saying things about experience things that you're not really experiencing you're a married man right you're a married man and you have a lot to say about single women and and single people and you can't sit here and say that women don't need men and men don't need women when a whole part of your brand is you being married to a woman and how that has perpetuated your success you use that as a trope to say i'm successful because i'm married you do that, Anton. So you can't Actually, see. I know. That's, and that, that's how I know you don't know. Oh, see, you only listen to what you hear on this particular show. No, I only listen to what you say. I know now. You said that. It's not. And so, again, if you really you know. You said that, baby. Are, you said that. I you don't even you. know how to be quiet for five minutes to, for, for somebody to respond. <laughs> well, I'm just letting you know anything I'm saying that you said is because I heard you say it out your mouth. Mm, okay. Like I was saying. If you really understand who I am, then you would also understand that my whole foundation of who I am has nothing to do with a woman. And the thing that I tell guys is that it's a difference between being married and being successfully married. And as a matter of fact, I advocate for most guys not to get married because the options that they have and the thing of what it takes in order to be successfully married is dwindling based off of the options that they got from the women that we see. And so what I stand on is be it, being a man in your purpose making sure that you be successful, make sure you read in your Bible. See, you don't hear me say apparently, and I say it all the time, 
that I've read my Bible and I study daily. And the first thing that I do when I get up is I pray. You don't hear about that part. You don't hear about the fact that, you know, we do all of the things that we do inside of the community. You don't see the fact that I actually fly out to people in order to meet them and make sure that I add value inside of their life. Why don't we hear about that? Why are you still talking? And talking? Why are you still interrupting people? I am so sorry. Go ahead. And so, again, I stand on spirituality. I stand on purpose. And then any woman that comes into your life, she's supposed to be a help me. I don't need marriage to be great. I was going to be great with it or without it. That's what I say. That's my message is that men need to be on a purpose and they need to stop chasing women. That's what I tell men. And then the woman that's supposed to be for you is going to align herself with you, not based off of how much you spend on her on a date. So all of this superficial shit, like I said, I was going to be great regardless. I was ordained to be great. I was predicted to be great before I was born. That's what my life purpose was going to be. I was already, the money is just a part of it. So I have a question, Anton, because something you said, and something Jazz said too. If you weren't married, right? Because she, something, she, I don't know if this was her point. There's a lot of podcasters and coaches that don't have, that, that want to give you advice regarding relationships, but they're not married, right? So do you think that if you weren't married, your advice would come across the same way to people because the context, I mean, the context would just be different because I think that there's some guys that's not married that's given phenomenal advice. One of the people that I love is coach Greg Adams. He was married before and he speaks about it from a completely different perspective than I. And I okay. think that you can add value into the conversation um, depending on your lens. It's just the context that you talk about it you got to verify it by that. He qualifies himself saying, this is what my experience is. Mm -hmm. This is what you guys do as a result of it. This is what I learned. And in my right. experience, it's completely different from his, but we have similar talking points because his lens and the way he translated it may be different from my lens, the way I translate it, but it all intersects in the same way in which we add value in a guy's life and basically waking him up to the reality. If you choose to go down this path, this is what you're going to deal with. If you choose to go down this path, this is what you're going to deal with. And so yeah. it's, you don't have to necessarily be married to have great advice. You just have to qualify yourself as to why you're saying what you're saying. True. But I remember you saying something regarding um, that you have a successful marriage and there's people that talk about marriage has never been in a successful marriage. I don't know, Greg Adams, he's been married, so he can talk about marriage. But other people that have not been married, they can't give us the insight like you can. So if you weren't married, I don't think you could. I don't think people would listen to you as much. No, I want to say that there wouldn't be a high percentage as you do now will listen to you because you don't have the proof of the successful marriage because you have all these people saying they're rich, but they're not really showing any receipts like you, right? A lot of people can say one thing, but it's nothing being proven. But regarding the marriage standpoint, I kind of get a little, I don't know if that was her point. If you weren't married, People want to hold you to it regarding the relationship. They don't talk about it from the lens of being successfully married. They talk yeah, about but it. You, from, you do, but if you weren't successfully you married, that would then I wouldn't be, then I wouldn't be talking about what it takes to be successfully married. Wow. Yeah. Well, I would be talking about it from a completely different lens, but I can talk about it. My whole yeah. point in time was because you tried to make it seem like men don't need women, right? But yet you base a lot of your rhetoric and your platform on the fact that you are married to a woman and that everyone should listen to you because you've done it the right way and you're successful because you you married at this age and it, it happened like this, A, B, C, and D. So it, it to me, it just sounded like a contradiction. It ain't no disrespect because it's a lot of things. Oh, yeah, it's a lot of things that I do agree with, but I'm just saying it's okay to say that we need each other. Because you yourself no, listen, listen, honors listen. your marriage enough to let that's people not, know. That's that. not why I say that I'm married. Okay. Why I say that I'm married is because he's walking the walk. The and only reason that I even walk. use that or I even show that part of my life is because I believe that there's too many people um, scamming, right? Mm -hmm. And I think that they're doing it. Now it's gotten so bad out here that people are able to say stuff and we don't even know nothing about them. I think sure. that whether you're a preacher, whether you're a podcaster, whether you're a coach, whether you're a business, life, life, whatever you do, 
I think that now it's gotten to the point that so many people have gotten finesse with the wrong information that mm -hmm. you need to qualify yourself. Yeah. That's it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't hire a teacher that is not going through the rings and the ropes in order to be a teacher. You wouldn't hire somebody as a part of the job. You wouldn't hire a CEO at a bank and, and unless he actually went through the hoops and actually met the qualifications and the criteria. And so, but people just taking information because they got TikTok. I think that that's fucking the game up. And so you got too many single baby mamas and different people telling you on what it takes in order to be successfully married and they don't have it. And so then you have to ask yourself the question, okay, well, if this is what it takes, then how come you don't got it? I think anybody can have an opinion, but when you yeah. qualify yourself as an expert, now we got to see the receipts. If you say you got money, then show me the receipts now. If you say you, you know what I'm saying? If you say you did this, if you say you successfully married, all right, show me where you did that. Yeah. That's all I'm saying is that, listen, we need to start calling it for what it is. Let's, sh let's see the receipts. No more to, no more to just the talking points. If we have an opinion, that's one thing. But if you qualifying yourself as an expert, I right. want to see the receipts. That's mm -hmm. all I'm saying. I have a question to the married <clears throat> men, right? People that think that they don't need women. If that's the case, why did you want to get married? Like 2K, if you, I don't know if that was your standpoint. If you don't need, we don't, we don't need women. If that's not your, if that's your standpoint, that's your, the case. Why even get married? Let me say this last thing, Q, and then I'm gonna let you ask that question. Mm -hmm. Whenever a clip come out where I go viral on Instagram or TikTok or something, mm -hmm. The only the main thing that I see in the comments is he he must be single. Who hurt him? This <laughs> and that. Right. They always want to pick apart and assume your background, which justifies my argument is because then when they come back and people in the comments say something to him and they say, well, no, actually, he not broke or actually he it has been married mm -hmm. for a long time. And it, actually, he don't have no kids out of wedlock. It shut the fucking conversation down. Because that's the first thing people go to when they don't like your advice is they try to figure out whether or not you're wrong based off of the way you live your lifestyle. Yeah. That's why you got to pull the receipts. But go ahead, Q. I'm sorry. No, it was the question because when I hear men don't need women, I'm like, damn, that's wild. Like, of course, us women, we definitely need men. So to hear that standpoint, I just want to know men that are married that say they don't need women, why even get married? Because Anton... Looking at it, you really didn't need to get married if that's the case. No, nah, you you kind of get married because you are already married. Like if I'm um like if you in a relationship and you like you you playing it how you supposed to, you can't cheat. You still got a time that you probably need to be in the house. Uh, you still got to respect your girl as such. And after you know after you better. And you ain't going, you ain't gonna go be with nobody else, then why not change her last name as a reward of her loyalty? So well, it's, no, it's not more than that. If you want to have children, statistically yeah. speaking, for example, it's better for that child to be raised in a two-parent married household in order for them to be successful. They have a much better chance of being successful, being less dependent, less likely to join a gang, more, more likely to graduate from college less likely to go to jail if you're married and you're raising that child in a two-parent household. So, for example, one of the things that's plaguing our society is too many single parents. Mm -hmm. Like That's one reason alone, if you decide that you want to have children, I want them to be raised in that same household. So, okay, so you need women. Women. <laughs> if, you, if you want you children. Baby. That's no, not a requirement. If you, if you want balance. If you that's, just not a, that's not a requirement. You do not have to have children. You don't need anybody. But true, but Anton, Anton, you didn't no, need to marry. If you want children, then that's what I would do. But you don't have to do that. Yeah, true, like it, that's a if then that's not a requirement. But if Anton, I, you didn't I, need to marry Rita though. You could have moved her into your place because there's uh, there's guys that move women into their place. They don't need to marry her. You no, know, that's not the only reason why I got married. I gave one example. You asked it to them, and then 2K started to answer the question. I yeah. added additional context in order. I added one example to yeah. justify one of the reasons why it makes sense to get married. I didn't say that that's the only reason why I got married. Because if y'all, I'm just saying, if men don't need women, 
y'all don't need to marry, as Anton says. We, we don't need, we, we technically we don't need women. But, what, but, what, but what's wrong with needing a woman? Ain't it's nothing okay. wrong. It's, 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 but it's if you a man, man, listen. If, if, a man, but what's wrong with Okay, you okay. Need? I have another way. I want to ask a question. Okay, like okay let, let, me, let, me, let me ask this question about this needing. If one gender died off, which one would live longer? Man. Cares. We'll all die off eventually. <laughs> Why does it have no, to be like, a- like, tell me that question. Like, who would die off longer? Like, who would, who would last longer? Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? Why would we even want to endure that? Why would we even want to figure that we, out? We wouldn't really know. We, know it would be more we do we know. know. We know I it's think, men I would live women, longer. I think women would live longer. No, but I, I, y'all don't I know I don't nothing. Really. Y'all, don't eat. y'all don't know nothing. Y'all, I think, I think who, men who, are going to Who's, 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 who's going to run the we infrastructure? Who's going to fix the cars? Who's gonna do I that? think who's gonna I think the men year? are gonna start fighting each other. Oh my god! They're no. gonna start war on each other. The men are no. definitely <laughs> gonna have those. Listen, gonna be- we- women are stopping us from going to war. Oh, you gotta understand. I'm not even going to war. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Not even shooting. Y'all not. Like, let's stop with the extremes, bro. Baby, hold on. I, no, I, I, I just was talking to her point. But what I'm saying is, y'all don't know how to hunt. Y'all don't know how to build bridges, mm-hmm. skyscrapers, none of those above. Like it's technically, what? we want to fall apart. It right fall apart. Right but then, can I say something? Me. So it's kind of like I think more so, so more often. We no, can, we contribute no, no. nothing to society. We contribute nothing to the progress of humanity. No, we no one no said that. So no, tell the truth. We Women can, don't. We don't know anything. But like. History would disprove that notion. Though. I don't More believe that. I don't believe that jazz is like this. Why is this a competition? I don't believe that this is not. I don't believe that this is who she. It's impossible that this is who she is in real life. I don't she think like not. More oh often than not, but more I often than not, not. I'm on a podcast about conversations having about topics having a conversation. Yeah, but I don't think that you actually think like this in real life. I don't. What think am I you. thinking? That we don't need each other. My whole point is that black women and black men need each other. I feel that way. I, I, I on get this it. Podcast but, and off it. So what else? But what more often than not, you hear more women that say, "Oh, I don't need a man." More yeah, often than not. And so like, what happens is, and so what happens is, now that you know, if it's on the table that okay, well, uh, men don't need women. Then that's it seemed like that's a problem. But I've heard for years growing up in Mississippi, now I'm here in Detroit. I hear I've heard women, I don't need no man, girl, I don't need no man. No, I don't need no man. Yeah. And it was kind of like, well, all so right, I'm you know. Because they're, but they're they, hurt. They're but, then they go get, but then they go get help from a man. But it's Uncle Sam. Right. Oh, right. So listen, but so when we say we don't need no woman, we don't go to another woman for help. Nope. You see what I'm saying? Like, hey, hey. Hmm. hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm trying curious. to y'all do. I'm curious, but I'm curious about something. Wait, hold on, hold on, Jazz. Let me get something. Shay, what do you think about this? Um, Roman report. I think, I, I think a woman should just be the asset to the man, and you know, I don't know. I like I just, it's a, a debate that I wish it wasn't so serious because. It shouldn't be so hard. And I know a lot of women that's real big on, I don't need a man, but those are the ones that are always single. Exactly. Right. When the last time you've been out of St. Louis? Oh, God. It's a flight. Oh, oh, I got to I gotta get an airplane sound effect. I got offer. <laughs> <laughs> you do? No, no, no. Just say, when the last time you've been out of St. Louis? January for my birthday. My fiance took me out. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, I love no, that No, but it's, uh, shit, yeah. I don't like that answer. But, oh, 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 uh, I thought she was coming out there for being this great. man are you? You know why I don't like that answer? Well, I, actually, I like it, but I don't like it. But, um, but see, this is an example of she already letting it be known of what she owned, right? I didn't have to ask her whether she was married or whether she got a fiance. Two K. 
she already volunteered the information and she did it purposely for whatever <laughs> reason she did it. I didn't have to ask her. I'm not trying to, you know what I'm saying? And so now for me, I'm like, oh, okay. Well then, you know what I'm saying? Cool. God bless you. You know you're you you huh? you know you right now, right? I didn't hear you, Q. I'm sorry. The fiance can't come? Hell no. <laughs> Hey, that's going to be on that Drake shit for real. I'm starting to believe this shit. Okay, okay, okay. This is real. Okay. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I see see you, Anton. I see you, Anton. You must got a real good understanding with with your wife. What do you mean? My check be sitting right here. Uh Don't don't, don't, don't try to figure... Don't try to figure out the situation, Jazz. It ain't why Jazz not always bringing up Anton's wife? I don't have to, That's figure, out. Figure, <laughs> I don't have to figure out anything. It's right there for the world to see. Why is she always bringing up Anton's wife? Why is she always bringing up Anton's wife? Jazz, she, listen, they, they, they got a rapport. She let Are him. This man? Oh, I know. She, she definitely she let him cool. entertain. And I, and I love that for them. Don't nobody let me do nothing. Like, well, I just well, didn't know. I just I now now I know. Well, she don't trip about him entertaining. Like I'm, I'm sure getting to, no, I ain't gonna say that. Everything. So I'm sure. No, it ain't. Is, that's okay. What? It, it ain't about that, bro. They just have an understanding. Yeah. A lot of y'all should be more understanding and agreeable, and you will see how much yeah. is nothing. How much I, nothing I, is I, nothing. I, I just literally you. showed her on the beginning of the podcast of this show. She's still in right. that same spot. Yeah, she's right me. there. Is Nero. God dang, Mark Cuban. She on, she on TikTok. Woo. You gotta understand. We she like not, she not she not crazy awesome. like that. She not a hyena. She you know what I'm saying? She she, 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 she she ain't tripping off of none of this. She be she be having a good time. She, she enjoying her life. Well, She'll be tricking out herself out of a spot if she did that because well, she, she know Anton just putting on. Right. Shout out to Rita because if, if if my husband was on the internet talking about fly you out and da, 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 that's because he is so, that's because he's he not saying right. He, he's so yes, he's so that's because he is saying you don't have the same. I'm, I, I'm telling you, okay. If he left you, technically it only hurt you. You got to go back to paying all your bills now. Huh? <laughs> if if you left your husband for cheating on you, technically you going you hurting yourself because you got to go back to paying all your bills now. Two K, can I say something real quick? Absolutely. Okay, if he's your husband, why the fuck do you care who he's talking to? That's right. Let me do what I want to do. Mm, yeah, that's right. Exactly. He's your husband, so whatever he's doing with you, so aggressive. I'm coming home to you. I'm not I'm not the one that had this conversation because I think all that is bullshit. I think that is bullshit for you to sit here and say, like, you shouldn't worry, he could do whatever. He's coming home to you. Uh so so would you so you're so, not about so. to be out here sneaking and geeking, lying to me, thinking that you're being faithful in this monogamous relationship that we didn't took before God. Then that okay. means you're but he gave you the highest honor that, that he could give a woman. Does you're that his mean wife. I'm his wife, but he's not even honoring himself as a husband by Baby, doing whatever behind my back. Listen, just because he's talking to females no. does not mean he's cheating. Exactly. Well, yeah. duh. No he other woman cheating. compares to you. Well, duh, girl. Nobody said that. Nobody said just simply having a conversation to cheating, girl. But you're talking but about, you, oh, no, just turn not. a whole blind cheek. Let him do whatever because he's your husband. I'm not with that, sis. If you can if you can turn the other cheek and allow your man to potentially dip his penis in another woman, get a get get an outside baby on you, do it, and you okay because you're the wife. That's you know, cool. a bunch of stuff I will never, here. I will never, I will never oh, be okay with that. Because I didn't so, say that. What I'm that's saying that's is why are you worried about him talking to other females? That's disrespectful. So Jay, so so ba- basically you gonna you gonna leave him for cheat. Oh, oh uh, absolutely. Uh, Okay, so okay. listen, can, can you get can you guarantee that the next nigga won't cheat? Exactly. Oh god. So now you the left a, so now you the left a nigga that love you for a stranger. No, Is you that don't love? love me if you don't love me if you cheated, nigga. You're a liar. No. You're cannot you're a liar. Them, them, yo, yo, hold on, that's how hold you on, feel. Man. That's no. how you feel what when you let, let's let's talk about what a cheater is. A cheater is a liar, he's conniving, right? Or he or she, <laughs> right? She's she he or she is saying one thing and doing another, making some manipulative, making somebody believe something, uh, 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 something else 
for his personal gain, right? He's only thinking about himself or her. <laughs> Jazz. Okay, cheater Jazz. So, don't love so nobody. A cheater don't love nobody but himself. Jazz. Okay, so, so listen. So this, make this, me believe this, that, baby. No, I'm not going Okay, so, so Jazz, listen. This is this, this what I'm right. talking about right here. You can take your cheating ass home. No, so y'all consequences is the same as y'all rewards. It's bad. So Jazz, what? what if I what if I as your husband came up to you and say, Hey, I'm having urges of fucking other women? What are you going are you even ready for that conversation? If my man were to come in and approach me like that, I say, Okay, I understand that. I don't think we should be in a relationship anymore because I am not willing to share and, you. And, and that's what I'm hearing. Hold on, wait, 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 so let me fucking me while you doing it. Let me let me help you understand. Let me help you understand why he lied. Because that response is the same response he would have got if he got caught cheating. So you're saying it's better to lie, 2K? Has that worked out for you? No, no, no. I'm saying percentage percentage wise. No, no, no. I'm talking about not y'all not hearing what he's saying. Wait, wait, let me talk. Let, let me tell you. Oh, you really not what he's saying. Hold ahead. on. Let, let me tell you. Percentage wise. No, percentage wise. If you're going to leave me for being honest with you, as the same I lied, it me, it's the same as if I lied. It makes most sense for me to lie because you might not find out about it. But if I tell you that it's a 100% chance you're going to leave me. I'm going to give a That's the risk you take when you're honest. Sometimes it's, honesty don't get you the result you want, but it but doesn't. Sometimes you, do. it doesn't but it, but no, sometimes lying do. But sometimes lying do. So if you're okay with moving with a lack of integrity, then do that. But a man, oh, that that lack of integrity, but a man that is has integrity and that moves with honesty, he's just going to be honest. It's going to take. And Hold on, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, I mean, two K is crazy. You, you're not cool. You're a coward. 2K no, is crazy. For telling you? 2K, 2K is crazy. No, no, no. You're a cow. Ca- ca- he ca- really ca- just said something that went over people's heads. One of the one of the things that's crazy that that women don't understand is that they can't handle the honesty and still be able to move through it. No, you can't that, handle the honesty. No, you can't. You broke up with me because you can't of even just exactly, and that's why you don't want to be honest because you don't want to lose your relationship. That's why you're not honest. It's not that I can't take it, but he he ain't said he did anything yet. Though. Response, he just said he had the my urges. Response, my, my response to your honesty may not be what you want, so that's why you lie. It's not that I can't take it. It's just that you want me to say, okay, I'll be with you and allow you to have sex with other women. You know, no. nine times out of ten. You know, nine times out of ten, that ain't gonna fly, right? So you're gonna lie because you know that fact. Don't get mad at me because if you are honest, that's cool. But you can't get mad because your honesty. Jay, I'm just honesty, saying. Jay, no, 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 no. Your honesty okay, bears a consequence that you don't want. Okay, that, okay. You're the one that's scared of the truth, not me. Hold on, Jazz, for one second. Hold on, Jazz, for one second. I mean, I'm just saying. That's why y'all not honest. Shay. Shay. Yes. Do you understand what Two K is saying? Whether you agree with him or not, do you understand what he's saying? I do. So my translation of it, and then you let me know if you agree with it. My translation of it is, is why would a man honest, why would a man be honest with a woman that's already going to give him the same result, but it's a possibility for him to not get caught if he's not honest with you? It ain't no, there's no reason. I mean, yeah, but there is no, there is no, law, there, there is no, no law. reason to move in with integrity in a relationship. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead, Shay. It ain't no relationship to have integrity in. What are you talking about? Move with integrity in a relationship. If I tell you the truth, you're gonna leave me. But at least you moved with integrity and gave me the option to deal with it. What the fuck is integrity gonna do when you're you getting you bored? Why do you call yourself a real man and you out here lying though? You're not, you, you're, you're not hearing what he's saying. We talk he's about that he, has to lie. he has to lie. No, that's because, not what we're saying. We're saying, if, we're saying you know, if you we saying that if you understand the logic behind why men wouldn't be honest in the first place, you would be more open to having a conversation and solving for it. He never said that the guy actually cheated. Right. He that's said, the, how would you react to a guy being honest? honest. You automatically right. said what you would do mm-hmm. instead of saying how it was, how it would be as far as you having a conversation or even maybe trying to solve for it 
or yeah. trying to find out why he feels the way. You never asked no questions. You didn't say, why do you feel this way? Mm -hmm. Is it something that I'm doing? Is right. it we'll be able to assist you with? What we right. what, could we move differently? Maybe we need to spice it. You never asked no questions. The first thing that you said, Breaking. and this is what most women do as a result of having that honesty, which is one of the reasons why guys don't do that. Because let me tell you what other chicks do. Most of the time, the ch and this is why the dude that's with that other chick, he honest with her. And he actually like her, love her, and is more loyal to her. And she probably your, your replacement. She auditioning to replace you because a lot of times y'all abrasive and y'all not really the person that the person that y'all with needs to be. And so instead of you asking the questions, because a lot of people have thoughts, they just don't share them with you. And so you then become blind to what it is that he's really going through or what he's seeing and he can't relate to you. And it's not that he's necessarily going to cheat, but maybe he just want to share his thoughts with you. And so the first thing that y'all do is y'all dismiss it and you saying, well, this is what I want. I'm not willing to put up with it instead of learning and trying to understand why he thinking the way that he thinking. Yeah. And you automatically react instead of listening and trying to understand it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, that's valid. Yeah. I, I can I can understand that. Like in in real life, they may they there may be other questions, but the way that 2K presented it at first, it was like, yo, I want to have sex with other women. What's up? It wasn't no. hey. I'm saying, are you even woman enough to have the conversation? That's what I was saying. Listen, listen, if my if my man came to me and said something like that, I would be I would be devastated. I wouldn't understand it, I would be hurt. I would so, so I why not hurt you? Why hurt you? Because I'm asking you about some versus me going out there actually doing something, and it's gonna still hurt. If, I, I think. If, I, think I think. I think. Two K. If he felt like I wasn't enough, then I would. I it's would not allow that. It. No. But if listen, he, it's not about the woman. If a man cheats, it's not that, personal. That, that's the problem, right there. A lot of women like to what make a, this what a man about themselves. Female? Listen, when women get cheated on, it's not because they lacking anything. It's just because that nigga wanted to do something over there. It don't got okay. nothing to do with you. No, I get it. So if you don't have the discipline to stay honorable in your relationship, I don't have any interest in that. And that's okay. But that's not what he said. He never said anything. about. He never but said But he said sometimes it's not about... Just me listen, anything. It's just, Jay, he just has the, a dick and gets horny and wants to have sex with other Jay, people. the conversation alone will crush you. Even if I never fucked yeah, another girl, would, the conversation alone will crush you. Yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. Because I, I don't got nothing to do with you. Right. So because you make it about yourself. So right, exactly. So it's about him. So what I would do is give him the space to explore whatever he needs to explore. But I would not feel comfortable with sleeping with a man who's also sleeping with other you women. You still haven't said the thing that you agree with me, and then you rejected it and said that you're still gonna do what you're gonna do. I said, why do I why, you not, say why don't why can't I just say I'm not comfortable with that? I understand you want you to can, see you can, but what I also what I'm also telling you is that this is why men are not honest with you because well, that's not, not an excuse, is all I'm saying. It's still a you're not even letting me you got it, you're right. <sighs> The more so we realize I, that men so are ain't no excuse to lie. I mean, with one woman for the rest of their life, the easier it will be. Okay. So, Shay, you, Shay, you would not, be okay. Sorry, I Go wouldn't ahead. be okay with my man cheating, but I understand it's not a man is not meant to be with one woman for the rest of their life. So you're so since you're saying that, right? You're okay if you're. I mean, you would be more understanding if your fiance steps out now and then. Yeah. Well, no, she, she, she not saying she okay. Wait, wait, okay. Hard, I'm with them 24 seven, but yeah. I so mean, you'll be more understanding. Okay. I mean, it's in yeah. a man's DNA. I mean, it's nature. Like, why do we say this in a man's It's not. I mean, so, so here it is. Will. I'm so not here it is. He, will, but he never. Just, he's going to look. He's going to, you know, be like, okay, well, right. you could wait. You can look all you want, but it's a choice. Anton don't cheat. Anton don't oh, cheat. He, he, has, he has the choice to cheat. Exactly. He chooses not to cheat. It's a difference. Yeah, yeah. man can look. Yeah, man can compliment. But it's a choice to cheat. Cute. Like, yeah, I I so that, and that's, and that's, it's in a man's DNA. I, 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 don't, I don't understand. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's I don't understand. But here's the thing, okay, real quick. 
men have y'all all talk about how y'all get to the bag y'all got discipline when it gets to the bag y'all got discipline when it comes to your health getting into the gym making sure you all good on the exterior but you just so helpless when it comes to your penis and knowing that you're in a monogamous monogamous relationship you just you it's all about oh i'm just a man and i just can't help that i need to have sex with other but y'all do that with your emotions though hold on wait like, <laughs> are you giving him the sex that he needs to not cheat in every other area of your life but you don't have discipline when it comes so, to so hold on jazz let me tell you I how the majority the majority of men do have discipline okay people. If the, if, if the majority of men didn't have discipline, they'll be out graping shit. Okay, so we do have sexual discipline. We just are uh, we getting it from a single person who we convinced to have sex with us. It's not that we are uh, uncontrollable because if we were, we'll be running around graping shit, and we don't do that. The majority of men don't do that, so, so we have, have discipline. Okay, but so y'all are choosing to cheat. So it's a choice to cheat. Since you guys have discipline, you guys are choosing to cheat. So why not, right? If you are a man that can't devote yourself to one woman, you need to let the person you're talking to know that. Hey, I don't Q. want a monogamous relationship or marriage. So that's Q. what I stand. And you know what? If that's what he likes, okay. You're into poly, you're into multiple women. That's not me. Q, 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 Q. Mo, listen, you you can struggle to name five faithful men you know in your fucking life. No, I don't. The, I, listen, I, 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 all, all the data shows you that monogamy is horrible for us. Like, if every nigga in the fucking world has cheat or cheated, that should tell you that monogamy don't work for us. I have five people that I know that's monogamous. If, if one cheated. person, if one person fuck up, it's the mm. one person. If two people fuck up, it's the two people. If it's every nigga in the world cheating, then I should tell you that it ain't for us. Y'all so you fucking every... because y'all delusional. Most niggas cheat. I'ma say this: the friends I've encountered. I've never heard them say they've cheated. Their girls have never said they cheated. So they don't these are know. married couples. These are married couples. This whole cheating brigade. They don't, on, they don't cheat now. Right. Okay. They don't cheat you now. Might, you, might be, you might be right. You might be right. So are you telling ladies, you know, all men, mostly all men cheat? Is that what you guys are basically these saying? These are factual. Y'all can so 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 name okay. people do. So in other words. I, listen, my best cheaters, ladies. I so, don't cheat so, so anymore. In words, so in other words, most men are liars. They're conniving. They can't be honest with the person that's in the relationship, but they require loyalty. They require honesty for their women, but don't expect them to be honest. Don't expect them to be loyal because they're men. And because oh they're God. men, they are very- Y'all listen, bro. Y'all listen. I'm so tired of what- That's basically what you're saying because that's what a cheater is. No, okay. A listen, how many, time, how, how many times- How many times- How many times- That's definitely- that's the definition of insanity to do something over and over and over and over and expect a different result. If, but, but if, if every nigga in the world team and goddamn me, you keep wanting the one faithful nigga in the motherfucking world, they show how insane and delusional women are as a whole. Can I say Especially the higher the value? Y'all got it. If y'all want to normalize the Let's Shay say something. Y'all say the higher the what? Y'all women. Keep the higher the value, man. How are you going to expect him to always be faithful, though? Anton don't cheat. I highly doubt Anton I'm brothers saying, cheat. I'm saying, baby, I don't cheat. We so we bro, just listen, just man listen bro. Cause I that shit over. That's what you're saying. I listen, I'm I'm no longer a cheater. Okay, you have you two saying. weeks of non cheating. Good job. No, I ain't no fucking two weeks. I'm, I've been good for over a year now. But say, are you saying that we should just always expect successful men to betray us? We should never expect honesty from our men. That's what you're saying. You no, don't, you don't want honesty. You don't want it. But you because said, never said you know, you know, one, of the, one of the most beautiful things is that you can make the decision in. Mo, mo, one of the most the one of the most awesome, most comforting things to me in, in my life is the fact that I can genuinely be me around a person that I trust the most. And I could be absolutely real and you know what I'm saying? The first thing that she she asked me is, you know what I'm saying? What do you need from me? 
what is it that I can do? You know what I'm saying? How is it? And honestly, I don't think that most men want to cheat. I think that most men hate the circumstance that they in because the woman is not mature enough to even be able to be there with him in the space that he's really in and that he's growing into. Cause I honestly, like, I don't have no desire. Like I care about my bag. I care about my people. I care about a lot of things, but I don't even trust these hoes enough to even, even entertain it from that perspective. I would be too concerned about losing my bag as a result of it. So I don't even have a desire, but the fact that I can say what I want to say next to the person that I trust the most is most meaningful and women miss that part. They so in their emotions that they don't even know how to control themselves. And it's like, wait a minute. So this person can give you his last name. He can do anything, but he can't tell you what's really on his mind. Wow. It automatically turning into a nuclear bomb. That's wild. And if you can listen, fellas, if you can train a woman to control her emotions and actually be more understanding she will be everything. She will be as good as gold, as good as gold. And you ain't going to have no worries. You ain't even going to have no desire to do no wild shit. Real talk. So going back to the example, 2K never said that he actually went out and did it. In the example, he was saying that I'm thinking about this. I'm having these feelings. And so, you know, she went straight to, well, if he come to me and say that, then I'm out. That's it. Well, he never said he did anything. Well, That's I, the, the, the listen. If I can, if yeah. I can't talk to my wife about it, hey, right. man, I'm having any urges. What do you think? Uh, you know, woo, woo, can you do something different? Like you won't even have a conversation. Right. I, I, the conversation would be: you should go and entertain those urges, and I'm gonna just remove myself. And then you see why niggas lie. Yeah, okay. I mean, but that that's okay. that, that just kind of a little look for me. I just gotta say this one thing because that's at this me, point, baby. Too much. that's just me. Um, Y'all can tolerate the bullshit. You would rather leave your husband because he wants to do something, some new experiences in the bedroom, rather than have that conversation and see what he wants to do. It may not even be about him including another female. He may just want to switch it up, make it spicy. That's something, something different. different. Yeah, no, that's something different. If it's switching up spicy between you and I, but you really won't know that if you leave him when he tell you I'm having these urges. No, baby, that's not what the topic was. The topic was I want to have sex with other women. That's well, my where I draw the line. Yeah, if, you come to me and you say, if you come to me and you say, hey, I want to spice it up in a bedroom. What do you think? What should we do? That's a whole nother conversation. A lot and of women are just not built for that, bro. But if you come to me and you say, hey, I want to have sex with other women. No, see, see, see she reminds me of my grandma because she think she going to find a nigga grandma. that's, shout out to my grandma, but she's single as fuck right now by herself. <laughs> oh, now, nah, yeah, I'm sorry for. Her. But listen, what, what I'm telling you is, she thought that she was gonna leave a nigga and then go to another one, and she never felt that Mr. Perfect Guy because he don't fucking exist. Right. That, I, I I know you think you you deserve unlimited loyalty. I'm telling you, a nigga can get that to you. If a nigga, you mean to tell me a nigga can die for you? Jump in front of a fucking bullet, but he asked about another bitch. It's over. No, Damn, I do you one better, too, okay? I think we, I think we, cause see, we gonna keep going in circles. So let me, let me, let me switch the question up and let me ask it differently. What if he come to you and he say, not that he want to be with another woman, but that you not everything that he need? Then what? She gonna leave what him. What can I do to improve? Oh, my no, 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 no. She, she said, said it again. Say she it said it again. again. Say yeah, it again, Jerry. Yeah, no, I'm like that. You're right. What did, what did you make, say? Say it again. No, I'm saying if he, if he, if my man came to me and said, you're not, if he came to me and he said, you're not what I want, you're not what I need, you're not my dream girl, whatever the case, whatever you just said, I would say, okay, thank you for our you're time. Not, and I'm going to release you to go find what you exactly. need. Exactly. So now here's the context. That's me. That's just me. Now, 2K. I asked the same question. Why but I asked it it. He don't want me. Okay, cool, cool. Let me let me just say this really quickly. Wait, but he didn't say he didn't want you, Jazz. Wait, wait, Q, Q, Q. Oh, it's the same question is remixed because and she answered it the same way, which tells you again, and it, it says it speaks volumes to 2K's point. Women don't want honesty because they automatically go into flight mode. They listen, you can say that they say they want honesty, 
but they don't because they're not looking to understand the why. In the same way that she that when 2K asked the original question, and I said, listen, how come y'all not asking for understanding? How come y'all not asking what's the what's the desire? Why does he think this way? Is there something going on in his life? Mm -hmm. You could have did the same thing with the same question asked a different way. And she didn't. She said, well, I would have been like, let's go, right? And this is how you this is how you know that it's, it's disingenuous because she then said, Oh, I can understand why you said that. So it's the way that you asked it. I asked it differently. I remixed it and I said, Well, what if he said this? He didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't cheat. He didn't do anything bad. He didn't step out. He didn't disrespect. He asked it nicely. He just posed a scenario in honesty. And the immediate answer is flight. It's not, okay, well, what am I doing wrong? Is it something that I'm doing or is it something that you just desire? Mm -hmm. Is it something that we could do differently? Or, you know, is it that you're going through something? How can I be there? It's automatically flight. Yeah. It's the same answer, even though you asked it a different way, which also shows you that this is the sentiment of women that, that they say that they want honesty, but they really don't. No, and so I wouldn't even put that. That that's just me. You right. I I if I feel like I, this ain't it, I'm not what you want. You know what? I'm not. I don't waste time. There are other women. You right. That will sit and have a conversation and say, "Well, what can I do better? What do I do wrong? How can I be better for you?" You are right. And maybe that's something that I need to work on and fix. But I may not be because once you come to me like that, this is something that you've already thought about that you felt you thrust it on. I'm not for you. So in my mind, I'm like, how, I'm blocking. Well, you, I'm, how, I'm in your way blocking what's really for you. If, oh, if my, wait, 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 wait. Let's one, one more thing. 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 That's with me. So you, you a fiance, right? Who me? No, not yet. Oh, okay. My bad. Go ahead. Y'all can have it. Okay. okay so listen, listen. Wait, wait, wait. Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? No, I get what you say, but I think you. Jess, I think you perceived what he said. Anton never said that the guy said, you're not what he wants, right? And I think that when it comes to men, they don't open up because at times we take it personal. We don't listen to understand from their standpoint or we don't get their point. So right. when Anton asked the question, I was like, okay, so what am I lacking? Like, what is it that you're not interested? Because it could be something so simple yeah. like, cute, you know, I don't like how, you know, when you come home, your attitude or something that something so simple exactly. that can be understanding and change a in a simple little conversation because he yeah. never said he don't like, you know, want you, but I get jazz how you might've took that. But cause there are men that'll say, you know what? You're not what I want. And I'm not about to beg a man to want me. Okay. So I get that. But in this conversation, that's not how he was staring it at all. So I, I get it. But there are men that say Listen, that. if my girl came to man, you know what? I want a little dude who a little muscular. My love for her is next thing I'm do, I'm going to try to hit the gym. Okay? I'm going to try to compromise. How can I help you get what you want from a dude? You won't even compromise yourself. He might say, man, I want me a, little, a, a chick that's a little bit thicker. You so fucking butthurt, you won't even go to the gym and just, just, just hit the swats. Oh, no, nah, fuck you. It's over. I can't do with this. Like, how, how can you be loyal to somebody if that's the if that's the grounds you're going to leave him on because he wants self-improvement from you? If y'all want to get into a marriage, I'm telling you, you're going to be happy. You're going to have to put your own ego and your own feelings aside. And yeah. like, I know we do a lot of entertaining on these panels and stuff, but I'm going to just tell y'all the truth. If y'all want to go into a marriage and if y'all ever looking to get married, all of that, my rules, this is how I feel, this is how I am. You're going to have to literally kill your kill your ego and kill who it is that you are to become yeah. a completely different person. You cannot go into this thing with any preconceived notions or any anything that you can't change or evolve into. You're going to have to throw that to the side and literally kill yourself. And when I say kill yourself, I'm talking about killing self, killing right. ego, because all of that shit, you're not going to last. You're not going to make it. You're not going to be married for a long time. And if you are, it's going to be fucking miserable. I but it can be one of the most joyous, awesome, phenomenal things when you open-minded to the possibilities of what if. I'm so telling you, you, the minute so that you start having that mentality of, oh, that's just not the way that I am, it's over. It's over. It's done. No, I get that. So 
how would how would a man feel like how would he work through if his wife came to him and say you're just not the man that i thought i wanted you're not really doing it for me anymore mm. i kind of want to like see other men what should we do how would you all as married men how would you respond to that Ooh. if you came to me you say hey you're not the man I'm, I'm trying to figure out what can i do to be like I, I got, I instantly got to go into some compromise. I, I'm trying to make it work. I just I can't know, say but okay. Said, but two K, she said she want to see other men. Well, so it like you, it sounded it, it sound like she want to break up at that point. I didn't yeah, come. Yes, to, I, I, I didn't come. To, right I didn't. Here? I didn't come to her with that scenario. Yes, you did, baby. I, 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 was, not, I was not. In my scenario, I was not trying to leave you. The first thing I you said, said to me though was. But 2K, the first thing you said to was to me was, I want to, I'm thinking about sleeping with other women. No, I, I said, I say, how would you do me? How would you feel if I came up to you if, if I said, hey, I'm having urges with this? Woo, 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 woo. It's the same question, 2K. Let's it's not. not. So 2K, asking, 2K, so what if she said the same thing to you? What if your wife, Sarah, came in here and said, you know what? I want to have the whoop, whoop with another man. Like that, I think that would hurt men. Way you, worse you, than hurting women. Definitely, it definitely and, you hurt. Said, and you and you said to K, you will think that the relationship is over. Now, why wouldn't a woman feel the same way? So no, why no, 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 is a man no, no. Me, why do I have to have all this? Different from Q, from Q question. Very. It wasn't. It wasn't. Yes, but, okay. it was. I don't think men compromise. That, men for what sure. What I'm saying is that what what y'all saying is that women should be able to endure whatever a man is going through, endure his cheating, endure his no, lies. No, 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 no. I was telling you the reason why dudes lie about it because I said that the consequences of telling you the truth and the actions of lying to, are, are, are lying to you are the same. So it's better if you lie because it's the same thing. It's the exact same fucking thing. You get the I same outcome. Think, That's what you're saying. Yes. yes. But that, that's oh well, the but, truth. But, but, oh well, that, that's, what, that's the price you pay when you tell the truth. Where is that? Where 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 is the integrity? How can you be trustworthy person and you and you want loyalty from your partner, but I, you're not being honest? If you don't leave me, me for being, if you don't leave me me for being trustworthy and loyal to you, then what the fuck I'm being loyal? Who am I have to be loyal to? No, no. The thing is, that, see, y'all complaining it. Y'all feel like I'm being honest, so you should just accept my honesty. That's not how it works. If I'm honest with you and I say, you know what, you're just not, your dick is not big enough. I'm not, I'm over you. I want to have sex with other men. You're too fat. You're too ugly. I thought I wanted you, but now I don't. I, I want other men now. He never, what, he never it, said he didn't want well, you. Whatever the case right. may be. No, 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 no. Whatever, no, 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 wait, okay, hold on. Give me a second. Whatever That's the case it. may be, I'm telling you that you ain't doing it for me. And no matter how I put it, I'm telling you. You're not doing it for me anymore in the relationship. And I'm looking now. My adult, my eye is wandering. I want some outside, whatever the case yes. is. And just like I told you, when, when, and then y'all remember when I said it, I said the reason a dude cheats have nothing to do with you. It's you. Yeah, Every, yeah. Everything you just said, how you brought it to the dude, you act like it was all his fucking fault. Just tell the truth. You want to do what you want to do. You don't need me as a fucking scapegoat to do it. If I want to fuck another bitch, it's not because of you. Right, but you what I'm saying is you want to fuck other niggas because I have lacks of something. Yeah, but what I'm saying That's is different. that what right, but what I'm saying is that you want women to just accept your truth just because you're honest and then I just want to be listen, you don't have to accept the no, truth. No, no, I, no, no, no. I need to be no, able to okay. tell but, the truth. But, but, but you can tell the truth, but y'all have contention when a woman says, That's cool, thank you for being honest, but I don't want to be a part of it. Now listen, it's you, an issue, it's an issue because we don't want to participate in whatever sure. truth that you want to live. That's not fair. Sure. Listen, sure, you, you could easily say no. You could be like, oh, uh, I, I want I, I could come up to you, I want to have a threesome. You were like, nah. Okay, cool. But I still want to be able to come up to you and tell yeah, you no, the no, truth. No. Without but if you're gonna leave me just for telling you some crazy shit like yeah. that, yeah, then why tell the say. truth? It's different to say I'm thinking about having a threesome and shit like no, I'm not into it. It's another one you say, I want to go and have sex with other women. 
Because what can she do about that? Especially if yeah. she's not a woman that, especially if she's a woman that doesn't want to share you, doesn't want, she doesn't want to share herself with other people. You're coming to her saying, "You, I love you. You're great, but I want, I have sexual urges for other women, and I want to have sex with them." There's not much she can do other than either allow you to do so with you or allow you to do so without you y'all problem is that if we're not uh, if we don't allow you to do it while we're with you now all of a sudden we're the bad person because we're not willing to endure that we're saying you know what that's I cool you, that. you want other you women say no. Fine. but i don't want to i don't want to have to i don't want to be in a relationship where i share my man with jazz other women. you can say no and the pain so and don't problem don't condemn women for saying no. Then don't say we can't handle. No, here, 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 men can't handle the consequence of their truth because that's what it here, boils here's down. A, here's the answer to her question because I, I I was listening to this craziness. Right, the stuff that she was saying, she uh, listen. It's a strong possibility she already cheated. Right, the, even the nature of a woman is completely different. The way that she even posed the question, she she said that shit to hurt you, bro. Like. The way that you said it, the way that 2K said it versus the way that you posed it is two different scenarios. You saying, oh, fuck, you ugly now and all of this other stuff. Like, that's some spiteful shit. Like, that's some type of stuff. You don't even talk to your spouse that way. It's not even a realistic situation. And it's a strong possibility that if she coming at you like that, she already gone. Either she already got somebody in mind or she already been with somebody and she already plotting her exit. Because the nature of a woman... It's not even to move like that and to operate like that. So she already gone. She ain't yours. It's, it's, it's over at that point anyway. And my one rule, if she's saying all that shit, the reason I know it's spiteful, because if I'm ugly, then I was ugly before you got with me. And so all of a sudden, I didn't just turn ugly all of a sudden. So now you're just talking shit and you're just saying mean, spiteful stuff in order to justify you leaving. So that's a completely different scenario than somebody coming out and coming to you being honest and love and saying, hey, listen, this is the way I'm feeling versus somebody saying, nah, fuck you. I don't want this. That shit is already over, bro. She I already agree. Shit. I know. I was, yeah, no, I was talking shit. But what I was saying was that even when you come to a woman with love and say, hey, I want to have sex with other women, how do you think that woman will take it? That's all I'm you're, you're, you're saying. You're saying just because you're honest. That a woman shouldn't take it offensively. That a woman shouldn't feel like that it has anything to do with her. What what else would she be thinking if she feels like now that her man, after all this time, is saying, "Hey, you just not doing it enough for me right now." What do you think about me having sex with other women? How do you think that woman? I mean, it's natural for a woman to feel like that she's not enough. That yeah, she I'm not saying that that talk should like, be had. I'm just saying, saying. even like, if you came to her honestly and all gently, it's still translating as I'm not enough. Something's wrong with me. It's not, I'm not pleasing you enough. That's not, well, that's not how women take it. And I know for a fact. That's you a woman? But I'm, I, I've been married for you 20 years. You're not a woman, baby. You can't say. I know, I know exactly how she, I know how she take it because my oh, chick my is 100% transparent with me. 100%. Like we best friends in real life. In real life. Okay. And we are absolutely positively transparent. I don't have no secrets. I don't have to hide. I don't have to do none of that junk, none of that. That's why I'm so free and I say what I say and I mean what I say when I say it and I don't have to worry about none of that stuff. See, I don't worry about when I get offline and all of that shit. I can have my chick right next to me and most of the women that fly in, a lot of times she the one that greet them at the door. She booked their flights for me. Right, I'm not talking about that though. So I'm my point is this, but, but the reason that it's that way is because I don't have the same sentiment and, and I understand who she is. And so I, I'm very careful about how it is that I treat her and what it is that she expects because she shares her thoughts with me too. And that's when you do stuff out of love, you learn to understand people, you learn to look to understand people instead of trying to just say shit to hurt them. And no, that's I where it comes from. And so the way that you talk, you talking to either or, that's not how marriages work. And so that's why and this is Q. Q. This is the reason why I say it's a difference between either you married or you single. Because people that marry, they got a different mentality. And a lot people that are successfully married, they got a completely different mentality than people that are just in relationships. It's easy for them to just say, oh no, fuck you, leave. I'm walking away. That's not how it works. When you marry, 
You made a vow, you made an oath before God, and you said, yo, we're going to be together till death do us hurt. You figure out how to talk and, and work that shit out and understand each other and figure it out. Yeah, That's I mean, how it works. That's a different sense. Ain't no I leaving. Do, but how do you honor... You know what? Y'all y'all the experts. Y'all got it. I am well, the I'm expert. Gonna, I'm going to say yeah, this, Antoine. If somebody... If 2K said that to women, a lot of women would act emotional and take it take it personal. Even though they 2K might say, no, it's not you, I cheated. A lot of women going to think it's them. It's something that they did. It's something that they're, they're lacking of. A lot of women will take that, take that personal. Let me just say this to women. If your man is not as transparent with you as I am on this panel, then he a hostage. Yeah, a hostage. And they, no, listen, he's a hostage. Oh, shit. Oh, you you, listen right to me. Listen to me. Because <laughs> all men think what they think. They may just not be as transparent with you. If he's in a situation where he can't even talk to you in private with nobody else listening in the way that I talk on the panel, then that nigga's a hostage. He's there, hey. but it doesn't mean that he's he to be there 100% of the time. It's a reason why they don't have so long. That's a lot of men. It's a lot of men. It's a lot of men. men. Because if they, Anton, if that was the case, Anton, if that was the case, men wouldn't be cheating. What if I'm they telling were you more? is, Hello? Listen, listen, ladies, this is a reality check. Don't get mad at me. But I'm telling you the truth. If you, exactly. if you think your hostility or your abrasiveness in your situation is actually bearing fruit, you have another thing coming. That nigga is a hostage. And you really, really need to be a lot more agreeable. You need to open up your mind. You need to you need to create a space where he feels more comfortable being with you. And when he tell you the truth, it's going to shock you at first. But shut the fuck up. Control your emotions and go and take a nap. And then when you wake up and you know that he's still there and then he shares even more with you because he feel more comfortable with you. That's when you know you actually a wife. Okay. That's when you're becoming a wife. I if, don't if it's not that, you. If, if it's all surface level, if if he's scared to say stuff, if he just say happy wife, happy life, if he agree with you all the time and stuff like that, he's he's a on the inside. He a yeah, hostage, no. and it's a possibility that he gonna fuck on something eventually too. Yeah, no, hostage. I don't. Dis I don't disagree with you. I'm not saying don't make a space, a safe space for your man. To talk to you and express himself. I don't, I, regardless of what y'all say, listen, I don't have these problems in my relationship. You got a lot. To, yes, you do. You just I don't, don't know. You don't know anything. You just don't know you it. You don't know anything. You, you don't barely know, know yourself, Anton. So don't even try to try to unpack and dissect my situation. Because if you want to go there, we can. You don't we know. Let's go. If you you don't go. know me like that, baby. Oh, no. You don't right. know me like that. And you don't know me like that. Let's, let's go there. Know. Let's go there. Just let's because go there. I disagree with you doesn't mean that I have let's this go there. relationship. Let's go there. So you know the one thing that I didn't do? You know the one thing that I didn't do? Don't project your own ideas onto something that you have no idea about, okay? Like, I know you think you know everything, but you don't. And that's okay because a wise man knows that he knows nothing. But you, you got a different type of complex where you just can't be wrong. And that's okay. I don't know what's happened to you in your life where you feel like you just got to be the man all the time. But yeah. I know it's hard for you to learn things because you just can't be wrong about shit. But that's yeah. what neither here nor there. Don't speak on me as if you really know me because you don't, sweetheart. You only know I'm just debating you about topics. I've yeah. never said anything. I didn't say anything about not making space for your man to speak to you honestly. All I'm saying is that if your honesty okay. comes with stepping outside of the relationship, involving other women, having sex with other women, and another woman, a woman may be okay with that. I'm just saying me and maybe some other women will be, that's a, that's a hard no. We draw the you line know, out. You know, I'm if, it's wondering, in our marriage, if it's in our marriage, I would still be even more disturbed because our marriage is, oh, is, 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 is taken under by God, right? Oh, and we're, shit. We're, we're, we're in this marriage. We take these vows under God to be monogamous. And now you're coming mm -hmm. to me in a marriage and saying, actually, I want to have sex with other women outside of our marriage. That's yeah. jarring for anyone. And for yeah. a marriage, of course, I would probably have questions, go to therapy, go to counseling. But that would definitely make me feel like that I'm not doing my part and my man wants something else outside of our relationship. And that's okay. You should still be honest 
regardless of whatever consequence that may bear. And y'all saying it's okay to lie because the lie is going to give you the outcome that you want as opposed to you sharing your truth and potentially severing whatever race relationship you already have. That's the price you pay when you tell the truth. It's not always, the, the outcome is not always in your favor. But the whole point of being a man of God like you claim you are, is, is moving into integrity and moving with honesty at all times. You know what I'm saying? So I, I know you want to take little blows and say, oh, I know you did it. You, you really don't know shit <laughs> about nothing. You sit in front of a camera and you project. You know what I'm saying? You've been married for so many years, right? But yet you have so many, you have so much experience about the modern day dating. How would you know? How would you know? I know you do. I know you fly bitches out. You and your wife must have a beautiful understanding. That ain't none of my business. But I only say things that you say personally. You have no idea what goes on in my life. You have no idea what goes on in my relationship. You don't know how happy my man is. But you want to project because you have to be right. And I know that makes you feel better as a man. And that's OK. But just know, baby, you don't you only know what you know. And half the time you don't know shit. But but but, but let's just be clear on what, what I'm saying. Just because you are honest doesn't mean the outcome is always going to work in your favor after you're honest. And that's all I'm saying. Okay. So, you know, the interesting thing about it is that you such a hypocrite because you spoke on my wife all night. All night. Every single opportunity that you got, you mentioned my wife. Yeah, because... First, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I was quiet the whole time. Go ahead. You're right. And the first, uh, the first time that I say that you don't know what you think you know, and I didn't even speak on him. I spoke on you. Now you got offended. But I'm, I'm wondering, though, right? That. That's not what you said, though, bro. That's I'm sorry. You're still talking. You don't even know how to be quiet long enough to hear. You got two ears and one mouth for a reason. You see how I gave you the respect mm -hmm. and I let you get it off? Mm -hmm. I ain't even said nothing yet. Mm hmm and it's so hypocritical that a woman feels the need to be able to bring up my wife multiple times, which I didn't even get offended. I was just like, hey, cool. Listen, we're going to leave it out of that and we're just going to be speak in general. But see, I know that that's what you're really feeling because the reality is that the shit that I said tonight really hit more than any other night that you'd have never been on this panel. This It hit tonight because it resonates. And the fact of the matter is, the truth is, you not ready because you think you're ready and you just plan house. We live at we, we really live house over here. You plan it. And if if your man is dealing with anything based off of what I seen tonight, that nigga's in prison. He more than a hostage. He's in prison and it's not going to work and you're going <laughs> to fail miserably. And I'm going to be here laughing the whole time. And the only reason I'm going to laugh is because you made it personal. See, I was trying to speak in general, but see, now you projecting and you think that it's something wrong with me or now you're saying that we must have an agreement. We are. The agreement is that I'm the man. I do what the fuck I'm going to do and you're going to do what it is that I say you can do. And I am still a benevolent dictator. And it's unfortunate that the guy that you with going to have to experience the the level of masculinity that you exhibit on a regular basis, because I know that what you're doing on this panel it's not just on this panel. This is the real you. And, and not only is this the real you, the worst part about it is he, it's not even just you. You are a reflection of what's wrong with the black community, especially when it comes to black women. Because oh, all, of them exhibit, all of them exhibit that same masculine fucking oh. attitude that men hate. We hate that shit. Oh. We hate all of the tough talk. We oh. hate all of the ad hominem attacks. We hate the fact that we got to come home to y'all funky ass attitude. And every single time y'all open your mouth, we reminded as to why it is that guys are starting to get their passports. I'm not even mad at the passport guys now because, oh because not look at you. You, so been had passport. you so bother. You can't even shut up for five seconds. And no, let me I don't it up. Listen, I mean, listen, listen, yeah. listen. Shout out to your beta man. And what's that about? Him. What's that about? Did, did that make yourself feel better? And fine, you don't want to be on here flirting with women on this podcast, a whole ass married man. You no, don't want to be on here. That's what I do. 
You the one that be out here making people question the validity of your marriage that you say you so successful at. Okay. Don't mean that I'm I don't not still married. Up, and I don't have to bring up your marriage. You bring that shit up. At the end of the day, baby. At the end of the day, you tried to say you know what you know about my relationship. You made it personal. Okay. You talk about your personal life. You talk about the baddies you fly out. I'll be confused. Mr. I'm so married. I've been married since 20 years old. Da -da 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 okay. Whatever the case may be. Okay. I just be very confused how you be blatantly flirting with other women on this panel, talking about you flying women out. So I'm just like, okay, you must have an open marriage. You must, and then you want to pan to um uh Miss Lady's head to make to to, to make sure Ooh. people see, oh, she's here with me while I'm talking all this shit. That's all cool and fine and dandy. But mm -hmm. for me, it, it 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 doesn't resonate as somebody that I would look to as somebody that I want advice from. But don't even marry. Don't you matter. Married. You're not married. But it, and that's fine. And I will be soon. You single. You think that it'll be failed because what? I'm debating you because I'm challenging your. You thoughts. already failed. You're not married. How am I? How am I failure? Just you because you're giving up free yet. box and you're not even married. Giving up free box. What? What do you know about anything about? Free anything. You've You're been not a married. virgin. I Allegedly. can tell by the way that your mouth moves so that you're not a virgin. So you what? talk too much. So what? So you so giving what? up free box. So what? Listen, free box listen. So at, the, free at, the, at the least, yes. even though and you don't and know what you're talking about, you have to resort to you have to At the very to least, me. even though you, you don't know what you're talking about. You have to resort to these type of attacks because you have to My chick actually get all of the benefits. You get the accolades. She get everything. Talking about what's going on with my pussy. And the most important part about it is. So why are you even worried about what's going on over here? The why don't most you important about part about the whole thing is. Why don't you talk is, about marriage? Why don't you talking about? Why don't no, you I'm talking about, about you. Men? You a reflection I'm of what black men of hate I'm just when it comes I'm not to dealing with these women on a regular you. basis. I'm not hating on you, baby. I just you see right are through you. a reflection of what black men absolutely you're despise. You're, you're really not that And that they don't want to come home. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I know you think you the man. I know you think you the man. I am the man. I am on a platform to debate different topics, okay? Well, when you should have made it personal. What you made it personal first. You just said No, to I me, didn't. I yes, told you, you and I warned you multiple different you times. Said, you I warned said, you multiple different you times. Literally I said, listen, said, you I, listen literally I got said, one rule. I know what's going well, on. Hold on, hold on. You better stop. I'm gonna mute you because all you're doing is just talking. You just talking real loud. I warned you. I said it multiple different times. You warned me for what? I what warned you, you if you shut the fuck up for five minutes, you can look hear it. You, look at you, person. Look at you. I warned you and I told you. I what said, you listen, for, and I got right? one rule. I'm not one of your mentees. I got one rule. You can keep it on me. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say about me. And I say it all the time. And I told you. And I didn't even trip about it when you did it. I said, listen. And I told you personally, keep my wife out of it. I never Don't listen, mention it. And I, I said, let's listen. just talk. Let's talk. I just said, let's just talk in general. You wanted to keep doing it. You didn't talk about what was going on in my position in my. And then, because because see, I'm not gonna keep it getting interrupted when it's my time to speak. And then when I start talking about your beta, your beta man, see you what you doing that family. for? You my, made it personal, but you wasn't built for it. My beta man, though. Yes. Really? Yes. Yes, but, but now we're making it personal, though. Now, if I said what you I made wanted it personal. to say, you made, you it, made personal it personal. You, you made, made it personal. personal. So if you no, don't want it to like, be personal, no, 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 no. This is what black women do on a regular move, basis. Move on. No, this is what. This, no, I'm not moving on. Fuck you. You ain't got no Fuck friends, you. nigga. Fuck everything that you stand for. Fuck. Well, fuck. Yeah, you. I, I know that makes you feel real. And this is the thing that I'm talking about That's on a regular basis. When, when, when women don't like. And they get that same energy back, then you want to feel a certain type of way. Now you, you want to start it. What the fuck up? What you talk. shut up? Just you talk. Whining. All you do is talk. Shut the fuck up. That's your whole business. Your whole business is talking shit. So what Beta you mean? Mail. Whatever you you the one cursing at women. That's that. That's not because really I don't have no because I don't that's have not no very respect alpha of you. I don't have that's no respect. Fine. I don't have that's no respect fine. for women that 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 that's get out of line and, and don't that's want the reciprocation you. back. If that's you go, if you gonna be that, 
And if you wanted to go down that path, I didn't cuss you out. I didn't call you out your name. I didn't call your wife nothing. I didn't say anything. You made it personal. You, you called heard me what I said. You I me, warned you. You, me all type I of names. Warned like, you. you think I you warned you? Me for what? Who I warned you. you. Warned me for what? I warned you. Warning and what? so if you if you if who and you I gave warning, you again, who do you if think you you're wanted it to be that right way? Now? Who do you think you're scaring right now? <laughs> Can we get some super chats? Warning me. I do want to say I, I do want to remove it for a second. But like I said, this is what men have to I deal did. with on a regular basis. And it's unfortunate because I told her, I said, listen, keep it off of me. And let's just talk in general. And then she didn't want to do that. And so now we got to go down this dark path and she get the energy back that she wanted to wanted to throw it out. And, and it's so funny because then she started talking about, oh, you must be this. You must be that. But then when I called her man a beta, now all of a sudden the shit going to go off the rails. No, I don't think and, you should call her and a beta. Wrong. Like, I'm not tripping. I'm not yelling. I'm not doing none of that shit. Like, I don't think you should have called her man a beta, Anton. Why not? She she said <laughs> she didn't she didn't come she didn't come at Rita because you don't Rita. you don't get to you don't get to determine how I respond to it once I feel disrespected. Yeah, but she didn't come for Rita. Well, she she kept doing like, it. I, I thought you I thought I you was gonna be the good I Anton. Her. I thought I you was gonna her. be the good Anton, <laughs> not the I red robe her. Anton. Well, listen, I'm way he, he did tell her don't he did tell her don't bring his wife name up though. He did I'm, tell her don't bring I'm his wife way up. nicer. Than 2K was to the stripper. Well, no, the stripper and 2K <laughs> had beef. That's why prior beef. I don't know nothing about that, but yeah, I'm yeah, way yeah, nicer. Yeah. And I said that they could say anything that they want about me. They can okay. come at me as much as they want to. I always say that. But then if I warn you, and again, I never even really muted her until she kept over talking me at the very end. If I if I warn you and you keep going down that path. What do you want me to do? Okay, let's you, let's just have a civil conversation. Can we bring, can her, bring back? her back up? I'll bring her okay. back up. I didn't kick her. Hey, at least at least she didn't leave. At least she didn't. What's what the what did the stripper chick do? She left. She left and made a whole stream about us. <laughs> I didn't kick her. I just took her no. down so I can get my point off. No, mm. you know this is the point of this this panel: having conversations, having little discourse. It's been way worse on other platforms when we've been on there. So I like the little conversation that we have. Let's this is kind of this is kind of off topic. These are the kind of women uh -uh. that that I want to have sex with because I want to make them feel this small. What? <laughs> this is women who just loud and masculine. I want to fucking Wait, make, shut your, please stop. Make them, you make them, I don't, make them I don't feel this that. fucking small. I, I, Wait, I, I, you're I, a liar. I don't understand the issue. You know what I mean? I, I'm just repeating back what you say. I'm just responding to how you act. You want to make shit personal, talking about you know what's going on in my relationship, calling my man out his name, and this, that, and the third. And that's you spoke on my relationship first. I, no, what I spoke on is the things that you speak on, sir. No, you no, 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 no. no. You didn't just speak on what I spoke on. You said you said y'all must be. It does matter. Read your super it chat, baby. Because I warned you. Let's move on. Okay, so I think this is what happened. You had the conversation. This is what happened. So. Oh, yeah. Anton said, don't bring up Rita. But I think when y'all was conversing, you said Rita's name. She didn't say in a negative manner, but you did say his name. And then I Anton, wasn't even tripping off of that, Q. What I, what, you just when she because... started going off and she said, Yeah, she brought up Rita. That... <laughs> yeah, I brought, she brought, I brought her, her up. Listen, I'm not tripping though. because I'm used to it. You, the you fact know. of the matter is, right. when you get it reciprocated, then it starts hurting you. You didn't reciprocate anything because I didn't do it's anything to disrespect okay, you and yours. Do? I just said back what you always say about you and yours, baby. That's all I did. And I didn't I didn't use the name Rita until you called my man a baby. It doesn't even so matter. Let's be fucking for you real. Can't, you I'm can't honest. dictate how I determine that I want to respond and to you, it. it, it and, and same goes to you. You you don't want to bring it up. My hands for what? You talking about? Oh, you know what's going on? You don't know anything, and that's your problem. You can't. You have a problem with not knowing everything. 
That's why you, you sure? keep yes men around I you. I asked you if you That's was married. That's why you keep females around you. I asked you if you That's was a fiance. That's why you keep people that just like, yes, I asked you if you was married and you was a fiance. All you you said is no. this shit, nigga. Like, come on now. Be fucking for real. All right? Because I, I fuck you. you was married I do, you was but, but you get it. You get in a little bit out of pocket, my guy. All right? Who like, getting out of pocket? No, so this is not a circle. Can we get to the super chat? No, 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 no. Let her get it off. Let her get it off. No, I'm just saying you're talking about me disrespecting your wife, but you be on these panels flirting with hella women. I didn't in say front of your wife alleged, alleged. I didn't say nothing about disrespect. So don't, don't talk to me I about said you can't choose how I your respond marriage, to you. Baby, because you tell everybody every time you come on this internet that you don't have no respect for yours, regardless of what you say. All right. So let's mm, move on. Read Lord. your super chat. Get your coin. Let's let's read on. Let's move on. I don't think we're gonna we gonna no, don't talk this to me thing. about me and mine. I won't talk to you about me and yours. I apologize if you felt like I was disrespectful to you. Yeah, Quentin, yeah, yeah, I did that. It's not an apology. No, it's not, Q, because people can't say, I apologize if you felt like. That's not an apology. No, 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 no. I'm saying, if I no, what I said was, I apologize if I said something that pertaining to your wife that you took as disrespectful. And I also I didn't say that you disrespectful. For calling my man a beta because you know that was some bullshit in the first place. And you wanted to say something to try to hurt me personally. But, and that's okay. That's what you had to go to. So we can move on, Anton. You're perfect. Everyone else is not. We get it. You got money. You got bitches. And you got a wife. Anything else? That's a fucking fact. But I didn't okay. bring that part Let's move on. But, Let's but move no, on. no, 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 Quentin. Let's this move on. Is, no, you can't tell Let's me what to do on my platform. Oh, well, why you time? You don't control what goes on over here. Well, why are you wasting time? Because I can. Mm. Here's the thing that I was going to say before I was really interrupted again. Jesus Christ. Here, here's the fact of the matter. Women need to understand that men don't just shut the fuck up no more just because they want to. And the, and the interesting thing about this whole situation, though, is that you have more talking time than anybody else on this platform tonight. More talking time, and you said more, you interrupted more people, and nobody muted you, nobody tripped out, they just let you rock out. Because I don't usually mute people at all. I don't say nothing. I let people get it off. If people come at me, if they got me and all of that and all of that, you know, I'm tri I'm cool with that. But then when we start to reciprocate and we don't deal with the bullshit the way that you feel like we should deal with the bullshit, then all of a sudden y'all y'all hurt and we try to say something to hurt you. Nobody's saying nothing to hurt you. I don't give a fuck about you like that. It ain't even that big of a deal. I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to forget about you. Like I'm not <laughs> tripping off of that. Okay. And so y'all going to have to understand that if you want respect, then you're going to have to extend it first. But we no longer subjecting ourselves to what your rules of engagement are. We gonna do what we wanna do when we wanna do it. Okay. Super chats? Yes. Queen said That's he gonna read them. All 80 nope. of them. Nope, last time I tried to read them, I can't read, nope. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, and thank you everybody for tuning in. We we have a lot. All night reading super chats. No, we going through very quickly. And don't come for me if I if I mess up words, y'all. I'm trying to go to sleep, okay? <laughs> y'all on here, but hey, shout out to everybody that's on the panel. You know, thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Quinn, Jazz, Cal, Shay, Two K, Ari. No, I got one more thing to say. I got one more thing to say. My chick would never act like this. Oh my God! Who else was on the right. panel? I forgot who else was on the no, panel. No, no. Let me say it. Shout out yeah. to my God. chick. My chick. Why do we need never to would never disrespect a man that way? You're right. Great. Right. 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 Anyway, fantastic. Anyway, fantastic. Love, I love, I love think none of us want to be your chick if you have one. Moving on. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Loud and wrong. What a guy. Yo, lame ass. Dora, let's. Oh, I'm a lame now. Yes, I yes. Stay at home, yes. mom slash housewife. My oldest is seven, yes. youngest is six, youngest is autistic at least one to two times a week. My youngest has to be picked up from school. Not every second I'm cleaning. We have cats, tons of hair, toilets, all men. Shout out to you, Kristen. Do all that. This is why I would never marry again if I were to divorce. I'm too self-sufficient to deal with a woman complaining about medi mediocre shit 
like cleaning. But all bills are paid plus any cent that's extra goes to him unless I have holes in my pants. He has an 85-inch TV. He works so much, but he deserves whatever he wants with the extra plus we save. He hunts slash fishes. I want a part-time job, but I'm honest. If the school calls and says my autistic son needs to be picked up, I'm going. No job wants me being unreliable. My situation is a bit different. I put 100. He does 100. You don't need money to date. It's free things to do. That's why y'all gain weight. Always to eat. do dates that requires movement, hikings, or something. Um, shout out to everyone on the panel. There's no 50-50 in relations. Both got, got to put in, in their all respective to their roles. Women know who they will sleep with and pick and choose who has to work harder. Jazz is cap. Why you keep saying Rita? You throwing jab, you throwing shots. A woman needs to have their life together if she wants a man with his stuff together. It's not oh, just because we're women. Shut up. They're snatching dreams. Oh shit. I meant she up. Damn. She up. They're snatching dreams. I was broke when I met my wife. Lost my job multiple times and she held me down. Now I got the bag, got a nice house, a son, and we living in life. We living the life. Uh, uh, modern day dating did originate from prostitution. The only women who were known for accepting gifts and going on multiple dates with different men were street walkers because most people were married. Yo, Jazz, men control the marriage narrative and who they want to take care of. Technically, it's his way or you're, you can kick rocks. Um, Jazz, you and all the ladies can get kicked off the show tomorrow. And Anton's show still gonna be kicking. Um, we know because he got a lot of male fans. People. We know. Yeah, I don't think y'all would want to. We know full Anton, y'all daddy. We know Anton, y'all daddy. We know. <laughs> but also, um, a panel full of men. I don't think y'all would want to see that. Like having women in the panel is like having conversations would be helpful. I'm not gonna lie. Um. Jazz will never be better than getting clapped in the back of a rusty ass Chevy Tahoe and three donuts unless you get her act together. Thank you, Patrick. Y'all are think crazy. Seen Jasmine's background. She, Anton, she ain't back and forth. Anton and Jazz. Unless <laughs> you kind of chick that want to get on your program, let the rest suffer and be miserable. Jazz ain't no chump. Two times. Um, Jazz single handedly showing what's wrong with the general population of black women. Men don't need your loud. We just borrow your little box and get back to work. Who the F trying to argue predator. every two seconds? Predator. We just borrow your box? What a fucking predator. Rich as F. <laughs> Why the black community <laughs> will laugh? Y'all stay told you yourself. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. To, all, to all of my people Weirdo, in the chat. Ew. Oh, my to God. My we can't keep stopping. We got like 40 of these. Hold on. I got you, Q. To all of my people in the chat and to everybody that love me, <laughs> shout out to y'all. And all of my chasers, we up, we up over six thousand on the Patreon. So yeah, make sure y'all tap in. Hey, shout out to you. The, the king is the king is still here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, and I love my people. That's shout out to all of my people. I love we love. I love y'all too. Okay, I'm, I'm about too. to read. Jazz, this is how you argue with your husband. We're not about to be all here. We're not being petty me. back and forth. Anton, you said you was gonna be nice. It's nice. Do. He's the sweetest, and, actually. And Coach Greg Adams would set the internet on fire. Jazz embodies what's wrong with black women. Look at all that love I got out there. Shout out to my people. Winning an argument or changing facts. Black women are not boss chicks for stats. They broke IRL. Um, I love y'all, too. I love y'all, too. Not Chat true. Right. Right. It's I'm reading fun. everything that y'all talking it's about. Let everything I'm reading through the chat. I love my people. I love y'all. These people are fitting. You know what? I love y'all. I love chat. my people. The, the chat is gassing up Anton right now. So wait, that's wait, wait. First of all, first of all, let me be clear. Anton be petty on the Monday morning show. Not this show, y'all. I'm trying. I gotta it is. It me. is. It is two o'clock in the morning on the East Coast, and my people is here, two thousand plus strong, showing the king love. Yeah. Shout out to y'all showing Bow the king down, love. Y'all the super chats, and y'all can be with the king. But cause Q got a flight. Bow I'm down, man. Off with my hair thing in her. Okay. Not true. Oh, they're not true. He come from it. So rather he he has or not his stance for marriage come from his upbringing. He was raised in it. Uh, my success has not come from a woman. Do some men need that? Maybe. But the biggest cap is men need women to be successful. Without women, men wouldn't have Hold a reason on, to Q. live. Let me, let me Ooh, highlight something. Right. I love that. You see this? They said. 
Well, they said they ain't minions, they soldiers. Head ass. Okay, soldiers, now come up here and read these super hey, hey, soldiers. Hey, hey, a soldier Arthur of a That's what you're proud of. You a soldier of Anton. Nigga, you ain't <laughs> got a cab. You ain't safe. Look at her. She's so masculine. However, if the world ended, I want my husband to survive more than me because he is going. Hey, stop. Y'all said the super chats move. They love me. They love me. Shout out to my people. Y'all, y'all, we appreciate it though. We, Shout we appreciate out to my it. people. They love me. You trying oh, to be sweet? Oh, baby. I he only love to my more people. than me because he is oh, going baby. to ask him to assess the insta situation rationally and bring in his insta to survive and hunt. Yeah, I'm struggling. I'm trying to get through these. And y'all, single they women, ride for me. they love me. Girls to entertain multiple men, but display a different public persona. My observation 30 years counting. Uh, Jazz can't be a leader's wife. She's the boss. <laughs> We're gonna, we gonna fix Jazz though, y'all. We're gonna get her yeah, life. Together. I don't want no help from you, Pimp. Yeah, our boss is funny. We're too look at these people. Look, look, come look, on these people. Yeah. look how much they love Time Dog. Time Dog, oh is that what they call you? Is that what they call you? They are undisputed. Time Dog, that's what they call you. I want y'all to keep Q up all night reading these. No, I have a flight to catch. No, Jazz, for a lot of the man has nothing to do with this love for you. Two separate entities. I can't believe women still debate this nonsense. And no, we What woman on the internet can get this type of love? I don't, they giving you love, not me. He said that's not what he, he really wanted up like my game and be game to more a day week. He says he's drained from me. By the way, got context. Our kids are Irish trans, con Irish twins. Congrats. Oh, I Look at Omega man. Jack in there. I see you, oh Omega God. Jack, with the 200 hey, hey, ball. Y'all are being petty. No, no. These Walk super to these people. Are petty because they've never sent super chats while I'm reading. Y'all being petty right now. Uh, uh, be petty on cue. No, I keep your ass up. Day, man. Man tells Jazz the truth plus Jazz leaves equals Jazz is anti truth and not <laughs> in genuine and genuine women relationship. I don't want to One of the main me. reasons cheating is such a problem with men is because you won't be able to ensure I'll run the fucking internet. men are promiscuous by nature and monogamous. I by run this shit here. Y'all just Let's live here. Let's do Anton Dango. Oh. Men fight their nature every hey y'all are petty in the chat. Oh my god. Oh hey, she tried to shame y'all for loving on me. Receive the conversation. Men don't equate sex with emotions, they wet the way women do. It's just it just is what it is. Y'all gonna have Q out here crashing the fuck out. <laughs> and, and guess what? If I don't show up next week, it's y'all's fault. Defending and justifying adultery is wild. Thank you. Jesus exactly. said, even looking after other people that you're not married to is committing adultery. Follow God, not the world. Follow God, not the pom pom. Who the That's king? Who the king? That's what she not meant true. to not true. Who not the true. king? Say my name. God, the one and only. Not true. You just assume. I think most of them cheat and get caught in something. Look, end up being caught. I think there is a small percentage of men who don't cheat. Y'all, damn. Please, please name the male mammal on planet Earth that stays with one female for a lifetime. There are none. Men are not built for not. Anton Trigger. <laughs> 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 are not built for monogamy, modern concepts. That I'm in cheating. I'm trying to finish these as quick as possible. So, y'all are annoying tonight. I'm going to say this. Y'all are really annoying in the chat. And the fact that 1,800 of y'all are still here seeing this petty stuff. Y'all know it. Wild. We had 1800 people in a minute. <laughs> exactly. And then all, the and they're not leaving when we read in the super chat. So y'all petty. Y'all doing this to hear Anti act up. Y'all need to let him act up on the million in the morning show. Not this, <laughs> not this show I'm hosting. These females are they giving a super one special. So before you think about messing around with these guys, don't forget to think with your big head. Hold on, hold up, hold up. How are you gonna say that? But look at your picture. Why you got a gun in your picture and sagging your picture? They bed? love me. Them the type of niggas that love you. The the internet kings love me. The nerds Anton, love me. Can you mentor love him? Me. Anton, can you mentor him? I wish a, I wish a chick would come for me. We shut this internet oh shit God, down. Dad, if you're doing the wrong things up, you'd be asking what you could do better to keep him happy, even if it means a side chick. Stop the cap. My husband said he had urges, so I did different things. Chains, whips, cuffs, and blah, 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 blah. me, anything. I want him. I said, do me 
do Mr. Like my audio books choke me daddy. It's never been better. Honest jazz thinking like a man and a woman. She in a relationship with herself. Uh, jazz, you would absolutely not take it that way either. Stop the cap. Pay attention. This is class. Married for 12 years. Jazz mindset is not conducive to a successful marriage lost relationship. Mm -hmm. If your husband can't talk to you. The Shout out to over. Omega J. Are we almost done? Go there, go there, go there. Yeah. Big bad bull is on your side, Jazz. Talking in volume doesn't mean you are winning. It's clear by your sentiment. I this love my you people. Know nothing about having a successful relationship with Jazz. Ain't nothing I like the chasers. Too much. Remember that. How Remember you treat other like man history reflect how you treat your man and his leadership or lack thereof. Always be respectful and in your femininity. Thank Jazz you. Much too much. Yeah. Cal, you right, really hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me make an announcement. 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 Hold on. If you, want to, if you want this to stop, then let me make my announcement. Whatever. Chasers. Bag chasers. Let you finish. Y'all hold off on super chats. Send the super we chats tomorrow. This. We gonna revisit this tomorrow. Y'all got. I want y'all to stop. So let let Q go ahead and get it done so she can catch her flight, and we gonna run it up tomorrow. Your go ahead, Q. Your hair not doing. Girl, I know. I what, what the happened was. This is why I'm a little ir irritated. The girl canceled on me this morning, ah. saying that she went out last night, and got too drunk. I was like, that's not oh. my problem. That's Run not my problem. Out. My hair's not done. So this is how I'm going. Um, I'm not no, sipping okay. super chats. It's just a lot. I'm going through it, you guys. I'm going through it. Be patient. Eh? I'm going to pray for the ninja that is dumb enough to marry or get Jazz pregnant. He is going to have a miserable life. Um, Jazz set up here That's and literally protected this great entire episode. Of the sign language, though. This is a case book study in mental health and emotional intelligence, both of which needs work for her. <laughs> Damn, this chick is long-winded. LOL. Um, Jazz is triggered. I feel bad for whoever's dealing with that. She going with the kid. <laughs> Goes off. I don't believe she got a man. She is the man. I'm gonna leave. I love this, but Jazz, you need help. <laughs> and talk cook and keep your veins. I I <laughs> Noel is jealous of his wife. Hater. Oh, I'm so jealous. Jazz, I'm, one of I'm so bad. jealous of her husband. She's so cool jealous, man, broken man. Man. So jealous. To be honest, how is Jazz's attitude and disrespect more tolerated than the other ladies kicked off the panel? Low, loving the show though. Um, why are you debating a man? Attend to your man. We're here to debate. Stop calling him baby cringe black lady talk. Right, stroke and be <laughs> I'm a black lady. Everybody is baby. Do y'all really go back and pay attention to these combos? Low, never mind. Um, women like jazz are the reason why men stay in their cars 20 extra minutes before they come in the house. This is crazy. Um, so can you crazy. just that you wish you with a, a net like AD? Ew. No, saying, uh, she said was Rita was a three or four when you met her. Um, this is our modern day black woman. I really want to understand why do black women love in the room with black men? Please explain. <laughs> so crazy. now that so now she's the victim. Funny. Um, based on your behavior, your man is a beta. He he must don't have your have any other options. Jeez. God. Uh, My man will beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and interrupt and exit planner, my dude. Um, these women raise black men that divest themselves from the community. Nobody wants to deal with the dumb ish day in and day out. Diet men kill community. Just seek therapy. Dang, Cynthia, we haven't seen you in forever, girl. Where you been? Shout out to the bank chasers. Why does Jazz need to be right about everything, even after valid points were made? Just Jazz, just keep blabbing. Um, Anton, you are the best. Jazz and her beta man sucks. God, Jazz just watches over again. I don't believe this is you, even though I don't know you at all. All love over here. Oh, thank you. She got a fan. She got a but fan. What, but what, what, what was I saying that is so outrageous? Girl. Um, see how Jazz quickly claim predator, the mental illness, being aware, men aware, men be aware. Blame your single family households. AD, you. Can you end this when and mm hmm mm hmm is that how you supposed to say that? Jazz a two on a good day for a for no nah, Jazz is pretty y'all lying. Oh Jazz is bad. Y'all 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 doing y'all lying. Don't don't, don't, don't do that. Like I'm I'm lying. Lying. It's fine. Anton is more like my son because we well, think almost lying. identical, and I'm 20 years older than him. Jazz. <laughs> 9 a.m. in the Middle East. Shout out to Town Dog. Shout out to Omega Jack. 
Let me get you a clap. Hey. Clap, clap. Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Jesus. Jazz consistently failing at women explaining men's issues is issues is actually entertaining how are women more loyal than men if they're ready to leave when their man gives them the honesty they asked for <sighs> thank you big bad bull shout out to you i swore anton said stop sending super chats anton left y'all so y'all could y'all could stop sending super chats okay he left he left um let's see she really tried to shame us for loving anton team tone no. <laughs> Oh my God, ja we still. I'm not done with the super chats. Guab, Jazz needs to get hit right. She won't talk back no more. Shout yeah. out to you, uh, Corey. Um, is Jazz can shut up for five minutes. I'll drop fifty dollars. <laughs> we back chasing the reroll deep over here. Thank you, Ray. Classy beats. Go ahead and reschedule that flight queue. You gonna be here for a while? No, no, not at all. Autobots up one thousand. Um, uh, the real predator is Jazz preying on sent men. What? Um, love for Anton, petty fun. Y'all petty in the chat. Chases, we up, we up, we gods moving forward. <laughs> oh, she big hayin. Jazz, just because we can. Shout out to Omega Jack again with the hundred, hundred bow, hundred bow. <laughs> Hi, Q. Hey. hey, hit me up, Kirsten. Who's that? Who's Kirsten? Classy beats, you petty. I'm about to block some of y'all. What's up? Thank you, Ray. That's why Anton, the greatest in the content streets. Great show. Q, get your passport, brothers. Most of these men don't even got passports. Just letting you know. The messiness makes me so proud. Not all men cheat. It's about having loyalty to yourself. Amen. Shout out to you, brother. Right. I'm listening to country music right now. No jazz. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Y'all petty, petty. Nobody. Nope. We got jazz energy tonight. We inconsiderate, insubordinate. We ain't listening to nobody but our own voice back chasing here heavy. F hyenas. <laughs> Jesus. Chat ninjas. <clears throat> jazz out of here even over talking super chat. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I used to be a professional fighter. Your man can get this work. All 6'3, 220 pounds it is. What the heck? Q, you missed both my super chats. Mr. Guap, I passed your super chats. Your super chats. It's like, uh, it's 135 super chats. Be patient, y'all. Be patient. Huh? It's, it's getting to the end. Amen. Amen. Salute back, chasers. When did thugs share well thought out options, opinions, and observations? I hope that's not your picture. Is Jazz from <laughs> Chicago? Where you at? Where you from, Jazz? DC? No comment. No comment. No comment. She said, don't find her. Girl, Jazz, <laughs> even if I don't agree with your perspective, you're gorgeous as heck just saying true. Um, why do y'all be worried about Anton Daniels and his marriage? Pretty sure his wife is secure about their marriage, but y'all project what you would be insecure about if you was his wife, but learn to shut up. Last super chat. Amen. Jazz loves loser men and simps. Good luck. I do oh, those say, house of hypocrites. That's what to do with the seven kids. Listen, I don't yeah. I don't understand what all the smoke. Oh, go ahead. Oh, well, you done? Yeah, I don't know what all the smoke is about. You know, like y'all know y'all y'all leader. Anton is spicy. And and sometimes he says things I agree with, other times he doesn't. This was just a debate. And I'm no, I'm not a quiet woman. I'm not someone that just, you know, sits down. If we're here to offer our perspective, that's what I'm here to do. I know, you know, people like Shay or other women who, you know, they, they speak when they're ready to. I understand that my perspective can be a little bit much, but I'm not here to offend anybody. I wasn't trying to disrespect Anton. Anton is cool. But if you're going to come for me and mine, then I'm just going to match that energy. That's all I'm saying. Well, no, thank you for coming on the panel, though. For real. Are you going to come back? Yeah, I mean, if 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 it's cool with y'all, I don't. Okay, cool. Because you know, I ain't gonna lie. Some people be after. I've had one chick already say she never coming back on the panel. Who said like, that? No, it's I'm fine. Like, and, she, and she's we never like nobody ever went in on her. So I don't know what happened. I don't. Know. Well, three girls actually done it. So yeah, we never, know. nobody ever went in on her. So, but no, but thank you for being here. I know this is what it is about y'all. The conversation, we're all not going to agree. We all come from different perspectives, I mean. but no, follow these content creators on here. Do any of y'all want to shout out y'all? Oh, shoot. We got more. Hold on. Hold on. Sleep well on your attention tonight, Jazz. You love it. 
That's all, folks. Let's go to Not sleep. Hey, no, man, yeah. one more chat to be petty. I love you guys. No, shout out to everybody that sent the super chats. And shout out to all y'all that stayed here till 1.15 in the morning. Shout out to y'all. Make sure y'all follow the content creators. You guys want to shout out to y'all channels, where you find you, if you have any businesses. We'll start with you, Shay. All right. Um, I am Shay Cuts on all social media. Shay.Cuts on Instagram. Um, I'm someone that helps people lose weight naturally. I've lost 50 pounds myself, and I'm trying to help people uh, do the same and achieve their goals. Congratulations. Okay. Thank Congrats. You. Jazz, what about you? Um, you can follow me at Jazz Noel. I'm a singer and performer. Um, I'm in a collective called The King's Guard and my own band called A Jazz Band. So yes, I do music, I perform. In my city, if you wanna follow me to find out where that is, you can do that at Jazz underscore Noel. Yeah, don't you have a clothing line too? Yes, I have an online boutique as well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Q. Yes, yeah, yeah. online boutique, boutique the femwear. Mm -hmm. Cal, what about you, Cal? Okay, I can talk now. <laughs> no. <Nah. laughs> I mean, I'm glad you saying something now. <laughs> I just ain't, you know, I just didn't want to cut in, you know, interject. You know, everybody was getting off tonight. So, you know, maybe I can get invited back on, you know. But uh, uh, I'm on uh, Instagram, Good Game Pride LLC. Um, mm -hmm. Calvin Deal on Facebook, Good Game Productions LLC on YouTube. Mm -hmm. we, we're trying to get in this content game. So, you know, check us out. Okay, cool. And you guys know where to find me. Follow my YouTube channel. I'll be posting stuff regarding my trips. Okay, Quinn. Quinn don't want to be found. You can catch me on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Yep. Right. The only here. thing I can say about jazz is hush women, or I'll take off my belt. <laughs> okay. okay so okay. So let me know before we go. Let me know what is the proper decorum. Like, should I wait to speak? Like, should I wait? Until someone asked me a question, I thought we were here to debate. Yeah, that was my thing. I didn't know when.